Good morning, good morning, Wacka to Sewing Street. Hope everybody's had a lovely weekend. I, I don't actually know what day it is. Kat asked me if I had a nice weekend, therefore I presumed. Oh, it's Sunday today. Sunday sewing. We have got a lovely Sunday morning lined up for you. And dressmaking. So anybody who's got any um, questions in regards to all things dressmaking, then we'll absolutely uh, demystify everything today because we've got the wonderful Mark Francis and we've got Janice as well, all coming up in today's show. I'm I'm having a lovely morning. I tell you what, I've got my cup of tea ready. I'm just going to be asking them loads of questions. Um, and I'm only on my, on my own for one hour later on at 12 o'clock. We've got Mark eagerly waiting in the wings. So we'll start with the early bird before we introduce the amazing patterns that we have for you today. So one of my favourite, in fact, no, I'm going to rephrase that. My favourite marking tool is, without a doubt, a friction pen. There are different marking tools, and I know everyone has different personal preferences, and depending on what projects you're doing, you know, we like different things. For example, if you're dressmaker, I know a lot of dressmakers like to use Taylor's chalk um, and chalk pencils or chalk, but I think sometimes when you're using chalk, it can be quite messy, and you might not get the, um, the accuracy um, if you're marking certain notches. Uh, we also have air erasable pens. We have water erasable pens, which you uh, you wipe down with a damp cloth. What I love about friction pens is they simply move away. They do disappear with heat. Now, always give it a bit of a sample. Check that you're happy with how it removes off your fabric. Um, but I love the fact that, you know, as crafters, when we sort of adopt a, um, a tool or we, we then, we, are, we do like, we're like magpies. We do like to just see something and think, actually, do you know what? I can make this work for me. So friction pens are brilliant for paper. They were actually designed for paper, but um, they're also brilliant for fabric. So these are the new colors. What do you think? I love these new colors. It's just about it showing up on your fabric. So having all the colors for, for the fabrics that you're using, of course. Uh, so we've got orange, we've got like a lovely coral, we've got blue and we've got purple. But do you know what I love as well? Remember when sort of gel pens were a real fashionable thing? And then it's Sharpies are very, very on trend and we love stationery. I know Baffa, uh, Becky, Alexandra, Frost and Kerry, they're particularly fond of stationery. Uh, so to have all the colors is just really nice. Now these also, are these the fine? ones what um, let me have a look at the nib I think they're medium these are your medium ones which is great so as I said you can use it on paper look at what we've got so if you're um, uh, adapting any of your patterns or wanting to make your own notes it has got an eraser on the back on the end so that can simply erase but if you're using it on fabric this is where the magic happens so let me take this off the ironing board a second. So if I do a line, you can see you've got a really clear, well, you probably can't see as well on, on camera, but you've got the orange, you've got your pink. These are freshly open today. You've also got your purple and you've also got your lovely blue. Now, just depending on what fabrics you're using, you'll be able to find one that's going to to uh, to show up uh, lots of people buy multiples by the way you are saving three pounds and i've never even seen these colors before they're brand new to me and they're already at an early bird special so are you ready for the magic elliot because you can do this with a hair dryer or you could do this with an iron and as soon as you put your iron on top of it those marks will disappear as I say, test it on your fabric and check that you're happy with how it erases just on the corner because some fabrics can leave a slight ghost line, uh, but that's erased beautifully off there. Uh, and the other thing is just be aware that the, uh, the markings do come back in extreme, and I mean extreme, cold temperatures. So for example, if you put your quilts in the freezer, and you've marked out all of your quilting lines, your lines might come back if you put it in the freezer. Or the reason that we know that is because there was a lady who did a fabulous quilt. It was um, going abroad uh, in the hold of a plane uh, for a competition and all the markings came back. So yeah, that's the only thing is just be aware that in the extreme cold, it does come back. But they are brilliant. They are my favorite marking tools and you'll see all of our guests always using friction pens. They're not, it's nice that they come in a nice box as well. So you can keep them all nice and organized, ready for when we go back to workshops and classes, they're ideal, just to have in your pencil case or in the box. Also, these, I didn't know this, um, but these are made out of 50% recycled materials, which is great, isn't it? 
and you can refill them. We don't have the refills yet in these colours, um, but it's definitely something that we'll be looking into as these are very, very popular. So normally, just so you know, if you have a look elsewhere for friction pens, um, you can pay a lot more per pen than where we are right now. We charge $3.99 a pen, and today you're getting four for $7.99. So it's great value for money today. Morning, Pauline. She said, good morning, Vicky. Looking forward to a day of dressmaking. Morning, Angie. Good morning, Vicky. Hope you're keeping well. I am. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> thank you for your messages, Angie. Um, we've also had a message um, from Angie saying, it's cool but pleasant in Great Yarmouth today. Oh, I love Great Yarmouth. I was, um, I was, Always, I always used to go to Great Yarmouth as a child and one year my parents booked for us to go to Spain abroad and we got in the car on the way to Yarmouth but we were going to the airport and then they broke it to us saying we're going to Spain, we're going on an airplane and me and my sister both cried because we were desperate to go to Yarmouth. <laughs> So I, I love Yarmouth. Um, morning, Tom. Hello. Uh, lovely colours for the early birds, says Pauline, aren't they? They are beautiful colours. I love that one. That is gorgeous. And remember, you can use it for paper as well. Judith said good morning. Dominique's watching as well. Mark's coming up this hour, so we've got to crack on. We better get a move on because we've got a lot going on today. Just very quickly before I introduce the kits, we've got another treat for you. It's like a, a double whammy early bird today. We have got... Da, 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 da. Thank you for giving me all of these lovely treats, Kat, because when I first saw these, do you know what they remind me of? The Tula Pink ones, they're the rainbow scissors. These are absolutely gorgeous. So they come in a beautiful set with your big shears which look at that, like oil on water. That rainbow coating is so cool. Plus, you've also got your stalk snips as well. And I like that these ones are really nice and shiny. And can you see how the stalk ones are matte? They're matte finished as well. Good morning, Clive. Good morning, Anna. Good morning, Christine. Hi Debbie, good morning, Vixen crew. Love my friction pens, an absolute must have. They are great, aren't they? Um, so these, it's always good, especially with dressmaking, to have a good pair of scissors. There's nothing worse than having a blunt pair of scissors when you're cutting through your new favourite fabrics and these just glide through. But they're not too weighty. Um, I find it quite intimidating, you know, when uh, you see these dressmakers who have got these huge shears and they are weigh a ton. Whereas these, they've got weight to them, which is what you want. Obviously, you want to be cutting your fabric down on the table, not up in the air. Um, but they, they still feel very comfortable, but yet they are very, very weighty. Uh, just 19 99 It's brand new today. We think these would make a brilliant gift idea for somebody. Absolutely. Or treat yourself. Treat yourself, 19 99 So we're getting ready for a day of dressmaking today and we thought that these are absolutely perfect. Shall I show you what's coming up in today's show? Uh, so as I said, getting ready for a day of dressmaking. We've got Mark Francis in this hour. We've got a brilliant dress, which I know you're all gonna absolutely love. You may have already seen it on social media, um, but it is the Amberley dress. Now this, the Sussex seamstress, I know that John Scott has had a big, uh, has played a big part in getting these patterns in. He's really excited, as is Mark. Um, so we're really looking forward to launching it. They're already selling on pre-order and we've got the most amazing linen silk mix fabric coming up as well, which we're going to be launching by the half metre. Uh, at nine o'clock, we've got Janice. Always great fun when Janice is here. Now we've got a brand new book. It isn't just a shopper bag. Janice is, is going to show us how much you can make from this book. There's loads and loads and loads in there. Ten o'clock. We've got the Tillington top with Mark Francis again, and we're going to learn lots of great um, techniques, as shearing, binding. It's a really, really lovely top. And um, we also have got a brand new pattern. It's again from the Sussex Seamstress, so double whammy today. At 11 o'clock, we're going to do the gorgeous kids' jumpsuit that's on the desk here. Mark said, you're going to be stealing all these soon, aren't you? They're so cute. Oh, I love it. We've got loads of projects for little boys, little girls. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. So that's coming up at 11. And then 12 o'clock, we've got the 560 back. Have you heard? 560 back in stock. Have a look on the website because they're now really limited. Virtually all of them sold yesterday. I watched yesterday's show and I saw that John Scott said straight away that 560's back. So I text Kat, 560's back, get it in the 
this show? She was like, I'm already on it, already on it. Um, but there's literally limited stock now. And adjust the forms. So this dress, let's go, let's go, let's go. We have got the most amazing pattern from the Sussex Seamstress. Now I really, really want everybody to go onto their blog um, and read a bit more about them because when I say the Sussex Seamstress, I, I'm so, so sorry because I know that you'll be watching and I don't know your name. It's very mysterious. We've had a look on the website and we're like, who is the Sussex Seamstress? Um, we, we don't know a name. Uh, but I loved reading about your background and um, uh, I know that the Sussex Seamstress used to make costumes for the Royal Ballet, the Royal Opera House, she studied at the London School of Fashion. Uh, and you can tell that when you see her garments, they're absolutely amazing. So the dress that we're doing today in this first hour is this one. Uh, this is the Amberley dress. Now it comes in an array of sizes right from, these are the, uh, the instructions that come in there, right from a size 8 to 20. 8 to 20, so it goes through suggestive fabrics, so this would be suitable for linen, cotton lawn, chambray, double gauze, there's, um, there's all of the information about things that you need, but this is a really simple pattern for beginners as well. It's got a symbol glossary, it's also got a, a, a terminology glossary there, all of your construction, which we're going to go through with Mark as well, and he's confident that we're going to get it all done this hour, it's going to be a quick construction. Even though I've been chatting for 12 minutes, we're going to get it all done. So, no pressure, Mark. £15.50, and this is what the dress looks like made up. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely. Look at your gorgeous model friend as well. So, this is um, the dress that we're going to be looking at today. I like that they've put the collar on it as well. That looks really nice. <coughs> um, they're embellished with, like, a collar. Now... I love this dress. I've already got my eye on it. I think it's really flattering and lovely for all of our picnics and garden parties that, fingers crossed, we're going to be able to do really, really soon. Now, how beautiful is the fabric? Now, this is your three and a half metre bundle, which is plenty to be able to do the largest size. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so, 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 so soft. Um, now, just so you know, the bundles are three and a half metres. We've already got less than 10 of. So if you do want one, they've been selling very, very quickly on pre-order. Can you see that it's got the most beautiful sheen to it? And it's so, so soft. I can't stop touching it. I'm really excited for you to get this home because it is super, super soft. If you've got any patterns in mind, even if it's for a different pattern, grab this because this is three and a half metres. It's the first time we've had it in. You're thinking palazzo trousers. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, Jane! Jane, thank you so much. Sorry, squealing Elliot. Um, Jane just <laughs> said, hello, my name is Jane and I'm the Sussex Seamstress. Morning, Mark and Vicky. This is very exciting, isn't it? We've unmasked her. Yeah, we've, is... yeah I feel like the masked singer, take it off. <laughs> you know, and they take their... No. Hi, Jane. Thank you ever so much. We're really excited to launch Pattern today. Already very, very popular. Um, so, yeah, if you've got any questions as well for Jane, get them in. Jane's watching. We can ask her on Facebook. Um, right, so we also have this fabric by the half metre. So if you're doing a smaller size, then, or, or if you're thinking of a different garment, then... Um, of course, you can get it by the half metre and we'll cut it off the bolt for you. It's 7.49 a half metre. 7.99, sorry. 7.99 a half metre. So, we've also got two other quick fabrics that we can do this hour. We've got the grey, which is, again, absolutely lovely. Super, super soft. Three and a half metres. Three and a half metres of your classic grey. Do you know what the, um, the composition of this is? We'll look into it. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? It's some kind of linen. Yeah, I, I don't know whether there's linen. something else in there Yeah, as well. I think it's a linen mix because it doesn't look very creasy. Mm. It looks like it's going to behave itself. <laughs> I think crease is the word, isn't it? At uh, 47.99. You can also get it by the half metre. You can also get it by the half metre. Woo! Hi, Adele. How are you? Adele, our lovely dressmaking guest designer as well, is watching saying, Morning, Vicky and Mark. Lovely to find a new pattern company, a beautiful dress and perfect for picnics. Absolutely is, isn't it? And especially after 
Anybody who um, is thinking, oh, do you know what? I've put on a few lockdown pounds. I think it's really <laughs> forgiving. I think it's going to suit everybody's shape and size, even if you are slightly self-conscious of a lockdown weight, like me. Um, right, we've also got this one. <coughs> this is lovely. Putting on a few lockdown pounds, Elliot. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> the thing El is, you're pregnant and Elliot's not. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> Every time he insults me, I remind him of that. I'm like, Elliot. I'm going to get back into shape, see? <laughs> He's been saying the whole nine months, I'm just going to be pregnant with you, just sympathy, put on, put on weight for you, like help you along. He's just, he's just cuddly now, isn't he? <laughs> oh, he's lovely. And you want to see his hair? He looks like he's in a boy band today. He's got all his hair <laughs> all across his face. In a boy band. Okay, last one. This would be a really, really lovely one for picnics as well, wouldn't it, Adele? This is your gingham. It is your true gingham. It's not a printed... 54.99 is three and a half meters. It is also available by the half meter. And it's just how much, sorry, cat? By the half meter. 7.99. 7.99. The picture makes it look really dark green. It's not. It's very much a lime green. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Don't forget about that one because Mark's going to be working with the grey. John Scott is um, on standby for me. He is there, always like up, ready, shower, dress, ready to go, just in case anything happens. And he's just said, he's just text cat. He's on on air mode. He's just said that's be that's a better than three pounds saving because these are normally three pound ninety nine each. These are normally four pounds each. Today we're at one ninety nine a friction pen. Um, and there you go, you've also got the case to go with. We're not including the, uh, the case to go with as well. <laughs> Boy band, more like a middle-aged band. <laughs> yeah, maybe like the comeback <laughs> tour or something, John. That's what Elliot looks like. Lime is lovely, <coughs> says Pauline. It is, isn't it? Sorry, Mark. Me gassing He's like Gary Barlow after 20 years away from Take That, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you're, uh, it's your birthday, isn't it, coming up tomorrow? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, it's your I'll birthday. Be 21. Show. Oh, brilliant. So you you could be in a boy band as well. I could be in a boy band. I am in a boy band. With, um, a, with Elliot. Clive sent in a photograph. <laughs> Has he? Can we show this oh, picture? No, he sent in. Oh. No, oh, my word, look at your beard. <coughs> yeah, that was in Paris. That's this my was Mark's 40th. 40th. Oh, hang on. So how long ago was this? Oh, that's four years ago. <gasps> 44. 44. In fact, uh, Kat's been very kind to you and she, she took that part out of the message. Clive <laughs> did say that was four years ago. Kat said, oh, I'm not going to reveal his age. And there's me. No, just it was saying, last oh, year oh, yeah. now. No, it wasn't last year. <laughs> <laughs> Birthday on Tuesday. Shout out to the husband. That's from Clive. Thank Aww. you so much. Oh, I love it. That beard is something else, isn't it? Do you it? like it? It's um, yours. I, it's, it, they're hard to maintain, aren't they? Kieran mm. started, well, I think it's lockdown. Lots of people have got beards going on, haven't they? But um, yeah, Terry Wilcox, he's got, a, he had a really big uh, beard as well. You remember Santa from the Christmas party last, <laughs> not last year, the year before? Yes. Yeah, he's shaved his beard off now. Anyway, <laughs> I know that Jane's watching, so we've got to be on our best behaviour. Yes, yes. The Sussex seamstress. Now, I know it was John Scott and yourself who actually yeah, did. Independently of each other, we both recommended that these patterns. I think they're great. And it's nice to get independent patterns. The, the other stuff's great as well. But it's nice to be able to support, particularly at the moment, the, the, yeah. these independent designers and, 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 and artists and things who are, who are working so hard to try and and do stuff like this and this is this is a really lovely one and um it's great as well for any beginners because you know the more traditional patterns they don't have presume that you know how to do everything already whereas <coughs> the sussex seamstress gives you video tutorials as well absolutely i did have a rummage through those yeah. um, just to see well this one was okay I, there is something coming up on the blouse in the in my next hour which i needed just to have a watch yeah and she does actually step it down there's links on there you can just click directly on the bit that you need you haven't got to scout through the video either watch oh, the okay, whole thing good. so if you want to just watch about how to gather the, the the skirt part for example you can just click on that bit and it will take you straight to it so the construction itself you think is all right for a beginner I think so, yeah. Okay. It's it's a nice, simple dress. There aren't that many pieces to it. You've got the front and the back of the bodice, the front and the back of the skirt section, and then the uh, the facing around the neck. And that's all you have. 
So it's nice and simple and it's nice and relaxed. It's been modelled by your lovely friend Evelyn. She's watching, so we've got to give her yes, a good Eve. shout out. She, it, Eve. She, yes, that, now that was actually, the collar bit is a blouse she had on underneath, but it looks so good yeah, it does. with that. And you could easily uh, drop the facing and add a collar onto this if you wanted to. Um, she absolutely ad adored this. Are they your purple fence panels as well? Yes. Your garden looks lovely. <laughs> love it, love it. Um, right, so I know that we've come into your hour late, so we better get That's cracking. All right. What is it that you're going to show us? So let's start off with the top first of all. So we're going to stitch this together at the shoulders. So this is the nice... There isn't too much about this that's really testing, and it comes together mm. nice and quickly. Um, so if you were having a surprise picnic and you're thinking, I must just sling a new frock together. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it looks very designer, doesn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that new fabric. How was the, um, the fabric to work with? It's really nice, actually. I do like this check. Um, and it's got a bit of silk in it as well, as you mentioned. So in, when it catches the light, you can really see it shimmering. Mm. I mean, it's not a shiny fabric at, at all. Um, if, if you think that's, you're not going to get a, you're not going to be a disco ball in the park or blinding, mm. blinding dogs walking past or anything like that. And it's quite a long length, isn't it? It's a nice long length. Is Eve, is Eve really tall? Not particularly, no. no. She, it went down to her, I don't know how tall she is. I never asked her. She's shorter than me, but then I'm six foot. So. Right, okay. <laughs> but it's, um, it, you could shorten it. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So when you are, it's, it's a relaxed fit anyway. So it's not um, going to, it's not fitted. There's no fastenings either. So if you wanted a project that didn't, where you didn't have to wrestle a zip into it, or, um, or anything, or buttons or anything, then this is the one for you, because it just goes straight, straight over, over your head. head. Yeah, it's ideal for me. This is yeah. Mark, Mark said this morning. Even you could fit in this, Vic. It's room <laughs> for you to fit in here. So you said morning, Mum and crew. Looking fab this morning. Not long now. Hope you're ready. I am. I am. Um, love Mark and Clive and Janice. We're spoiled. Happy birthday for Tuesday, Susan. Oh, ah, thank you very much. Same as my hubby. She said. I can go out. I can put have a night on the town. Eve's message saying <laughs> the dress is absolutely gorgeous and it was a pleasure to model. Ah. Well, she's, she's, uh, she was in It's a Sin recently. Was she? But we didn't know this. We watched the whole thing and we didn't spot her. Okay. We, she, she told us this. We go, really? I didn't see you in that at all. But uh, she said, no, I was acting, darling. <gasps> so... <laughs> So she's very good at being. Uh, was she? Was she in in the in one of the extras? She so it was a speaking to be very part. Good at being... So there's a oh, part. Oh, speaking part. Yeah, there's a part where now I've forgotten the character's name. Uh, the curly haired one, okay. the actor who went off in an ambulance. Yeah. And there's a lady in the shop next door who came out and she said that AIDS stands for Angels in Distress. Right. I think okay. She said that was her. But of course she's in a dressing gown. She's got a thing on her head and she's got an Did accent you going. Her? So no, I didn't recognise her at all. No way. Of course, Clive had to watch it back again to just to check that Trifying it was her. her. <laughs> oh, she's five foot five. Oh, is so she? No, yeah, she isn't. She isn't really tall. Really she's tall. not. No, I didn't. No, she's definitely shorter than me. Yes, I know. She's definitely taller than me, cat. <laughs> cat just said, "Yeah, she's taller than you." I think most people are taller than you. I oh, know. Oh no, Vicky. yeah. Janice isn't. Is Kieran taller than you? <laughs> Janice is shorter. Yeah, Kieran's tall. <laughs> well, taller. <laughs> Tallish. I don't know how tall Kieran is. Oh. Clive's shorter than me. Clive's message saying he didn't maintain his beard. I had to drag him to the barber's once to get it maintained. No, that's a, he's telling fibs now. I used to tr try and trim it myself. I'd regularly get it looked after. <laughs> but the thing is, Paris is very windy, so it, go, it just goes all over the place. It doesn't matter how much, unless you're going to starch it. <coughs> The three and a half metre bundle of the check is now sold out. The only really? way of getting it is by oh. the half metre. Um, there's two left, which is the one that Mark's working with, which is the side graphic. Mark, can you remember how much you were sent to do? Because you've made the size 14, haven't you? I did make the size 14 and there was, uh, there was plenty for, for that. I had about, I had a good chunk left over, about right. a metre left over. So you'll have something left over. Okay. It's quite a robust fabric as well. 
Yeah, it is. It's got a good weight to it. Yeah, sometimes when you see these check fabrics like that, you think that they're quite see-through, but actually it's not at all, is it? No, not not at all. It's no. it's got, oh, not. It's, it's the perfect weight for, yeah. for, for, for a dress, it's not, yeah. but it's got a decent weight to yeah. it. So, I've done the side seams and the shoulders. Great, so it's just like a, a slight sh a sleeve, like a cap sleeve, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. So what That's you can do, I mean, if you wanted to, you could add sleeves onto it. Oh, could you? If you yeah, you could draft your own sleeve, or if you've got another pattern, you could rob a sleeve from that and stick it on it if you wanted a sleeve. Right. Um, otherwise, you've just got these little capped sleeves, uh, which you can then, let's give this a little press. Kat's saying she'd wear a top underneath, like a long sleeve yeah. top underneath. Yeah, I, well. yeah I, I think so. You could, where's my iron? Let's not do a... Are you plugged in? I am. Let's not do a Debbie Shaw and no. scorch everything. I'll never... I I'll... only found out the other day that the cake that Alison Marion made, the birthday cake for us, had the iron mark on the back of the desk. <laughs> How funny! <laughs> that is attention to detail in you. She world. is a minx, that Debbie Shaw, isn't she? <laughs> Uh, half the stock and the brand new pattern has gone by the way this is brand new in today loads of you loving it um, Jane if you're watching everyone loves your pattern we can't wait to see them all on the fan page as well oh yes do share yeah. please do <coughs> could you do it out of denim or would it be too stiff well today? denim comes in different weights of course so you wouldn't want to have a heavy jean denim but you could get a, a nice a lighter weight denim what about the pineapple one from the next hour cat have a look on pre-order we've got a light weight um denim which is it's got pineapples on julie's messaged in happy sunday vicky mark and all at sewing street i've just oh. ordered the gorgeous amberley pattern in the hope that my daughter Ellie will make it for me. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Ellie, if you're watching, no pressure, but she's already booked you in for a picnic dress. There we go. So that's the top done. So there's cap sleeves. You could go over these. Oh, the fin we'll talk about finishing the seams, actually, because I haven't touched that yet. Yeah, okay. So you can overlock this. You could do some French seams, if you wish. You right. could put bias binding on it, or you could just use the zigzag stitch on your sewing machine just to neaten up those edges. Brilliant. Something I've done with makes myself is just actually just do a plain seam and sew it down as well. Sometimes if you're just doing it for me, then yeah. that's sometimes I'll cut a corner and do that. Um, so what I did with my sleeves mm -hmm. is I just overlocked them and folded them under and then just stitched them down. That's right. all I did for okay. that. So it's nice and simple on that one. Um, so that's the top done. Now we need a facing to go around the neckline. Now you could actually, now Eve's, the, when Eve modelled it, she had a blouse underneath or, or some kind of top. So uh, that's where that big collar comes from. But you could add a detail like that onto it. Oh, lovely. If you wish. Um, or you could just use the facing, which is provided, of course. You can buy those. It's like necklaces now, just collars. Really? Yeah. They're like necklaces that make it look like there's a, a blouse under your top. How clever. Very there you clever. go, you see. Who knew? You Good do. Idea. see. You got your... Fashion forward, that's what you are. <laughs> so what, what interfacing are you using on the, um, on the uh, interfacing? It's, a, the interfa it's just a medium, medium weight, weight iron on interfacing. You might, it's not very much, this is all you'll need. If I turn it over, you can see it in contrast to the rest of the, of the top. There we go. That's all you'll need. So you may not need to buy a whole pack, which mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure we've still got some in stock, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, interfacing. Um, if you're not, then stock up on a bit more. It's always a useful thing to have interfacing on there. Pop a bit of interfacing on. That just gives it a nice, uh, makes it nice and robust. Um, and iron it on well. Uh, it's important with interfacing. It can, it's easy to think, oh, why isn't it sticking? Or it's gone all bobbly after I've washed it. Okay. Probably because it's not bonded properly. Right, you don't want to incinerate the glue, but you want it to melt enough to bond with, with the fabric. Okay. So look at the instructions on the packet. Depends on the brand. Typically you need to hold it on for about 10 seconds. That's holding it, leaving it on on yeah. there for the full time. You like the Visaline ones, don't you? Yeah, well, it, I, I, yes, I quite often use the, the Visaline as an I'm brand new for Visaline. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I get other stuff, yeah. other stuff <laughs> <laughs> from Sewing Street, um, but it, it works just as well. This oh, I love that all of the, um, all the, the all of the little ladies, all of us are all messaging in. There's so many people going, right, I'm only five foot as well. Um, Karen's just said, morning. Just wanted to say, I'm four foot 11. Four foot and, 11? Yeah, and that's like Kylie Minogue, isn't it? Blimey. Um, Clive has said, you'd be able to shorten it. If you're shorter, it's fine. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Just 
you need to, uh, it's quite loose fitting. There's no darts or anything like that to, to worry about in the fit okay. on the bodice. So you obviously want it to be the right size, but yeah, check the length. Yeah. You can always make it shorter. Yeah, okay. So it's best to cut it a bit longer and cut it off. Yeah, yeah. Four foot 11 though, blimey. Eve says it's great for spring layering. Absolutely. I'm thinking, especially with the one that Mark's got there, like a stripy, just, you know, a, a really simple top underneath, a stripy top. It's like a wardrobe staple, isn't it? Yeah. You could make this in different patterns and shades and have a play around with it as well. I mean, as it's quite a nice simple shape, you can kind of uh, add your own embellishments to it. Like I've said a few times now, you can add sleeves or a collar onto it if you wish. You can make it shorter. Um, you could mess around with fabric placement That's as it. well. Oh yeah, could you have a contrast top different to the bottom? Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's your garment. so. Use the pat. I strongly believe that patterns are to be there as a as an inspiration, as a starting point. Mm -hmm. So to make it your garment and to personalise it. When you had the check one, here's mm. a question: How did you get that white stripe cross going through the centre? Well, it's about pattern matching. Now there isn't too much to do on okay. this, so it's a nice point to start with your pattern matching. So I found a white stripe on there and I used that as my centre point for my top. Right. I then cut the back so that it had the same, if I spin him round, or spin her round. Shall I move it over? Oh, can no, you get it? that's all oh, you, good. You're coming. Thank you. There we go. The white stripe is going down the back there mm. as well. Oh, and I've tried to match it up with the skirt section. Obviously there's lots, it of, very gathers. Well. There's lots of gathers in there so that the pattern matching won't run into the skirt but it does just at the centre point. So it's just a bit of a bit of symmetry. It doesn't have to be pattern match, but I call it more pattern balance is the word oh, I like to Oh, I just say that is hilarious. What are they saying? Kat has just said it by ear. And that is how you get in the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean the sewing bit? Yeah, all we did is make aprons for eight weeks. <laughs> That's how you do it. When you get your pattern matching as good as that together. Well, Clive says chambray denim would work. Yes, we've had that on here actually. We've probably still got some in stock. Yeah, nice. I believe. The bundle that Mark's working with is sold out. You can still get it by the half metre. What this one very is? Busy. This is very. This is lovely. I, I, is there something other than linen in this? I did read up on the check, but I can't remember reading up on um, on this one in my hand. But uh, there's less than thirty of the pattern left. Just so you know, Teresa said, "What size is the pattern, please?" It doesn't sound the graphics. Eight to twenty. Size eight to twenty. But it is. It's quite a, a loose fitting anyway, isn't it? It's quite generous. Yes, it is quite generous. Yeah, that's a fourteen that I cut out. And it was quite uh, relaxed on on Eve when she put it on, um, but uh, yeah, it's you worth can... measuring yourself anyway. Isn't Absolutely, it? always check with your own measurements. Make sure it's the right one. You can always cut it down a bit smaller, of course. It's difficult to make it bigger if you if you cut one out that's too small. Hi, Rachel. She's in morning. Lovely dressmaking show. Dressmaking day today. We've got loads going on. Uh, we've also um, had a message from Clive saying a ruffled or pleated sleeve would work. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So you could just make it like an oversized sleeve mm -hmm. and then you can pleat it around the, uh, around, the, around the shoulders. A bit like your, I think your blouse has got something like that on the shoulders, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah. It's kind of... yeah, just a few um, ruffles at the top gives it a bit of shape, doesn't it? Yeah. And you can do that by taking a regular sleeve shape and you kind of uh, fan it out. So if you cut, uh, you, there's a bit more, do look, look on a YouTube video, there's a, um, but if you cut little, uh, little s strips into it and you can fan it out, then it makes the top of the sleeve head bigger, then you just oh. put the curve back round it. Lovely. And, um, and that's how you can make a, a, a bigger sleeve. Hi Glitter, Dominique's messaged in saying um, I'm going to get such a telling off buying this from my parents. Um, I've just had to move back home but nice and easy, uh, a really nice and easy dress. That's from Glitter. Yeah, if, you, if you're a bit of a, a sewing novice or you're yeah. just starting out or even if you're more advanced and you want something which is a bit just a... Sometimes it's nice to do a project that's not complicated. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It, whip it up quick. Yeah, you can do that. I did this in an afternoon. What I'm doing now, I should tell you what I'm doing now, shouldn't I? So I've pinned the facing onto the blouse at the neckline and I'm just pinning it in place, uh, right sides together. There we go. So this is what you get. There we go. 
So I've pinned it in place. I'm going to go around that now, then we'll fold that to the inside. Lots of new customers this hour. Really? That's so exciting. Those of you, maybe, I, I don't know whether you're new to sewing or whether you're new to dressmaking or whether you've just found us. Uh, well, you're new Are to they us. lost? Hmm? Are they lost? <laughs> <laughs> well, if they're looking for John Scott, they'll be disappointed. Oh, don't worry. You'll see loads of John Scott soon. He'll be on every day, right? Yeah. Seven days a week. We said you can't get rid of him, can you? We've put him on, um, we had him on, he was on the replay here this morning and then went into the other room and he's on the screens in there. So yeah, don't worry. Um, Pauline said, uh, I'm a UK 14 uh, and on top a size, tw uh, on top and then 12 on the bottom. So I always have to make I end up making a size 20 on certain pants, so it's definitely worth measuring yourself. Yeah, a, a good example, uh, I think I say this every week, but I'll say it again. Yeah. Uh, Rosie, my yeah. model, uh, she was a, a lovely a dress size 10. If she went to High Street, she'd get a size 10, but I had to cut her out uh, off the patterns of 14 to get it to fit. Right. Every pattern is a bit different. This is an independent one, so it's just check the pattern pieces, maybe do a pattern piece fit, just to make sure it's the right size for you. And Jane's got a lovely blog. It's definitely worth having a read about the design herself as well because she's had a really interesting career. I just, in fact, look, we can show you. Um, if you go onto the Sussex Seamstress website, um, she's got a blog, uh, bits about how to sew buttonholes, how to lengthen the skirt pattern, which is great, how to do a pleated patch pocket how to make A-line skirt. See, so there's lots on there. Oh, great question for later on today. Should I buy an overlocker? We've got overlockers on later. Um, how to sew a sheer cuff. You're going to be demonstrating that, in fact, aren't you, Mark? That's the blouse, yeah. Brilliant. So there's lots on there. Plus, um, the about section is really interesting, learning a bit more about Jane, the Sussex seamstress. We'll have to get her on here, won't we? That'd be brilliant, yeah. Melanie, yes, you can use gingham. We've got the green gingham um, bundle, which is really lovely. And this is a true gingham. It's not a printed one. So this would be lovely as we were saying, it's just like a lovely picnic dress, isn't it? So gingham would work perfectly. Three and a half metres is, uh, is 54.99. It is also available by the half metre. And that'd be lovely for the spring. You just really have to be beautiful. careful with the gingham, that okay. not to sit on a gingham rug. <sighs> in the park yeah, or she'll disappear. You'll completely camouflage yourself. I'm thinking <laughs> you could do some lovely embroidery on it, couldn't you? Or you could yeah. do um, a, like a Peter Pan style colour or yeah. I was thinking with the with this big check, and I didn't do this of course, but you could mess around with the pattern placement so you could have the check running uh, on the diagonal on, on the bias at the top and then have it straight on the skirt. I only thought of it on the way here, so That's it's a bit late then, wasn't it? Right, here we go. Right, let's get some scissors. They're behind on. me. Oh. Scissors everywhere. You seen our new unicorn scissors? I unicorn uni scissors? Yeah, I call them unicorn. They're like the um, oil on water, the multi Oh, yes, I, they're ones. very pretty, aren't they're they? Nice, aren't they? Oil on water. Sounds so lovely, doesn't it? Until it's. <laughs> Until it's a seagull that sat in the oil on yeah, water. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then it when, so you're, good. when you're at the petrol station, yeah. it's not as romantic. <laughs> no, it's not. There we go. So the facing is on. It's a one centimetre seam allowance throughout these projects. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, oh, I think those aren't the best scissors. Let's try a different pair. They might just be for set dressing. Oh, that's a bit better. So just snip into the, particularly on the curves, this will help it sit a lot better when you turn it through. Let's just do it on the other side as well. I'm trying to cut through the stitching if at all possible, because okay. it all goes wrong. There. I need to give this a good press. Let's get me ironing board. Less than 10 of the pattern left, just in case you've got it in your basket. Um, well, whirlwind of a show, we've got another pattern from the Sussex Seamstress coming up at 10 o'clock as well, don't forget. It's worth having a look on pre-order for that, but if you've not yet checked out, there's now less than 10, it will sell out this hour. Had a question in come in from Jan. 
Hi Jan, love the dress pattern. Would I be able to make, uh, would I be able to insert two pockets without changing the line of the dress? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I was thinking this actually, it would be perfect to put some pockets in oh, this great. one. You could put pockets on the side seams. Um, so it's got, it's got a side seam running either side of the dress. Oh, so you can do inseam pockets. You can do inseam pockets, uh, or you could do patch pockets yeah. as well. Yeah, that you could cover it in pockets. <laughs> yes, you can make a dress a that is just one massive pocket. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> well, I know you and Clive love a pattern hack, don't you? Love we do. Playing around with different patterns. That actually looks, especially in that fabric, it is quite Vivian Westwood esque, isn't mm. it? She, and she does love a um, look at you. You see, fashion there you diva. Go, I know. Um, she does love a bit of a bit of. Uh, well, it's not a, it's not a tartan, but it's it's a check, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. But she does love a. A nice check. Well, I did think this morning, oh, my word, am I with Mark? I need to actually um, get dressed this morning, not put my old <laughs> frumpy cardi on. <laughs> oh, sorry about this. I've just I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> frumpy old cardigan and a pair of leggings. <laughs> I know, I've put my posh tights on today and they're really tight, so I, I have had to take them off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm wearing a dress, it's fine. Does Kieran help you pick your wardrobe out? Um, I thought you were going to say, does he help me get dressed in the morning? Well, he might have to at the moment, but... No, um, um, he does sometimes. He's way more into fashion than I am. Is he? Yeah. You saw him at the wedding. He tried to outstage me um, at the Christmas party. I didn't like to say anything. <laughs> there we go. So that's... I need to find that in a bit better, but... For the moment that will do so it's good to then secure your facing because you don't want it flapping around look I've made this. that's the thing with the working with linen it does crease a little bit um, so on the pattern instructions it tells you to secure it at the shoulders okay which would just involve getting that side seam there and just running a stitch in there so you're just stitching in the ditch okay. if you like that will hide it and on the other side as well what I did with the green check dress here is I run a line of stitching all the way around here because it's a more casual dress mm -hmm. a more uh, informal kind of look I feel then you can get away with having a bit of top stitching yeah. on it and that just holds secures the whole thing I, I kept three centimeters away from the edge sewed it all the way around lovely fab there we go. That's the top done. That's all Brilliant. you have to do for the top. The pattern sold out. Well done. If Has it? In. We'll put the fabric that Mark's working with in by the half metre. Remember, the I really you're going to need is three and this a half This linen is, is fab. You could do so much with this, not just yeah. for your um, for this. Oh, this is lovely for summer dresses, isn't it? And for, for gents wear as well. Yeah, make shirts with this. You can have a whole suit of this. You can have a matching tie shirt, waistcoat and suit. How about that? Fab. We love your twilly today, Mark. Oh, thank you very much. Lots of love for the twilly. You're, I heard you talking to Janice, and you're going to be launching a pattern soon. Or should I, I be am. saying this? Have you not heard this? No, that's all right. Yeah, we'll be launching soon. Amazing. Um, probably going to be April into May, like somewhere around there. Okay. So the patterns, it's with the testers at the moment, just making sure it all works. Oh, that's so I want good. to make sure it's right. I don't want to launch it and find out it's got. Uh, niggles yeah so it, it was I was going to plan it to launch it in today's show but I've, I've pushed it on a bit so okay. I want to make sure it's right so there will be more coming up so check my social media out in the coming weeks great and uh, are you going to bring it here yeah it's going to be exclusive oh fabulous exclusive to sewing street brilliant we I've even woven me in fabric no I haven't really. <laughs> that's coming up yeah I made the twilly last late last night um, did you? Yeah, I did it really quickly because uh, Clive had this, this is just an off cut from something Clive's got coming up. So this is a Sewing Street fabric. Oh nice. It's it looks called, lovely. hang on a second, it's called um, Sunshine Floral. Oh nice. That's okay. its proper it might be on the website. I don't know whether, yeah, it might be on there now actually. But you can have your own twilly realness. We think, Linda, that this linen has got a, a mix to it. We don't think it's 100% linen. Linda, Kat is trying, but is struggling to find the details for it. It hasn't been, um, it hasn't been updated on the system, so we're trying to find out for you. Um, but from your experience, Mark, what do it's you think It's definitely linen. Like? I remember reading on this on the supplier's details, and I'm pretty sure there was something else in it, but I can't remember what. Right, okay. Um, but it came from the same source as that. Mm -hmm. 
okay. <laughs> if they wanted to look on the suppliers website. Um, but I definitely remember reading that the check had silk mixed to it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to sew the side seams together. Like, a, like we said earlier, you could put a pocket in here and you could just draw around your hand and add a bit extra on there if you wish. Or you can take a pocket piece from something else. Um, the uh, like uh, so so different has lots of pockets yeah. in hers. You could you could take a pocket piece from there, or you could add a patch pocket on. In which case, it could be whatever shape and size you like. Angie's asked what your social media is. My my social media at so Mark Francis S E W Mark okay. Francis. Brilliant. Which is C I S on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everywhere. Follow along, follow along. Follow Pauline along. says a Mark Francis pattern. Wow, I can't wait. Very exciting. And it's going to be a unisex one as well. Linda said I was wondering how much is inclined to crease. Linen can crease. Yeah. Um, this one, I don't think, it hasn't been worn very much, but it, after Eve was uh, doing her photo shoot, it wasn't really, it hasn't been ironed since then. Oh, right. That's just as it was. It's been hung up in my hall yeah. and here. Um, so it hasn't, the, the silk mix, there was linen, silk, and something else. And I can't remember the something else, but that might just take the edge off it creasing too. Yeah. But linen always will crease. That's the reason why the queen doesn't wear linen, because it <laughs> creases. <laughs> Although our Jane Greenoff, she says it's not cr it's not creases, it's rich wrinkles. <laughs> well, she's talking about her complexion or the frock. <laughs> oh, I won't tell her you've said that. Um, but I think that's mm. part of the charm of linen. Yeah. Is it kind of uh, moulds itself to you as you're wearing it? Yeah. I, I, it's nice I, and cool as well, isn't it? It's nice. Absolutely. So when we can do long foreign travel, again. Lindsay says I love this dress style, but I'm a size 22. What shall I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't I measure this 14 just to give you an idea of how big it, it comes up. I'm sure there's a tape measure somewhere. Thank you, you could uh, hack the pattern and make it a little bigger. You, and you'd only have to fiddle with the, um, with the bodice part of it, actually, um, because the skirt is, it's got, there's a lot of gather to add in, which we'll come to in a minute. So you won't have to add any more onto the skirt. So you just have to make the top to fit, um, assuming the length of the top was it's just covers the bust area really, you could just uh, add an extra chunk in the middle just to separate it. Well, I get the tape measure. Oh, have you got one? Oh, fab. No pins destroyed today. We're not going to slip off the air. <laughs> I'm not going to cut myself. Let's have a measure. So right, sorry, Mark. The, uh, the dress is now sold out, so you can see your side graphic is just showing you what is coming up. Pre order. Have a look on the website and you can pre order it. It's at the price, you can see it there. The code is there for you. It's JEX970. So, what was it that you were just measuring there? Sorry. I was just measuring it from the side seam to the side seam. I just I realized I've got a flat piece here, which is easier to measure. So, have you cut out a size 14 again? There? I, a size 14 is 19 inches okay. along, which is about 48 centimeters just from one armpit to the right, other. Here you go. What would be easier if I read out the size 20? The bust measurement is 110, the waist measurement is 91, and the hips is 115 centimetres, all in centimetres, so I hope that helps. That's the largest size. But I did see that Jane, who's the Sussex seamstress, she put on earlier on saying it does go up to a size 22. So I think it is quite a generous pattern anyway, so it might be worth giving it a go. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's it, sold out now anyway, isn't it? <laughs> We're doing all this, isn't it sold out? But that's, do you know, someone mentioned this, and this is what's really lovely about Sewing Street, we're still here mm -hmm. and we're still demonstrating this after a lot of the fabric and the and the things have sold out yeah. which i know some of our competitors don't always do they'll they'll say right they'll we're, we're going to stop. stop yeah stop we've sold out um Next jane thing. said for anybody who has bought it who is thinking do you know what i might be a size bigger um jane has said lindsay go to the website of the sussex seamstress and i've got an extension to the sizing coming soon so that's good to know as well, isn't ah. it? So if you are, if you bought it and you're thinking, oh, do you know what? I, I might make it 
at a later date in a larger size that it's worth keeping your eye on her blog and her website. We've had a message come in from Julia. Hi, Julia. Julia said, morning, Vixen team. Great demo. I wear a lot of linen and I don't iron it since I saw my elegant Italian friend doing the same. She doesn't iron it. There you go. No, maybe it just, it's a bit wrinkles, isn't it? Um, we've had a question come in from Lorraine for you, Mark. Morning. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Lorraine in Yorkshire. I have a question for Mark. How would I measure the placement of side pockets? Loving the show. I think it depends on you personally as to where you like your, your hands to go. I, I'm not <laughs> sure. I can't think of a specific rule of thumb. Okay. Uh, like a kind of... or. or a, a mathematical yeah, way no. of doing it. It's where you're, where it sort of sits. So uh, you might want to measure it. Do you want your hands to go here or do you want them to go down there? Do you want it to be relaxed? Uh, what do you want to use your pockets for? Is it just to put your hands in? Or do you want to put things in like your card or your inhaler or some kids' sweets or whatever you might have? <laughs> <laughs> well, run a selection of things. Cold inhaler and some children's sweets. <laughs> well, that, that'll be you. you. You'll be covered in snotty yeah. tissues and, and sweets. And that's just Kieran. <laughs> Bless him. I've picked on him today, haven't I? Right, there we go. So, so in the side, so you can see how large and generous the skirt section is. This right. is the 14, um, and that's going to be gathered up. So the way we do this... I don't know if I should talk or expl explain or do. Um, got about five minutes or so. So I'll do. I'll, I'll explain. I think it'll be easier because it's quite simple actually. This is all in the instructions, of course. Okay. So I've turned it the right way round. Now, if you're working with the linen, because you're going to be fiddling with this seam yeah. quite a lot, it's worth putting if you have one an overlocked edge along here okay. um, because the fabric can fray. It's fine when you're making the top but because we're gathering up this section it can start to, to just fray a little bit more than the other section did. So it's worth doing that or running a zigzag stitch around here just to make sure it doesn't fray too okay. much. You're going to run two rows of straight stitch all the way around the top of the skirt. Do it on your longest stitch length on mine here it's, it's five, mm -hmm. uh, five millimeters. Um, or whatever your longest is. Do two, just don't do one. It's always best to do two, if not three. Why is that? Is it in case you pull and break your thread? Yeah. It's is that in, the reason? Yeah, I think so, because it's okay. only cotton. And uh, it's also worth considering splitting it up. So doing one gather for the front, one gather for the back, I, oh. I think. Having made this once and done one all the way around, because that's a bit more of a heavier weight fabric slightly, mm -hmm. it's worth, I think, considering doing it in two sections. Okay. Uh, but you're running your gather, whichever way you do it, don't back stitch at the front or the back or any lock stitch, leave nice long threads. Yeah. So if you've got a machine that, like this one that has a, a lock uh, a, that cuts it off, then you might want to just bring those threads out a little bit first before you do this. Yeah. And then you're going to gather them up. If you do have the check fabric, it's nice to try and uh, get that central line the same as the top. You don't have to though. It's completely up to you whether you do that or not. And just gather them up really gently, really carefully. Just keep pulling and gathering. Try and get uh, them as even as possible. Absolutely. Until this has all fitted in. So it will all scrunch up like that. And when you've got it in place, pin it to the top and sew it together. Right. And then it'd be worth if you overlock it. How do you know again. when you've done enough gathering? Does it need to fit into your top? Basically? It needs to fit into the top. So as a comparison, that's the top. Ah, yeah. And that's the there that we go. Makes sense. And that's the skirt. So we've got to shrink that to fit into there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So then um, how do you stitch them together? Just a straight stitch. Make yeah. sure you pop it back to your, your two and a half or whatever you, you like to use for your regular length stitches. Okay. And, and just you leave so those stitches, those long stitches that you gather in stitches in. You yeah. can, it depends how they're fallen. So if they are in, you can leave them in if they're not visible. Mm -hmm. uh, if they are visible, then unpick them and just take them out. But it's a nice long stitch, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get it out. But gather it really carefully and really slow. You don't want to break those threads. That's okay. why there's several of them. Fab. And then how is it that you do the uh, the hem? Uh, so I just overlocked it and did I do that? Hang on, let me have a look <laughs> what I did. 
Yeah, I've overlocked mine, folded it up once and sewn it down with a straight stitch, or you could do a double turn and sew that down as well. Nice, brilliant. And that's it really. That's, that's, that's your pattern. I think it's fab. Oh, it's been You'll so popular. It. Everybody's loved it. Absolutely love it. Um, Barbara McClay. Hi, Barbara. I hope you're well. She says, morning, Vic and Mark. Uh, loving the pattern. What size is the top behind you? Um, can I wear it on my next show? Absolutely. Where is it? It's not behind me it's anymore. Here. Behind Mark. This one. Um, it's the one with the lovely, I love the uh, elasticated sleeves as well. It's on pre-order. It's coming up in the next show. Absolutely love it. And I like the detail. And you've got a hack as well, haven't I've you? I've got a little hackette, yes. Fantastic. Bit of fun. Thank you ever so much. I have checked it with the mysterious Sussex seamstress. <laughs> so she has authorised the hack. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed that Jane's told us her name now. Not that I'm disappointed in her name. But I just like the fact that you were like the stig on Top Gear, yeah. Yeah, she could <laughs> have no been. no idea. It's she so could mysterious. have been. Uh, I don't know. Anybody. She could have been Esme from yeah. the Sewing Bee, or she could have <laughs> yeah. been Vivian Westwood herself, or, yeah, exactly. or Stella McCartney. But anyway, we're really, really, really <laughs> pleased that you are on board, Jane. Thank you. Um, the patterns sold out completely. One of the check bundle has come back into stock one of these left it's 54.99 there's loads of you've got it in your basket just be aware there's one of those you can also get it today by the half meter um it's 7.99 at half meter there's only eight meters of this left so if you are thinking for other projects if, if, i don't know whether we'll be able to get this back in um so if you are thinking for matching oh yes Derek is saying, loving the tartan fabric will make a stunning waistcoat cut on the bias. Absolutely. And you can have a matching bag. Yeah. You can make yourself some slippers with it. No, you couldn't do that. You couldn't do that. <laughs> but it, it is really versatile, isn't it? It's mm. absolutely gorgeous. The fabric that Mark um, is working with is sold out in the bundle. It is available by the half metre. It's six ninety nine a half metre for the grey. Once again, very, very versatile with this one. And then finally, the gingham. Still available in the bundle. Kat saying, I love this. She was like, don't let this one pass you by. This is really springy. Um, are you? Mark uh, kept saying that you're going to whip her a dress up in the, in the hour break of this one. Am I? Is this <laughs> that's, what, that's what I've heard. $54.99 or available by the half metre as well. If you do want two metres, if you want five well, metres. Is she thinking of like a Marilyn Monroe halter neck kind of thing? Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> That'd be nice. Matching scrunchie. <laughs> she wants a matching face covering as well. Matching scrunchie. Yeah. Look amazing. We love a scrunchie, don't we? Seven ninety nine a half metre. Um, not forgetting, please don't forget. Always good to have a good pair of scissors, isn't it, Mark? Absolutely. You cannot make anything without a good pair of scissors. There's nothing worse than when you, you get lovely new fabric home and you cut into it and you end up hacking into your fabric or <laughs> slashing into it. So it's good that you've got not only your big shears, but also um, the embroidery scissors as well, the stalk ones. These are brilliant, and they're matte, which is a lovely gift for somebody. Just £19.99 for your gift set of brand new scissors. These are new in today. Brand new in today, absolutely spoilt rotten. The early bird, I think, has sold out, has it? Is the early bird sold out? Early bird's completely sold out, but that's like another little early bird special, so do make the most of it. Um, right, don't go anywhere. Janice is coming up after the break. Now, we say we're dressmaking today. Janice isn't just a dressmaker. She does all sorts of sewing. So she's going to be working on a brand new book, which is um, for our kitchen, for all of our home decor. It's called Sew so Home in the Kitchen. We're going to be demonstrating a bag, but also showing you how much you can make with this book. So stay tuned. Janice is going to be joining me in just a couple of minutes. See Mark as well at 10. Don't go anywhere. I'm back after this. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. That's a me my baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dress making. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dress making in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes, and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. It's Manic here today. <laughs> Janice has walked in. It's a Manic day. <laughs> Janice has walked in. Um, we're so excited for today's show. Thank you for joining us on this lovely Sunday morning. So we've just sold out of a brand new dress making pattern and I've got a feeling it's going to be a repeat with this lovely new book. Um, this is the Sew Home in the Kitchen. And I think especially as we're going towards spring, um, it's so lovely to just have a bit of a revamp, isn't it? And your home decor, maybe for picnics, for barbecues, for outdoor, al fresco dining. This is absolutely brilliant. So, in here, let's have a good old rummage through. There are loads of different projects. So, it starts off things in your sewing room. It isn't just kitchen. So, the sewing room bits and bobs of, of, of what, you, um, what you need. Um, so, all your sewing room bits and bobs. Plus, then, it's got your projects. So, it's got your kitchen. So you've got a pot holder, you've got a skillet handle cover, you've got tea cosy, you've got bowl cosy, you've got a mug rug, you've got a warming veggie sleeve. Oh, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, you've also got your dining room section. So you've got placemats, table runner, keep it cool coasters, and mama's hot rolls towel as well. Out and about, so for our, uh, for our al fresco dining, You've got your cool beer koozie. Uh, you've also got your shopper bag. You've got your potluck superstar tote. You've got your home team quilt and cushion. Lunch bag, snack box. You've also got a cosy coffee, uh, a, a, a coffee cosy as well. Uh, and you've got a recipe for some chewy chocolate cookies. Love it. Um, so there you go. Kat did say earlier on, and that's how you get on the Great British Bake Off. So not only are you sewing, you're learning to cook as well, learning to bake. In fact, there's recipes all throughout. This is cool, isn't it? Uh, now, starting off, you've got your pot holders. Nice way of doing 
quite quick projects, don't get me wrong, it's great to be able to have our uh, big projects on the go, whether it be a big dressmaking project or a big quilt or something, but also maybe one afternoon you just want to complete a project. This is your um, hot skillet handle um, cover, which I mean, if you've got a hot skillet, they get very hot, don't they? Right to the handle. So this is great because it's got bosal in it. So it is really, really lovely and um, and sort of with that lovely wadding. Um, you've got your tea cosy. Oh, I got a lovely teapot from our Elliot. It brought me a lovely peacock te uh, tea, uh, teapot. It's not one of those teapots for one with a lovely tea, um, a, a, a posh teacup underneath, two in one. Uh, you've also got in here, look, all your instructions look very, very clear as well. Your bowl cosy. I'll be sealing this for my soup this afternoon, ideal. You've then also got, this is your veggie warming sleeve, warming veggie sleeve. Maybe if you've already made your veggies and you just want to keep them warm whilst you're pre finishing preparing the rest, because I'm not very good with my timings, my Sunday roast. Uh, so there's some lovely patterns in here. It's brand new in today. Brand new in today. It's already extremely popular. It's just 19 99 It's the Let's Go Shopping bag that we're going to be uh, looking at today. It's a massive bag as well. So, I mean, Janice has proved to us here, she's made loads out of here. She says there's just so much in here and they're all really nice, quick projects, beginner-friendly sewing, 18 different projects. If you're new to bag making, this is a lovely big bag to start with, isn't it? Fabric's gorgeous as well. Now, the fabric that Janice worked with for the bag, is this one, it comes in a bundle. There is loads of fabric here, by the way. Three and a half metres. So we'll talk to Janice about how much you're gonna be able to make, but I'm sure you'll be able to do the bag and some other the, of the smaller projects as well. A metre and a half, metre and a half of your emerald, a metre of your happy days, which is gorgeous. Then you also get a metre of your Hannah Basic. 28 pounds 99 pence that's three and a half meters of fabric that is loads get them all matching it's nice to be able to have everything matching isn't it all your placemats and bits and bobs in the kitchen uh, we also have the bird cage one now i hadn't seen well cat's telling me i have did you say that we when we launched we had this it was back in the old studio it was ages ago now Kat said we had one of these fabrics and we had it as a panel. I can't remember it at all. This looks new to me. It's gorgeous. Kat was saying it was probably this time last year, to be honest, and it was in and out, gone. Um, so you get a metre of this beautiful birdcage fabric. You also get a metre of your paisley, which is the same range, so the same colours match in perfectly. And then we've also got a metre and a half, metre and a half of your peach they all look lovely together, don't they? They look absolutely lovely. And the fact that you've got, I mean, look, that's great for your bowl cozy, isn't it? Really, really lovely. Oh, Becky Alexandra Frost is watching. Morning, Baffa. She says, morning, Vixen, everyone. Looking forward to seeing Janice. She always makes me chuckle. And Mark Francis has quickly um, responded saying she is mad as a box of frogs. That's our Janice. $27.99 for your lovely peach combo. One more bundle before we say hello. Um, we've got the gardening. Now this is going to be so popular, isn't it? I saw John Scott with um, this fabric yesterday, I think it was, or one similar. It's been on pre-order, but he absolutely loved it. Absolutely love it. Um, we've got a metre of each of your gardening fabrics. Then you've also got a metre and a half for your silver. They're lovely bundles, aren't they, for lots of projects? Oh, lots of love for um, lots of love for Janice coming in. Uh, who's this? Who's where's Debbie's message? Because I've seen that Dawn's replied to Debbie, and I can't see Debbie's message. We've had loads of messages come in today. Thank you all for your company. But Dawn's watching. Dawn has said, "Debbie, me too." Barbara. And you are both sewing as you watch. Lots of people sewing this afternoon. Let us know how you're spending your Sunday morning. Good morning, lovely. I enjoyed Mark's show and looking forward to watching Janice from Pam. Oh, it's a brilliant day today. Very quickly. Now, we introduced the rainbow scissors. We've now got the rose gold scissors. These have been 
they have been on before, but um, as soon as Janice saw them, she nabbed them. She said that how much, well, we all know how much Janice loves these. I think she's been using these scissors for, for years now. Um, so if you do want a lovely pair of dressmaking shears, you've also got your embroidery snips. This is great, actually, because they're all really useful things. So you've also got your pins and you've got a thimble in there for £20. Bearing in mind, we're at £20 for the, the rainbow ones earlier. You've even got the pins and the thimble in this one. That's really good value for money. Janice used Bozal in all of her makes. Um, and I mean, it's up to you. The um, We did have the Thermalan available, but it's completely sold out on pre-order. So why did if you managed to get the compressed fleece? But the Bozal is the single-sided fusible. There are different options on the website if you want the sew-in um, or if you want uh, the double sizes as well, they're there. It's just £11.99 for your bozal. Sorry, I think it's literally right at the front and I'm not going to be able to reach it, but it's right down there. Um, thank you, Elliot. Okay, you can get it by the half metre and it will be cut off the bolt for you. Janice is going to be using the 560, which is finally back in stock, by the way. Um, but there are less than five remaining. Less than five if you do want the 560. You've been waiting for it to come back. Janice, it's so good to have you back with us. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I haven't seen you for ages. I know. I, I know. didn't even know. That's that's time I was I came on with John. I didn't even know you were pregnant. Really? <laughs> that's how long it's been <laughs> since I've long, seen you. Um, Sue says, I love so, Janice. She's <laughs> such a breath of fresh air and so much fun. <laughs> this is great. That's lovely. The comments and the remarks are lovely. Like we we couldn't do it without you or all the support we get oh, from that. We it's such a lovely community. It is. It's a lovely it? community. So, but I'm just so glad Surrey now has become popular. Oh, it's, know, it's again, I think especially so. through lockdown. I think a yeah. lot of people have More got into people sew. Are doing crafts. Even my like cousins' children, the little ones, are all yeah. starting on about sewing and yeah. And I'm so pleased. And I know you're so. ever so busy because you've got a full time job. Yeah. You're an accountant, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Um, have you still found time to sew through yeah, lockdown? But I don't get to make my own clothes still, and that really annoys me. I get, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, uh, it's, you know, for work and stuff. So, but no, I'm going to start doing it now. So, because yeah. um, I, I used to have like about three or four jobs, and I've only yeah. got the two now, so <laughs> I've got more time. So, yeah, because with lockdown and everything, it's done a lot of damage. So, a few of the companies I've worked for have gone, and it's right. a shame. But, yeah, um, yeah. it's so important. I think it's now. very mindful, though, isn't it? As well, yeah. to be sewing. But, of course, with the time I have, I'd sooner be making lots and getting across like this book. It's so good, and these makes are so quick. Yeah. And I, I wanted to get as much done as I could, so I could show everybody. Brilliant. Because it's such a good book. Yeah, well, and you've made loads, I've even bought you? in all the props. I've <laughs> bought in the saucepans, I've bought in the coke. I shouldn't say it's that. Brilliant. Yeah, I might the crack soda. the soda in a minute. I'll say the soda. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> non-branded soda. Um, but these are great. You know when we can They're go great. out and have picnics and things? These and are that brilliant. handle for the saucepan is lovely. And they're like half an hour to an hour makes. They're like... So quick. So these are great for gifts. Great aren't they? for gifts. Great for gifts. The and bowl of course, cozy. The insulation. If you use the, but then again, like you said earlier, Vicky, didn't you? If you use the insole with the, uh, the metal, metal the inside, right. you wouldn't be able to put them in the microwave. Yeah. And you know, or, the, or probably even the dishwasher yeah. would be a bit dodgy. But those you can because yeah. they haven't got it in. So. Yeah. Or, yeah, you know, the bows are really good, so and it's really nice it, because it's the foamy, really foamy one. It's really foamy. I think it would actually. I mean, it's it's not going to be entirely heat proof. No, but it's no, it but is it's still, still lots be of layers. Protected. Lots yeah. of layers. There's like four layers to it because each each side is layered yeah. with the bows yeah. So it's the double the thickness. Oh, fantastic. so it's, it will really protect your hands from. Is the that alright to sew through though? Double layers. Is yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's. It took a bit of pushing. Um, <laughs> on the bag, on the actual boxing house, I had problems. So okay. I think you can see that on well, it. Well, it's a big so bag, it's isn't it? It's a big bag. It's gorgeous, But though. I did make the bag first. There was enough fabric to do two bags, and that's what I did. I actually made the bag first with the fleece. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, no, I should have done this with the bows. Also, I made the bag again oh. <laughs> with the bows. Yeah. So 
Um, the bag with the fleecing does look lovely as well. We should have brought it in there. Um, it's a lot softer. Yeah. But then that one does stand up on its own because it's got the extra thickness in it. Which I like. And it's got so a nice really big good. padded strap, long really padded nice strap, strap as well. So right, yes. So, so we are going to focus on the bag, aren't we? But yes, you just wanted to show how much you can make yeah. in, in such a short amount yeah. of time as well. That's it. And like the little children's bowl. Yeah. This is a bit of a sneak um, peek of the fabric this from later. The, <laughs> yeah. Um, I made that an inch smaller to what it says in the book because for the okay. children's bowl that you can put sweets in that you can put easter egg with easter coming up you know even their little cereal bowls and you could have it all to match Absolutely. and make them for girls and boys and and I just wanted you to see that because it was so colourful. And you know me and my colours. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but it so. just shows with the patterns, like you said, you've just gone an inch smaller. So for, for children's bowls for children's as well, so you can bowls, adapt you can them. You can adapt them. You can adapt them. And they're lovely. Fantastic. And Lorraine's them. messaged in, loving the show this morning. Well, I batch cook so I can get all of my sewing done later this morning. I love the bowl cozies and my, jan oh, my grandchildren use them when... And then it's cut off there. I'm wondering whether, you know, when you've got your porridge That's it. or when you've got your soup yeah. or anything, yeah. that these are yeah, ideal, aren't ideal. they? They're ideal. Um, Lorraine so. said, morning, Janice, those those bowls are a great project. Yeah, they are. Love them. Great little project. Right, anyway, so we better over make to you it. with the bag. Yeah. And I've got my gold scissors back. So we used to see you using these in sewing quarter days, well, didn't we? I've never bought them in there because <laughs> I've always been frightened of leaving mine behind because my daughter bought them me as a surprise oh. and I, I was always worried I'd leave them behind. So when I've come in to do the sewing on the show, because I hadn't got these in, I, I never used them. Yes. And, I, and now they're back. I thought, yes, I'll use them today. They're so lovely, aren't they're they? They're lovely, aren't they? They're gold. Anyway, the bag. Easy to make. Yeah. Tricky with the thickness of the fabric, um, the bosel, a bit trickier, so, but persevere. Use a walking foot when you can, if you're okay. using the bosel. With the fleece, it, it will just go through a machine, normal machine, normal yeah. you know, needle size. So the first thing you do, you cut out all your shapes, and then the front is made of the four quarters. So you can do it any way you like. So I've got two, two, now I've already done half the bag, you know me. I always do half first. <laughs> so I try and get the Blue project finished. the moment. That's it. So, so all you do, line up the way you want it, and then right sides together, just machine down, quarter of an inch down each side. Our baffer is watching, and she's put, if your machine struggles on bulky areas on bags, change your needle to a size 16 oh there you go to a jeans needle or universal one make sure you've got a walking foot on walking and if your foot. machine can release the pressure off your foot ah so lots of the machines that you can change the pressure can't you yeah see my some good bag making tips from Baffa, thank you see my machine just does it to the um actual tension and pressure and yeah everything that i'm sewing with so i, I don't have to think about Alter it or anything that's it oh should have used the scissors there so that's your one and you do the same with the other has that one Just got right the scissor cutter together. on yes it, it has. has right the 560 has i'm going to use this i'm going to use it next so my cutter doesn't work on at home so i need a new machine to be honest so I just do it. Yeah. <laughs> and how's Amy? How's Amy getting on? She's fine. She's at drama school. She did a Shakespeare's this week. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. uh, how's that been through lockdown, doing all practical? They've, well, because she's living near Epping Forest, um, they've been able to go into the forest and meet up. And if she was in London, there'd be more of a problem. Yeah. If she was in the main town, there'd be more of a problem but because uh he's 15 where she's at is he in essex she's able to do it in the forest mm -hmm. and i've been able to you know what i mean yeah. so it's been handy for her oh, that's good. so now i'm just going to press these seams open yes yeah, so she's done really well so i hope everybody had a nice mother's day oh yes last week my daughter oh, 
Well, you knew about the turkey, didn't you? With me having to take two turkeys to a house Christmas, and we never went anyway, so we had to eat them. Well, it became a turkey gate on the show. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, this time, she's uh, Mother's Day. Yeah. I hope you all had a lovely Mother's Day. Um, yeah. She rang me up. She said, come up with the idea for Mother's Day. I said, oh, yeah. She said, we're going to have afternoon tea. Oh, lovely. And I thought, well, how are we going to do that, eh? She said, you go and buy the scones. You go and buy your own scones, your own jam, your own cream, your own salmon for your sandwiches and cucumber sandwiches. We'll have salmon and cucumber sandwiches. She said, then we'll do a Zoom. You can cook yours and I'll come. Oh, so you'll have a virtual So for my Mother's too. Day... <laughs> You've I've got, got to supply salmon. my own scones, I've got <laughs> to do with my turkey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you, so did anyway, you do a virtual one with on Zoom? Hang on, hang on, you've okay. heard the best, right? So she says this was going to be lunchtime, 12 o'clock, she said it for. So I thought, right, okay, 12 o'clock. Give me another 15 minutes, she said, so I had to ring her back on the Zoom. You never guess what she'd done. She'd only bought the ingredients. Me and my mother had to then sit and watch her and teach her how to do scones. Oh, my word. Like and actual baking scones. She was scones. baking the scones. She didn't buy pre-made ones. She'd forgotten that we were supposed to be buying them. Oh, that's hilarious. So, <laughs> we're sitting there teaching her how to make scones. Anyway, and how was your mother's oh, day? Oh, so you had a lovely mother's day. <laughs> I bet you've had a bit of a mother's day because of well, the baby Well, yeah, coming. do you know, I, well, my husband, he did say to me, you're not, you're not milking this and getting presents this year. <laughs> Yeah, do you so, do? But a couple of my friends did send me cards, so uh, that was lovely. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> so so are you matching up your seams So there? what I'm doing now, I'm getting the pin in the seam and I'm going straight into the other seam of the other side, <laughs> okay? And you pin them together. So we match the seam exactly and just double check it goes through to the other side and then we're going to machine down and create a square now again you can do this however you want if you want it plain if you want it pearl <laughs> yeah <laughs> so oh wendy orlando's watching she do. says good morning ladies i don't want to rub it in vix but i'm sitting here knitting and relaxing whilst you are entertaining me oh. i should have brought my knitting in shouldn't i sit knitting um it said loves janice's outfit gorgeous color it is it looks really nice thank doesn't you. it? thank you it is known what to wear on the show so Oh, tell me about it. I'm, yeah, I'm really <laughs> struggling. You. Especially when Mark Francis is here because he's such a fashionista. Oh. If I ever I come in and I'm wearing, he'll say, look at you looking all frumpy in your cardigan <laughs> and he'll say it. <laughs> Lynn said, I love watching Janice. Always brightens a dull day. Oh. And Susan said, me Thank too. You. She is a delight. We love having you here. It's a shame we only get you once a month. You are busy, 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 aren't you? <laughs> then again, I'm on it on twice next month. I'm on oh, Easter good. Sunday. So, I'm on twice next month. Oh, that's good. So, that'll be lovely. So. No, it's all good fun. So, I'm just doing again quarter inch seams, just going down. Make sure I do a, don't do a mark and so over the lip. Oh, when you told me about that pin, I thought it was ever so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it don't just happen to me, it happens to the best of us. When what, sorry? With his pin, when he, his pin got jammed oh, in the sewing machine. Oh, sewing over his pins. That was so funny. <laughs> oh, he didn't just sew over it. Yeah. It actually jammed the machine, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, I'll do it. I've done it again, not use the scissors. This machine does cut, I promise you. Yeah, it does have the snip, <laughs> doesn't it? Right, so once you've done that, open it out. And now you've got your main part of the bag. So uh, all I'm going to do now is press it all open because we want it nice and crisp. I know you love your bright fabrics generally, don't you, Janice? Yeah. But the, I do like the um, the peachy tones you're working with as well. They nice are nice, with with the grey, because it's got grey in as well, hasn't it? Yeah. Grey is very popular at the moment, isn't it? It is. See, I'm, I've never been into grey because it was the colour of a school uniform. <laughs> <laughs> so... The most popular at the moment is the Happy Days, which is the one that you made the bag out of, um, yeah. which is lovely, like bright jade green and bright yellows and bright pinks. It is gorgeous. So I've never gone for this colour either because I'm olive skins and I can't wear pastels. I have to have the harshness of colours. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'd have to have that oh, green on me, against me. 
Do you know what I mean? That green is lovely, isn't it? The jade green is my favourite. Right then. So once you've done that, you have to shape it. Let's just get rid of a few threads. Let's use my scissors. Cutting beautiful. <laughs> good. It is important to have a good pair of scissors, isn't it? Every time, because you don't want to hack. Like I heard you say that yeah. in the first show about hacking, and it's so easy to hack. So, so now what we've got to do, we're going to put that down there for the bit. Right, we've got to cut. Now I need a cutting mat, so if I use this, is that one bigger? Okay. So I'm going to use my cutting mat because what you've got to do now is you've got to shape it to the shape of the bag. Now, if I show you what shape we're going to be having, it is that shape. Ah, okay. Okay, this is one I prepared earlier. So is there a template for so, it? So, no. It's no, measurements. It's measurements. Okay. So, and also, if you use the bonzel, yeah. Or the thicker, you know, into lining. Yeah. You've got to make the lining bigger. Right. Than what it states in the pattern. Right, is that because you're quilting it? By three or? inches, yeah. Right. It it doesn't work. The lining, if it, it does if the if you fleece with the, with the normal fleece, if yeah, you use that, 40, yeah. it'll work the twenty nine inches. If it's thicker in thicker inside insulation, you need it 32 inches wide at okay. the bottom, okay? So I need to just to stress that because I don't want you, <laughs> you know. Why is that? Is, does it tend it's to shrink it's a bit thicker, more? Cause oh, it's thicker, thicker. Okay. it's a thicker turn, it's a yeah. thicker fleece, because you're doing that twice. Right, okay. Whereas the fleece is like only a bit thicker than the width of fabric, that yeah. one isn't. And right. When you turn it, it's quite tough. Okay. So, so what you do then, you measure six, and three, so you get your top, whichever way round you want it. You measure six and three quarter inches in, because this lady who's done this book is American. Right. They still work in inches and mm -hmm. yeah. Do you generally just work so, in centimetres? I suppose the dressmaker in you does. Seventeen. Yeah. I I believe it or not, I've always worked in inches. So it's seventeen centimetres you go in by, and do a marker. And then what you do, you go from where you mark it six and three quarters in, yeah. down to the corner, and with the ruler, which I bought a few weeks ago. Oh, right. So have you have you you used this on the show last time with John, didn't you? I bought I bought one of these. Oh, have you? Oh, to die for. I wish I'd bought them years ago. Do you generally use a rotary cutter for your dressmaking? Then? I never used a rotary cutter until this show. Really? <laughs> until, yeah. yeah. I've, because the first time I used one, I cut myself badly and yeah, I thought, put you off. No, never do it again. I, I'm used to scissors. So I want yeah. scissors. But since I've got into it now, I, I do like the rotary yeah. cutter. So yeah, so this I bought. Well, I suppose and that's less scary because it's all concealed in there, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And you, and you you're less dangerous than cutting your hands and that. So all you do, you go from where you've marked six and three quarter inches down into the corner, and you just just hold it, and you just go. Now also, um, if it jams, if this starts jamming. Mm -hmm. As you go in and hacking at the fabric, it's time to change your blade, okay? And to be honest, because I was doing things a bit thick as well with this, you can't really do that because it blunts them quicker, yeah. so just be careful. And you just change it with okay. a, your standard 45 millimeter blade, can't you? Yeah, yeah, and it is, it's really good. So just drop the tack measure. So again, on the other side, on this side, oh, I'll do it from the front. Do it from the front. Six and three quarter inches in, or 17 centimetres. Like Taylor's chalk or marker pen. Whatever you want to use. Measure from the chalk into the corner. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Bob's your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and trim it. Brilliant. And they are great. I think the ruler the actually sold out yesterday, didn't it? It was really popular. We've got the blade change tool in, um, but it's good to see it in action. Yeah, so that's that. Quick. Nice, yeah. And done. Because you look at it first with the shape, you think, how am I going to get that? How would you get that? So yeah. then, one I did earlier, I've, I've had to put them on the floor because they're so big. <laughs> 
Yeah, the Bosal. Is that Bozal. the um, one that's got the, um, what's it called, adhesive on it? No. no. Oh, I don't know. Has it got Has a shiny got side? A See, I've never seen this before. There's uh, one that yes, sides, I yeah. think that's it. So that's glue, you can just iron it on. Right then, so if I iron that on, I'll have a go at that. So, it might be a little bit bigger, but we're okay. Yes, it has got a shiny side. Did you just go for it and sew it down? I just sewed yeah. it. I just sewed it. I, I, I follow, I always yeah. follow. It's like when I have some of my food deliver, delivered, <laughs> I follow it to the recipe. Yeah. And my other half go, you don't need to do that. And I think, no, yes, I do. I've got to follow the recipe. Yeah. And I'm like that with pattern, yeah. pattern books. I do it to the plan, you know. So, but let's have a go. You need your uh, pressing mat. Oh, yes, I do, don't I? Is that right? No, you're fine. in my ear. No, but that's good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Susan said, morning everyone, loving the size and shape of the shopping bag, it's huge and stylish. Yeah, because sometimes you can have a big bag and it it doesn't hold its shape very well, it looks really cumbersome, whereas that is so trendy and cool. In fact, it'd make a nice weekend bag when we can yeah. go out and we can go and stay <laughs> overnight somewhere, a little staycation. It's ideal, isn't it's it? true, isn't it? And I bet you can add pockets if you wanted on the inside or a fastening on the... In yeah. Uh, yeah. You can do what you like, can't you really? Or, like you say, if you follow it to the T on the, uh, the, the, then you've got a, a gorgeous bag anyway. So if you're new to sewing, anyway. it's ideal. Right, so it hasn't really stuck that much. I must admit. No, it hasn't really maybe stuck it that might much. need a bit more steam. I know Debbie Shaw says it likes the steam. So maybe give it a good Just steam. Have but you can water still in sew it. it. I, I think I will sew it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will sew something. It's still good to sew it, I think, anyway, even if you've um, you've stuck it down. Yeah, it's... See, half of these things now are sticky, aren't they? And it's mm -hmm. really clever. But I'll just put some under. Clips Your clips are good as well, aren't they, for bulkier projects yeah. like this. In fact, I think you would probably struggle, especially as you get to the next layer, with your pins. Yeah. The clips are the best. Yeah. Definitely. But then again, if you've got, see at home, I've got a massive steam iron. So, and it just, they, they, I'd be lost without it. Yeah. You know, it's, um, I'm just going to trim that down a bit because that, I'll cut a bit bigger. Yeah, but my steam iron, I love my steam iron. So I'm just going to... So what you've been doing exciting, Vic, apart from getting the baby room <laughs> ready and... Apart from growing a baby, there's nothing more. I'm trying to think what if there's anything. I've not seen you for so long. I know. I've got some it's news. Yeah, you just asked me. Um, so. I don't know. <laughs> I think we've all... It's just strange. Time at the moment is really strange, isn't it? Because I feel like... It's gone, things have gone really quick. Yeah. But then also really slow. It's, yeah. Well, We're I just went, in limbo. I went back to work because um, we've had a company buy out. Um, and it, I needed to get back to work. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm above people. Yeah. And I'm putting this sage pay roll in. And right. I needed to be there for the tip in April. Yeah. And I've been too long away. You know when you. Yeah. You feel like you've been too long away going yeah. at home. So it was right for me to go back now. This um, is why I, I'm scared about having too long. People keep saying to me, you need to relax now. And I think if I'm sitting at home, I'm actually more relaxed sitting here talking yeah. to you than I would be if you I were at home. You would be at home. And it's so You've had true. your jab now though, haven't you? Yeah, I had it on Monday. Oh, great. But it, it's still been hurting me a bit. Yeah. It hurts for the, well, it's hurt me for the week afterwards, but you've got to have it. Oh, absolutely. You've got to have it. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, it's just one of them things that we, we're going to have to live with, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Let's face it. Um, but I just, I just do think, I think our, medi you know, our medical teams are amazing. You know, it's yeah, absolutely. It's really our important. Our NHS and that is amazing. Sue said, get used to big bags, Vix. You, do you mean <laughs> under my eyes? Or? It's true. 
<laughs> which kind of bags? <laughs> small bugs become, oh right, small bugs become representative of the time which will disappear when the bump is born. <laughs> and when you're going out, plan for two hours before. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, yeah. I'm, uh, I think that's probably the thing that I'm most nervous about is I'm... I wouldn't say I'm selfish, but I'm quite selfish with my time that I'm like, right, I'm just going to nip here and nip here and nip there. You can't, and you can't more. just do that. <laughs> no. That's what I'm probably most nervous about. That's the thing, you can't, you, it's like... Janice was telling me earlier, she said the day before, uh, the day before you had Amy, you were up standing on the um, windowsills, weren't you? Feather in the nest. <gasps> Feather in the nest. Yeah, it's a real thing, isn't it? Yeah. I've been cleaning out the fridge. I mean, like, thoroughly cleaning all the cupboards. It's amazing fridge. how the woman's instinct kicks in. It's really strange. Oh, Baffa's had her jab too. I'm one jab down. Roll on now. Yeah. Um, is it? Roll oh, on June. Yeah, June, <laughs> May. I think she's Mine the for May. Mine's June. But very professional, the people who give it you and everything. The jab. So It's very um, efficient, isn't it? Yeah, very, very. very. Sorry about this, guys, but it's best that we hold it in place while we machine this. Have you lengthened your stitch to go through this bosal or not? You what, Sally? Have you lengthened your stitch at all, or you don't need to to get through? No, I'm, I've just on, done it to three anyway, all the way round. So oh, that's good. I could have done it, to be honest. I must admit, though, I, I did on the other one. I actually put them together first and machined it, so maybe I should have yeah, done that. Yeah, so. the 560 is working a little dream, isn't it? By the way... We've been waiting for so long for this machine to come back in. It came in yesterday and the, virtually all of the stock sold yesterday. Oh, gone. But less than five. It's on split pay for £193 over three payments. So it's 579 which is, it's, it is one of my favourite machines because it's got that thread cutter, which is a game changer. And it's, it's got neat, a big array of stitches. It's ever so neat. But it's nice, yeah, it's nice and, and neat and compact and portable. I think lots of people who are getting into sewing don't have a designated sewing room. No. This is ideal. I sew on my dining room table and I, you could put this away quite yeah. easily. Yeah. So now what you have to do is sew round again. I could have done this together, really. Um, so just trim it down again. Lorraine says, you'll, get, you'll soon get into a routine, Vic. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. And Jill said, I was up a ladder cleaning the windows the day before my son was born. There you born. go. <laughs> up a ladder. Well, when I said to Janice, I said, I, I feel obviously it is getting sooner. And she's like, have you been up on a, a ladder or climbing up anywhere, cleaning everywhere? <laughs> have you been cleaning? That was the main thing. That's it. It is the cleaning. Mental. <laughs> we all do it. Right, yeah. so Janet, so you're going through two layers of bows on yeah. now? Yeah, and I'm going through two first. layers and it's right. doing it on the 5, eight, five sixty. I'm just going through one of the machine stitches I did earlier. Because I, I, when I was thinking about boxing out, I thought, ooh, <laughs> it's going to be a bit tricky. But it, even with the walking foot, it was a bit tough. But um, we'll have a go. It does give it great so, shape though, doesn't it? It is a real nice shape bag. But like I say, oh, the fleece does a nice, just a nice, it's whether you want a stiffer bag or a floppy bag. But even the H640 will still give you structure, won't it? Yeah. It's not going to be completely floppy. Oh no, floppy. no, it's, it, it does give you structure. So it's, it's up a to you lo lovely, how structured but it's you how want structured it. you want it. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the boring bit, isn't it, Vic? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Stop it's watching good. paint dry. <laughs> it's a Sunday. It's a nice, relaxing day. It's a isn't nice it? day. Isn't Sue it? said, going out, with my, going out with baby is a major job in itself. I remember getting <laughs> one of my twins ready. Oh, you have twins. Putting her bonnet on and sat her on my knee to only find that a nappy was <laughs> leaking. So, change of clothes for her <laughs> and me. Oh, no. Yeah, just as you go out the door, you have to go back to change if they're sick or anything. Because you always try and feed them before you go out, and then when you feed, you feed them. Oh, dear. 
make sure you burp them up first. So you said uh, first pram walk with my oldest around the village took two hours to get out the door. <laughs> Cycle of six, fresh clothes, feed and nappy change. Oh. But it's so delightful. Aww. You'll love it. You'll love it. I am so excited. Yeah, you definitely can. So I'm going to pop around for a walk. As soon as I can. No, just come and have a meet me in the park. It'll be so nice. It will. It'll be lovely. Yeah, I keep forgetting to use that scissor cutter. Right then, so that's that, right? So you've done the bulk shape of it. Machine it together. Yeah, it looks huge, so then what it? you do, you you then Oh, this is to make your boxy bottom. Right. I actually flatten it out. Right. Like so. And then you have to turn it in four inches. Right. So you turn that in four inches. You're just eyeballing it. Yeah. Open the seam out as much as you can to get it to go as flat as you can. Okay. And then what should happen, if you measure that four inches, it should then measure five and three quarter inches across. Mm -hmm. You with me? Yeah. So this is how you're boxing it out. So the four inches is there. Oh gosh, you did do it by eye well. And then it should only be though five and three quarters going across. So I, I'm going to take it a bit smaller. You with me? Okay. I'm more concerned about getting it five and three quarters than I am the four going in, to be honest. So that we don't take away the shape so much do you know what i mean mm -hmm. so then what you do then is you machine stitch across all the thicknesses right okay. this is your bulky bit now this is the bulky bit and this is the only bulky bit there is so then machine down have you ever used a humper jumper <laughs> what's a humper jumper do you know those little it's like a little <gasps> ramp and you put it under your foot yeah. It comes with a lot of machines and it just looks like a plastic square thing. It looks like the shape of an H. Yeah. Um, oh. And it's got a slight ramp to it and you put that under your foot and it, it gives you like a ramp up your speed bump. No. You've not seen them? No. I've never seen You have to Google Hamper Jumper, it's a thing. You'll definitely have I'm one. I must have one with my machine. I can't now this is where, it, that's who it. this is where I worry. How's it doing? It's, it's done it. <laughs> On 560. <laughs> that was like childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> Go Is on. That easy? Go on 560. What a machine. I've got the singer, yeah. biggest one they do, the quantum, and that had trouble with that. <gasps> and that did work, that one. And that just there you go. What a machine. Right? And that's on air. <laughs> exactly that's that's um that's telly sewing as well so <laughs> and then all i did was cut off the bit yeah get rid of that little bit of bulk there and just take and cut the ends there and you can see how tough it is because the scissors are struggling to get through it so that's the one side and then we do just making sure everything's lovely there. Then we do the other side. Ah, oh, right. Maybe I'm calling it the um, sort of colloquial name, but Janice, it's called a bulky sea maid or a jean jig. No, I've never seen it. No, jean Don't jig. No, jean jig. Um, Susan says I use my humper jump all the time now since Becky Alexandra Frost told us about it. It's fab. Ooh. You'll have to have a look. I'm going to have to have a look at that defo. I'm going to have to have a look at that, definitely. Right, let's do round two. Round two. <laughs> round two, you're not kidding. Right. Very nervous, ladies and gents. Hold your breath. About this. <laughs> I was like... Oh, here we go. Here we go. And you're, yeah, not, push you're not pushing that through, are not you? Not really. I, I am giving it a bit of welly. Bit of, a bit of help. <laughs> bit of welly. <laughs> But yeah, no. But if your machine struggles, I suppose on that part, could you sort of like do it stitch by stitch, just hang that's crank what I did. it? Yeah. That's how I did it. Yeah. That's how I did it. And that's what I was expecting to say to people today, aren't I? There you go. So instead I'm saying, by the five, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> by the five, aren't we? 
60. <laughs> it's a side graphics. There's only, I think, three left now. So that's 579 pounds. So that now is the bag. So you turn it right side out. Ready. <laughs> This is like a, a workout, isn't it? It's self done, isn't it? Though? It is. <laughs> right, you act till you we put the lining, add the lining. So it's, is the lining exactly the same size? Yes, but bigger. No, bigger. No, bigger. Gotta be bigger. <laughs> okay. Gotta be bigger for this okay. size bag, for the bonsel. Yep. But for the um, other size bag, if you're using the fleece now, it, right. it needs to just be the 29. So, going across the bottom. So we do the same now. <laughs> so there we go. Poke your corners out. It stands up lovely. And oh, well, that's brilliant, isn't it? Because I like one. a bag that holds its shape. You know when yeah. you plug something on the floor and you, then it's all flops down. Flops down. You have to go yeah. digging in it then. You have to dig in it. Right then. So you do the lining exactly the same, but this lining's bigger. Okay. So. Again, get the cutting mass. And now what I'm going to do this time is just, you can either do it and measure it corner to corner, or you can put it on and do it. Just take a pattern. Because mm -hmm. it does say, you see, just take a pattern off when you do your front, the outside, it says just take a pattern and copy it on your lining. Again, that's what I did and I had to cut all my linings again because it wasn't big enough. <laughs> so <laughs> just, you know, make sure that you, you've got your, your markings right. Do you have any pets, Janice? I have a dog. Oh, Becky said you could fit a dog in that bag. <laughs> Not my dog. My no. dog's an American Bulldog. Oh, wow. <laughs> She's massive. Nancy. She, she leaves me pinned. She comes up and she Nancy. Comes what Nancy. What a lovely name. Well, we had a staffy for 15 years and that was called Dodger. <laughs> my, my other half loves Oliver the film. <laughs> so, yeah. Pauline, you're so right. She says that size bag is great for those shops where they sell everything for a pound. <laughs> it's true. You know when you go to B&M or the range yeah. or pound or something, you end up, me and Kat will always say this, we go in just oh. thinking, I just need this or I'm just going to have a look and end up coming you out with loads. That's you're perfect. You're spending £30. Because that's like me, because I don't do a lot of shopping because I never have time. Um, and when I do go to a shop, I, I will make the most of it. So, yeah. <laughs> so when I did see this bag, I thought, oh... And it is a good shopper bag. It is a good bag. Right, so that to that and that to that. And every every one of these projects is easy. Mm. You know, it, it is easy. Yeah, in, they're designed for book. beginner it's sewers, aren't this. they? They are very good. So and lots you of can them make them with the children. And like the, you like know. you said, lots of them um, are, are designed with the insole bright or the different thermalands or the different um, fleeces to keep the cold out or the heat in there's lots of projects that you can use your insole bright if you've got it. your um thermalan thermalan it's a lovely book it is a lovely book isn't it and the instructions are really nice and easy to follow as well janice yeah very clear yeah ever yeah. so clear aren't they Vic? Do you do a lot of sewing? I do like sewing. I, I like do. quick projects like this as well. Like I'm not very, um, I've start things. I've, I've, <laughs> I've been doing more knitting recently. Oh, I love knitting. Do you? Yeah, well, you're a knitter I'm as well. I'm a knitter as well. I used to knit before I sewed. And our mum, she used to say, how you spend hours knitting now, Janice? <laughs> and not doing, she said, you can make a dress in an hour, uh, well, an afternoon. You knitting a jumper can take, Weeks. <laughs> I find it really therapeutic though. And it's therapeutic. Right, so I'm just going round the lining. Now, I'm leaving a turning gap in the lining at the bottom of about two or three inches. So that we can, you know, yeah. box it or turn it all out. Susan so. says, I'm loving this bag. My mum would love this for a food shopping. Yeah. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> so, just doing the lining now. I left enough because it is a, it's ever such a big bag and you don't think you've le left enough and you have. It's 
hot in here today, Vic, isn't it? It is quite warm, actually. Can it's we have the air con on, please, Elliot? I'll freeze now. <laughs> I was, um, yeah, we, I was watching John yesterday. Was it yesterday where John was saying John that we on. left it tropical? We put 24 degrees heater on and left it on overnight. Oh, you didn't. Well, I, I honestly, Janice, since I've been pregnant, I've been my temp body temperatures changed <laughs> and poor kieran through the winter i've not we're not having the heating on it's too hot i'm it's hot too all hot. the time but um cat <laughs> and elliot they, so they must be freezing in here because in the office they'll always have the heating on there and really warm in the office <laughs> see I, I i get hot anyway yeah um and i'm like you i'll throw the covers off and <laughs> So all I'm doing is going round all the lining. Helen's asking, do we deliver to the Isle of Man for sewing machines? Um, Helen, I want to say yeah, but what I would do is if you speak to our customer service team, they have a huge sort of list of everything or if there's any exceptions or any extra charges, etc because the only reason I can't answer it is because it, they come directly from Elna, so I'm not sure whether there's a different policy. But if I were you, the call centre will know the answer to your, your message. So if you call them, the number's on your screen there, it's free to call, um, they'll be able to help you. But um, yeah, hopefully they can, hopefully they can, yeah. I don't see why not. Just gonna see how far we can go down. Right, so that's that done. So now I'm going to, what you have to do. These nice long straps as well, aren't they? Yeah. Have they got the bows in them no, as well? Yeah. So now with the straps, what I've done, um, how you make these is you cut them, I think it's five by 37 in the book, and then you actually put the bows on, on, you fold the fabric in half, Yeah. Fold it in half, then press it. Okay. Then open it out, fold it into the middle, both ends, the right. raw edges into the middle, both ends, and then fold it over and machine down both sides. Oh, that's good. So, so you're not having I'm to doing, turn through any of these big, so long if, if I just show loops. you quickly on here. So what you do, first of all, you make out this is your handle. Right. You fold in half, press, mm -hmm. then you open out, press into the middle, press into the middle both sides and then fold it in half and you machine down. Ah, so you can seal in all your raw edges. So nice. all your raw edges are tucked in to the inside. Brilliant. Okay, so then what you do Go in from the side and you go in two and a half inches either side. <laughs> and we just Lynn's message saying, Vicky, you could fit the baby in that bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they have told me the chance that I'm gonna have a big baby. So yeah, good. Oh you're not. <laughs> That's a how big was Amy? Uh, can you remember how big was Amy? Six pound ten. Oh, she was diddy. But don't forget, Amy is four foot ten. Oh. She's she's a little one, isn't she? Was she early? No. 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 She should have been born. The. Yes, yeah, she was. She was a week early. Week early. She was a week early. She should have been born the 29th of December, and she was born the 21st. Mm -hmm. And what's funny? is my partner now, who was my first love from 30 years ago, 40 years ago, his daughter was born the same week as Amy, yeah. exactly the same age, and she was born on the day Amy should have been born on. Oh, really? Yeah. That's spooky, isn't it? was it? so strange. So, putting the handles on, <laughs> no? <laughs> Two and a half inches in, fold it down, fold it round, and up. And then hopefully... Yeah, it's open. not going to be all... It's not going to be. No, I like this bag with the handle looking. Yeah, I do. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Strange, isn't it? It's amazing. So let's go two and a half inches in. 
does it go within does it go within your lining then where is it that you sew it in but you could have it on the front that goes inside yeah and then all the lining is going to go in right okay there so all i'm doing at the moment is pinning it in and then we're going to just two and a half inches and i'm just going to then tack it down with the machine just baste it down so again make that sure the handles are the right way and do it two and a half inches susan's from bristol she's messaged in love the size of this bag great for taking my chef's whites and shoes um <laughs> plus lunch to work thank you for a great show that's from susan that's great oh. yeah actually you could fit everything if you do um i've seen lots of uh, the nh uh, i live near the hospital and the nhs staff they all are wearing their bits and then they'll get changed so they've yeah. got all their bags so it's brilliant it's to be really able to good. if you do get changed for work yeah it is it's really good isn't it it's lovely big beach bag with your towel yeah. in Women always have to have bags, don't they? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can never have too much house, too many bags. Um, I remember Debbie Shaw telling me, you can never have too many bags. They're yeah. great for insulating your house as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It is true, isn't it? <laughs> you have to exclude your crushed button of your door. <laughs> yeah. Oop. So all I'm doing now is just tucking these down. Just doing the... Just while, hold it in place while we do everything. Else. But isn't it a quick make? It is. It was such a quick make. And for anyone who's new to bag making, there haven't been too many pieces to it. No. There. This is great. No. You can make, do it so quick. Just while Janice is stitching the um, handles on, can mm. I just quickly recap the bundles, Janice? Do you mind? Yeah, no, you carry on. So the one that Janice made the main bag out of that you can see on the desk, it's the most popular today, actually. These are lovely together. You've got your Happy Days, which is gorgeous. A whole metre from your Happy Days range. It's a Michael Miller. Uh, is it Michael Miller? Yes. Michael Miller, absolutely beautiful with those bright yellows, bright pinks, uh, a whole metre of that. You also get a metre and a half of your emerald green solid for your lining and then you have your Hannah basic which is again I think a meter so there's so much fabric there to be able to have a good mate well to be able to make lots from the new book um, a lot of people buy multiples of this one actually remember they will come pre-cut into those sizes but um, yeah you're gonna be able to make loads from the book brilliant um, we also have the one that Janice has been working with which is your peaches um, this is with your bird cages, your paisley prints and your peach. So you're getting a metre of your printed fabrics, a metre and a half of your peach for your lining. We've seen it come together. It looks really, really nice in fact now seeing it all together in the bag, doesn't it? $27.99. Loads of those in baskets. Please do be very, very careful if you have got it in your basket. And then finally, we've also got the gardening one, um, which you get a metre again of both your pattern fabrics. And I know John Scott loved these fabrics yesterday. You're getting loads of fabric here. A metre of your teal, a metre of your navy, and then you also have a metre and a half of your silver. $24.99 uh, plus it all comes from the amazing book which is you're so home in the kitchen brand new today 19 pounds and 99 pence there's so many bags so many cushions so many projects that are all nice and quick these would be great gift ideas for people actually Janice wouldn't they absolutely amazing and I've it's noticed there's so book. many recipes aren't there yeah you're only mid like this then look there's got, there's chilli con carne. I wonder if there's any scones. <laughs> scones, we don't know. Oh, she knows how to make scones now, doesn't she? <laughs> Nanny's sausage gravy. There's a tea cosy. Tea cosy. <laughs> For when you do afternoon tea on Zoom. <laughs> Did you see the dog then? <laughs> I'm looking for the recipes, Elliot. He's like, let me show you the dog. Oatmeal, raisin cookies. They look nice. Brilliant.
Brian book, brand new today, £19.99. pence. Right, Janice, you can see we've got Mark eagerly awaiting in the wings. Just doing see. the lining, aren't we? So we're just doing the lining. So with the lining, all you've got to do now is open it out. You, you'd normally press it all and whatever, then you just actually tuck it all in, right sides together. <laughs> tuck it all in. Right, so the main part of your bag is right side. The lining is inside out. That's this is it. always a bit that fathoms yeah. me a bit. Derek okay. says, I so need right that size bag together. for all my music when I play at the National... Oh, my word, the National Amateur Theatre Conference during the banquet. Absolutely. This is good for all your sheet music, actually. Mark Francis as well. It is fancy. It's lovely, isn't it? So you match up those side seams. So match up your side seams with your side seams and top machine round the top. Have you left a gap in, in the your bottom handles. of your lining? Yep. Leave a gap in the bottom of your lining to turn through. Okay. But can you see what I mean with this bag? The lining's bigger right, okay. than the bag. And it's because the lining would not fit. Because you've got all of the bows on. Yeah. Brilliant. So, I don't think we're going to have time to stitch, to stitch round, round but happens. you would just stitch round the top. You stitch round the top. Pull it all through. Pull it all through with the hole in the bottom. Brilliant. And it'll all fold over lovely and then top stitch around the top of the bag like I have on that one. Looks great, doesn't it? Absolutely so, love it. It's lovely. And really quick. I will finish, I will finish this off though. So Fab, it's yeah, please show. do. You're back in the next hour yeah. and look at how adorable this jumpsuit is. <laughs> lovely, aren't they? Oh my word, they're amazing. We've got some really, really lovely mates coming up with Janice in an hour. So thank you very, very much. Okay. Oh, no problem by the all. way, we've got a video what? that we wanted to show you. What? I've got a special message for oh, you. John. <laughs> Have a look at this. <laughs> Kat told us we were going to be on air together. I'm not here, but the shirt is. Look, I just wanted to prove that I've still got my lovely shirt that you bought me from America. Thank you, Janice. <laughs> oh, oh, John. <laughs> yeah, because you thought, I think you thought you were on the 20th or the 21st. Yes. So there was some confusion. But um, no, we sent in a message. Oh, we wore it. Yeah. Bless him. Oh. <laughs> From cowboy country, that was. Was it? Yeah. Oh, amazing. Canada, well, it was from Canada. It oh, was, wow. Uh, yeah. From the Calgary Stampede. Oh, wow. So, because my brother lives there. So, when I went, I bought him. That was in the sewing oh, pool today. Incredible. So, yeah. Thank you ever so much, Joyce. We'll see you in an hour. And I'll see you in an hour. Mark Francis is coming back. We have got another uh, Sussex seamstress pattern, brand new in today. The top that we've seen uh, behind Janice, already selling on pre order. We're back in just a couple of minutes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. 
Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, welcome back, welcome back. Um, right, are you ready? Da, 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 da. Round two. So, um, this is a brand new pattern designer to us today. We launched the first pattern at eight o'clock, completely sold out. This is the Sussex Seamstress, and I think we were all really, really excited about having the, the, the patterns on board. I know that this was um, both independently, actually. John Scott spoke to the team about getting these patterns in as did Mark. Um, so we're really, really, really excited about being able to bring these and especially as um, it's an in independent uh, designer, which is, is so exciting. And I think it really, really Im uh, important to us to champion these independent designers. And Jane, who is the Sussex seamstress, she is incredibly knowledgeable. She has um, got a huge background in dressmaking and please do have a read on her blog, um, on her website, a bit more about her. So the top itself is gorgeous. We were talking about the dress being a real sort of wardrobe staple, whereas this is again another real wardrobe builder. It's one that you could do lots of different hacks with as well, different fabrics different occasions, whether you're going to having it as a work top, whether you're having it as going out to lunch, whether you're just having it as quite casual, depending on your fabrics, it's going to look completely different. And I absolutely love the fabric choices for today's show. It's, you can see, it's got those elasticated sleeves, so it gives it lovely detail uh, with your shearing elastic on the wrist just floats and uh, sort of skims over any lumps and bumps. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So the pattern itself, um, Mark, I'm going to ask you because it doesn't sound the back. Do you know what the size is of this? No, I, I haven't picked up the pattern. It's on the desk out the back. Oh, <laughs> uh, cat's on it. So cat's I, on it. I can't remember. We'll have a look, we'll have a look. So your pattern already selling very, very quickly is £15.50 and we will go through the sizing and we'll, of course, go through all of your fabric requirements as well. We've put together some bundles. We've also put some fabrics together by the half metre. If you've got any questions for Mark this hour, please do get them in. But as I said, it's definitely worth having a look on the Sussex um, Seamstress website she does a fantastic blog she does brilliant video tutorials there's lots of different hacks there's uh, have you got it there Elliot it doesn't matter it doesn't matter cat's back now ah okay right hang on right so we'll go through the fabrics and then we will um we'll have a look My, uh cat can't find the little booklet oh. Uh -huh. Oh, it's 8 to 22. Thank you very, very much. Found it on the website. 8 to 22. Okay, so the fabric that um, that Mark was working with is this one. Now, it's super, super soft as well. It is absolutely gorgeous. Three metres of your ocean blue. Uh, it's £46.99. Do you know the composition, Kat? Mm-hmm. She says, mm-hmm, I do. 
it's lovely and soft. Um, but we've seen this fabric a few times with Mark's um, patterns. I think actually, I don't know whether we saw it in his dressing gown show, but it would make a lovely kimono as well, wouldn't it? So these bundles are three meter bundles, which is enough to make the largest size, enough to make the largest size. It's not there, that's how she can't find it. Oh, 100% <laughs> yeah, cotton. I must, I've got everything else, I haven't got the instructions. Oh, you know how to do it, don't you? You just know, come without the instructions. Um, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it, Sue? She says, I like the look of the Tillington top too. It's really lovely and these fabrics are gorgeous. This is again 100% cotton. Um, we've got it in pink. When I say pink, it's more of like a coral colour. It's really lovely. 46 99 for three metres pre-cut, less than five of these already selling very very quickly indeed um obviously think about the the direction of this as well does it have a direction mark i yeah i didn't bother about one i don't think so no i don't think so no. i think they go in all directions yeah nice that's good that you don't need to worry too much about it um 100 cotton three meter bundle which is enough to make the largest size which is a size 22. we also have the pink that Mark's going to be demonstrating with. Now, just doing these in lovely planes are going to look really nice as well. The blush is going to look beautiful. And you could really accent with your bias binding as well that, that ties into the bow at the front of the, 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 uh, the top. It would be beautiful to have a different colour binding as well. You could pick um, the blue bias binding or something, couldn't you? We've also got them by the half metre, so if you just wanted to get half a metre of your navy blue or just wanted to get half a metre of the blush, then absolutely you could just for your bias binding. These are all 100% viscose and they are just, uh, how much was that, sorry, for the bundle? 46 99 Now the navy blue is again 100% viscose. So this is really great for workwear, isn't it? This is going to be great just to be able to have with your jeans or for workwear. Cat's thinking for layering as well, with a cardigan over the top. The viscose is nice and cool as well, isn't it? Just 46 99 nice and floaty. Bundle of three metres is 46 99 We have got them all available on the web by the half metre as well. Kat's going to bring, she's going to bring the graphics through on the show so that they will be underneath us on the website. They're on pre-order at the moment. 46 99 for your soft lilac. I like this colour. That is going to look gorgeous in the spring. 46 99 for your Tillington top. Just remember to grab yourself a pattern as well. They are selling very, very quickly. And I think my favourite is the gold. I do like this ochre colour. Very, very on trend indeed. And it's super, super soft. It's 100% viscose three meter bundle which is enough to make the largest size size 22 and you'll have plenty of fabric left over your ochre is 46.99 just depends do you want the pattern or do you want a solid i'd get both you're not just going to make this pattern once are you the most popular is this one is the pink salmon which is really really nice that pinky salmon color corally color Perfect for spring again, isn't it? It's 46 99 We've got less than five of those remaining, though, just to be aware. Okay, so once again, for anybody who missed the first hour with you, um, it, it was down to you and John Scott who were saying to our buying team, mm. we need to get this independent pattern designer on board. Absolutely, and I think it's so important, especially at the moment, to support independent companies and, yeah. and independent designers. And these are, just, these are just fabulous. I'm sure we'll be having more of them. Yeah, on the shows so. over the coming weeks. So, They've uh, been really popular. So we were talking about the, the first one being suitable for beginners. How about mm. this one? There's slightly a few more techniques to this. There are a little bit more to yeah. it. They've got some shearing elastic, which isn't something I'd worked with before, actually. Right. Uh, so that was something new to me. But it's uh, I, I'd say it's, uh, I think so, yeah. A, a, a confident beginner could have a go at that. But if just... We're, rush we're not rushing, we're doing things quickly here, so uh, take your time, whatever you're making at home. Fantastic. Your shearing elastic is just one ninety nine. I don't want to be interrupting Mark during his demo, so the shearing elastic is available underneath us now on the web. It's been very popular. Brilliant. Right, so what parts do you want to focus on then, Mark? Well, uh, let's start off with the main part of the blouse. So here we are. I've already cut out which bit's this. That's the 
that's the better. Oh, now we've got to do, we've got to sew the front together first, haven't we? I'm missing a step out completely. <laughs> this is where I need my instructions, which I've left at home. <gasps> do you know, I've made them, I've cut something wrong here. What have you cut? Two top, I, two No, I did this at home, actually. I cut the front on the fold. Right. And it's not on the fold. It's cut in two pieces. So let me just... How do we rectify this? I'll just cut it in half. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'll do. I got my rotary cutter. Uh, there we go. Do you use a rotary cutter when you're doing dressmaking? I, I kind of flit between the two. Right, okay. To, to, to be honest. Oops. Oops. It's quite slippery, Slid isn't it? on the it? floor. <laughs> I've got a nice pattern hack uh, coming up on this as well. Oh, great. Which I did have a chat with the, Sus the mysterious Sussex Mysterious seems Jane. <laughs> yes. The mysterious Sussex seamstress herself. And uh, she she, What does she think to your hack? Well, she really likes it, so she said go for it, so uh, so I am. I am indeed. And now, have we got a pen? Oh, I could do with a friction pen. We will find you one. Have we got, have we got a friction um, pen? Mm -hmm. Oh, was the early birds sold out, didn't they? They did, the early birds sold out, but have you seen all of our organisation, by the way? It's brilliant, isn't it? We've got... Um, Lots of organised right. boxes now. Here we go. You did notice how, how um, tidy it was here when you arrived, didn't you? I, I was shocked at, <laughs> at how tidy it is. Do you need a bigger cutting mat? Okay. I'll, I'll be okay. Uh, what am I looking for? The pin. I just want to rule a straight line on this to cut it in half. And, and you can put the bias binding, you've got some bias binding makers there as well, haven't you? Um, because you can either make some bias binding or you could um, buy some bias binding. Um, I, don't, I don't think that's something we have in stock though, but... We did have some recently because we've only seen <coughs> some in the last few weeks, but how much do you need? I suppose you could join them up if it's not long enough, couldn't it? You need about a metre. About a metre. Yeah, about a metre. It does have a size guide in there if you're making a larger top or if you just decide you want a longer uh, tie around it, then you put a bit more bias okay. binding on it. It's just to go around the neckline. If you type That's in bias on the website, then you can see all the pre-made bias binding. It's only one forty-nine, but with the bias binding makers, it is brilliant to be able to have the ability of making your own, so that then you can play around with different fabrics, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, what I was able to do with mine uh, was to actually uh, mix and match because I had the, the fortunate. I was, I was actually uh, sorry. I'm just going to. I am getting a bit of cutting that because I had two different sorts of fabric. I could yeah. mix and match what I was doing. So I, I made it in that kind of greeny colour, uh, but I also used the pink for the bias binding. I'm going to do the opposite for this one on the, on the, on the hack I'm going to do. Right now. The 12 millimetre bias binder is just 5 99 We did a, a demonstration literally um, a couple of days ago. Where, who was it with? Sorry, Kat, can you remember? With Carrie. Sorry, is your, have you got a duff blade in there as it's well? It's fine, it's fine. Sorry, and the, the scissors didn't work too great with you, did they, the first time? <laughs> oh, do you know the first show went too swimmingly well? Went too smooth? We I was thinking, because last time I was on, the first show was fabulous, and then the second show, it all fell apart. But uh, <laughs> it would be brilliant. Right, here we go. We're back on track now. So all your cutting instructions are on your pattern, aren't they? Absolutely, yes. Follow them, unlike me. Okay. <laughs> do as you say. Was the, was do as you... What is it? Do as you say, not as you do. Absolutely. That's the one. Because uh, I was, the back is cut on the fold, and I just, I just assumed that the front was the same, but it's not. It's cut in half. And the reason is that we've got a nice little neckline to do, which is ever so simple. Now, you'll find a notch on your pattern piece. So cut your notch. I'm going to eyeball mine as I'm a free spirit. But you can put this wherever you need it to go. Okay. Uh, really. So if you want it to be have a little more modesty, you can make it shorter. Or if or you want a big plunging neckline, you can. <laughs> what did you say in that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> did it make it sound weird in that voice? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. Doesn't make me giggle, that's all. <laughs> so we're gonna uh here we go. So I've got to I've cut in, I'm now going to fold this over, give this a press. And I, again, like I said earlier, 
These oh, you need to flip your ironing board over. You're on the cutting mat. <gasps> oh! The cutting board police. Who said that? I'm going to tell... Uh, I'm, do, I'm trying to do a Debbie Shaw, aren't I? <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's only better on that side, isn't it strange? <laughs> I will do the same on the other piece. Make sure you get it facing the opposite way, of course. You don't want two bits the same. Morning, Carol. Morning, it's 20 past 10. I suppose it is a Sunday morning, isn't it? It is still the morning. Good morning. As long as the dog's up, that's all that matter. Our dogs will be in bed still. Oh, they're saying... Um, well, Frankie will be anyway. Uh, Elliot said his girlfriend will still be in bed. Liam, Liam, your uh, cat's boyfriend will still be asleep. <laughs> cat's got a boyfriend? Oh yeah, she? she's moved. She's moved in with him now. She, they've been together no. ten years. Ten years. Yeah. With cat. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Life <laughs> sentence, isn't it? Maybe he just doesn't know how to get out. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, is is the door locked? Oh, he's so lovely. <laughs> he's a good dog. Now I haven't got a matching thread on this, but you'll want to put a matching thread. Okay. So once you've folded that over, bung it under your machine. Do you like to put your extension table on for all of your... I do. I will take it off when I do sleeves quite often. I'm just going to run a line of stitching on these front pieces. Dominique says, I love if you make a mistake, you can sort it out. Yes, that's it. You are a I'll pro. <laughs> I suppose you're used to being on the... On to tally, aren't you? I'm used to being with the sewing bee, under pressure sewing. Under pressure with the camera crew who absolutely loved it if they saw you struggling. Yeah. If they, if they Elliot's just like that, look. He's, <laughs> he's on it already. He's, he's got all of the moves ready for if you um, make a mistake. If I didn't any better, I'd say he was a World War II fighter pilot, but he's looking for mistakes instead of, uh, instead of anything else. <laughs> Eyes like a razor. Here we go. So we've now got these, the neckline of, sewn in like that. There we go. Nice. Now we're going to fold it over, right sides together. You could change this for another neckline if you wish. Uh, there are other ways of doing everything. So if you decided you had a favorite way of doing an opening on a blouse, you could make yourself a, um, where have I put the pins? You could make yourself a, like a facing piece. You know, when you sew it on the front. Okay. And you sew your V shape onto it and fold it over. That yeah. would be another way to do a similar kind of thing. But this is a nice, easy way. Um, French seams are very good on this. She does cover French seams. I was going to say, does she recommend French seams? Yeah, I'm not going to do French seams today. You did it last time, didn't you? I did. I've done it a few times now, and uh, Clive has as well. So you could maybe uh, look back at our past shows uh, on Facebook and YouTube if you wanted to. And you can also find links to them on my own website Yeah, because well. French seams aren't scary, are they, Mark? No, no. You're just sewing it twice, essentially. Sew it uh, wrong sides wrong. together and then right sides together. But I won't do that today, just for... The benefit of the tape and we're going to sew with the one centimeter seam allowance from the top of this neckline all the way down the pattern's very popular by the way I really hope that we get more wool from the sausage. The sausage I hope so. Does there she have a lot of patterns? She does have more available, um, which if anybody's wandering over to her page, they'll, they'll see them. But I'm sure we'll have them in in the future. Cat's looking on the, um, on the system to see if there's anything being checked in at the moment. But maybe they wanted to see how... Uh... Yeah, well, it's very popular, so I'm... Presuming, based on that, we'll definitely get more. It's nice to have new things, isn't it? It is, and especially, and like I said, there's a it, there's a great array of fantastic British designers, aren't there? They do they do brilliant patterns and really um, 
thorough instructions as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's a, it's a great time to be championing people who absolutely. are sat at home, like the Sussex seamstress, uh, sweating over a computer trying to get all these patterns together. She may not sweat, of course, she might just perspire. <laughs> That's nice in Sussex as well. I don't know if I've been. Not far from kind of Brighton. Okay. That's kind of Sussex way. And Arundel. It's very nice in Arundel. There's a castle there. You can't take dogs in there. You've got a castle though, haven't you, in Kenilworth? We've got a castle and the people of Kenilworth own the castle. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it was gifted by Lord Kenilworth to the people of Kenilworth uh, a long time a long time ago. Have you been doing lots of walks around the grounds through lockdown? Well, yeah, we have actually. We sometimes take the dogs that way because you can walk around the. Yeah. You can't go in at the moment, but um, you can walk around yeah. it. Uh, Nikki said, Good morning, love the show today. Spent the morning padding out my adjuster form. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, she says, Nothing else makes you feel quite so fat as doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what to say to that, then I just realised why she might be padding it out. <laughs> Maybe the adjuster forms lost weight. Yes, absolutely. And the adjuster forms, they, they aren't, they aren't, uh, they aren't everybody's, they're not, they're... they're Spit it out, Vicky. I don't know, I'm trying to put it <laughs> politely, but they are so sort of like the perfect hourglass shape that we all don't, well, everybody's got different body shapes, so you, I think you do need to pad them out quite a Quite a lot, actually, sometimes. What, to get a more realistic um, I'm just to give myself a bit of a hole. <laughs> <laughs> do they do pregnant-sized um, no, mannequins? No, You'd have to get a bump, wouldn't you, to put on it? You'd have to pad it out with a bump. Yeah, because they pad out all the mannequins on uh, Strictly. Yeah, that's it, exactly. So and then they unpad them as they get through the competition and people <sighs> lose weight. There you go, Nikki. But someone who didn't have to have their mannequin unpadded was Anne Widdicombe, because she, they cover this on air, she didn't lose a pound while she was on it. Really? <laughs> she was great though, wasn't she? She, she was, was one of my favourite ever contestants on Strictly. Um, June says, I'm an Eastbourne, which is in Sussex, so it's a lovely part of the world. It is nice down there, we used to go on holidays down there, it's oh, very nice. nice. Um, so there we go, that's the front done. My cotton doesn't match, so forgive that. You will use a matching pink cotton or whatever yeah. cotton that you've got. But that's the opening there. Right. Excuse the tummy. <laughs> a little bit of padding. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of padding. It's not doing too badly. The gyms will be open again soon. <laughs> Nikki says, no, Vicky, right, mine's far perkier than I am. What's perkier? <laughs> I don't know, the adjuster form. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm now going to attach it at the shoulders and uh, we'll do the sides. And that'll be the body of the blouse put together. Now you'll notice uh, when you see this that the front is much longer than the back right. uh, around the neckline. This is because there's going to be a gathering stitch run around the uh, front neckline. But again, there's no fastenings as such is there not really no you're not fiddling with there's no zips, zips. poppers buttons or anything along no. or clips and eyelets or anything like that right. it's all just done uh with the twilly uh the twilly kind of uh necktie thing whatever you want to call it in fact on the pattern let me show you on the front of the pattern she's got a nice big belt around the waist it looks really nice. Yeah, she's tied one up and you can do that really easily. Just do some more bias binding. You can sew it into the side seams if you wish. Ah, I see. Uh, and then you can just, uh, so make some bias binding, fold it in half and just sew it down. Yeah. Um, you can either make your bias binding, I'll show you how to do that. Or you could just buy some. Or you might have some in, in your drawer. There's another version of it as well. That's a nice big waist belt around it. See, so I wonder whether, could you lengthen this, Mark? Yeah, very easily. It's quite relaxed fit again. So it's not fitted, there's no bust darts yeah. to, be, uh, to be fiddling with. Could be a nice one that literally just, you know, sits over your bum that you have there, uh, a waist yeah. belt around. Yeah. And Some uh, leggings or jeans that look nice. 
You like your leggings and your jeans and a little comfy cardi, don't you? I do. I think we've all got used to being in a... Well, you, I know that Mark and Clive, they're an exception, but majority of us have got used to being in lounge wear, haven't I'll we? I'll dress like this just on a normal Sunday. I know Sunday. you do. I know you do. <laughs> it's... What's he saying? I can hear him rattling away. He's saying that his dad has just started work again. After being working from home, it's the first time he's had to put clean pants on. <laughs> I can't believe you just told me to say that on the telly, your poor father. <laughs> Does his father watch this? I hope not. Derek says it sounds like a task for today, padding out the adjuster form. Oh, we've got adjuster forms coming up at um, 12 o'clock. We, we should do a padding out show with John Scott, actually. Um, He'll be used to padding out, <laughs> won't he? <laughs> because he, he knows how to do it really well. No, he's, um, he's very knowledgeable on how to do it. This is why I say I remember back at Sewing Quarter, he did a brilliant show with CL doing, um, doing the padding out, and it was really, really, really good. So I'll make sure that we get on to John and hopefully do that soon. So it is useful. June has messaged in mm. saying, regarding Mark's comment about Jane sweating <laughs> over <laughs> her computer, I was always told the, the horses sweat, men perspire, and ladies glow. Yes, that's the one. So ladies don't perspire then? No, no. Do you? We, we don't sweat, we sparkle, don't we ladies? <laughs> we glow. You glow. I've been told that a lot recently. Oh, you're glowing. <laughs> yeah, perspiring. <laughs> I'm just a sweaty mess. <laughs> what are you doing putting your pins in your mouth? <gasps> oh. I know, don't let my mother see me We're all that. watching you on the telly. I know. <laughs> I'm a... Guiding a nation to put their pins in their mouth. Right, so let's just do the other side quickly and then we can rattle onto the sleeves. You'll see this comes together really quickly. Um, like I said, you're not, you haven't got to look forward to a zip or buckles or any kind of fastening. Um, of course, you can put those on if you wish. If you wanted to put a, a, a button and a buttonhole around the neckline, that might look quite nice or if you wanted to have it so it opens down the front, you could easily add a, add a little facing down there and have it so it buttons up. Mm -hmm. But it just goes straight over the head. No darts either, is there? No darts, no, so it's quite relaxed fit. But this is where you can hack a pattern and, and if you wanted to, if you figure you'd it'd look better with some darts in it, either bust darts or darts to cinch it in at the waist, then you could always add those in. Yep. Dominique says, that's why I'm called Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot particularly liked that one. That really tickled him. There. Top's been really popular. All the patterns um, have been extremely popular today. The first one completely sold out. This one is, well, way over half the stock allocated has gone. It's brand new in today. Brand new. There we go. So that's the basic of basis of your top. Another mm -hmm. hack, you could have it sleeveless if you wish. Oh, okay. You could just yeah. put some bias binding around the sleeves. Just oh, to finish, you finish with bias binding. To, to finish those off if okay. you wanted to. But we will move on to the sleeves. So let's pop, let's park that for the moment. Mark's Here we go. working with the, um, the blush, by the way, and this is where your shearing comes in, isn't it? It is. Um, this is something I hadn't done before. Good luck. So I have, obviously I've made it on there, but I'm sure it'll be fine. This is your sleeve piece. It's like a kind of a bell shape. So you've got the sleeve head up there, and then it widens out at the bottom to give these nice full sleeves. Right. Now what we we'll need to do first is just sort out this raw edge on here. There's a few ways you could do this. You could do like a handkerchief hem uh, where you put a special foot on your machine and it just will roll over the edge of your of your sleeve. But uh, 
I didn't do it that way because I decided to do a double turn is the other way to do it. You could do an overlocked seam on here, I suppose, but um, or a rolled hem on the edge. That might be quite yeah. nice. I've just thought about that. If you on your overlock, you could do a rolled hem. There's usually a, a dial on the side. There's a couple of other steps as well. There's usually a dial with an R on it, and you disengage your cutter and a couple of other things. It'll be in your manual though, if you fancy having a go. Try and get this straighter when you're doing it. I'm doing this quite rapidly. So fold it over once. I'm folding it over. Now you might want to do it smaller than me. I'm just folding it over about five millimetres, about half a centimetre. But you might want to do it. Take your time and make it a little bit smaller, a bit more delicate. Do you ever use those ironing rulers? Have you ever seen John Scott using them? I have got some. I haven't had... I haven't had much chance no. to use them very much, but that's a good way of measuring. Yeah, just to get it even. Yeah. You, you'll go along that and then you'll sew that down mm -hmm. and that will give you the nice crisp edge that you need to the edge of that. I'll move on now because I could spend 20 minutes trying to iron that in place and I won't <laughs> do that. This is where the fun starts. Right, good luck. Shearing. Yes. So shearing elastic, it's different to ordinary elastic. Yeah, so you put this into, if you think of smocking, which might get a smock ah, dress, yeah, yeah. that's what this is used for. And on these little elasticated cuffs, I think ellie has got a picture, of, I think I saw one flash up at some of point. The cuff. Of the cuff. Um, so if he has that still, that would be, that would be great. There he is. There it is. Uh, so you can see there's four rows of shearing elastic. Ah, okay. Now have a, con have a matching thread on the top of your machine, which you should have in already and then you put the shearing elastic on the bobbin mm -hmm. underneath. Now this is thicker than regular cotton and it's also stretchy because it's elastic. So you've got to be careful how you use this. Um, so you need to get an empty bobbin and then poke your, there's a little hole on the bobbin, poke the end of the elastic through there and just gently. If you just bring it to your right slightly please. Other right, <laughs> thank you. There we go. So poke the elastic through the hole just to anchor it and then just wind it round. You want to do this really loosely so there's no tension on the elastic at all. You're not stretching it out okay? because um, you don't want that at all. If we go over to the machine, take your, your, your bobbin out, pop your elastic in, hold it in place with your finger and you have to put a bit of tension on the elastic to get it in but make sure it goes round all of the grooves within the within the, the thing. Because oh, okay. if you just leave it floppy, it won't pull up properly yeah. and it won't give you proper yeah. stitches. It's got to sit in all the little nooks and crannies that the thread would normally Right, then what do you use in the top of your machine? Just a regular thread. Oh, okay. I've only got white in today, but you'll in this case you'd use pink. Yeah. And then you wouldn't see it. Because you don't want to see it. So that's just uh, now I'm going to, normally I'll just start off the machine and just start sewing on this one and it'll automatically thread it up. Yeah. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to actually bring it up by hand. There we go. Is that working? It did work. I just need some, some to persuade it to come up. Come on. You might want to test this first on a scrap. There we go. So we're in. First part done. Test it on a scrap if you've not done this before, before you get into your nice, uh, your nice fabric. So, lining it up about a foot's width away from the edge of your, I haven't got a pressed a nice edge seam here, but you will have a nice finished seam there. So just about a half a centimetre away. Don't do a lock stitch, just leave it like, a, like you would a gather. Do I need to change anything on my machine? Length, stitch length or anything like that? Uh, we'll, do an extra, we'll do an extra long stitch. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll crank that up to five, this one goes up to, I'll be happy with five. And then don't pressure your machine at all. Oh, and is it like gathering it at the back? You can, you can just about see it, I yeah, think, can Yeah, you can see it, yeah. I was thinking it got caught, but it hasn't. That's what's supposed to happen. 
Hurrah! <laughs> I'm so pleased. Don't rush it through the machine. Don't be tempted to do some motorway sewing. Just go nice and slowly. And evenly. I'll try and get it through in straight line as possible. You're going to do four rows on these at the end of each sleeve. And you're taking your speed quite slow, aren't you? I am, and that's quite deliberate. Uh, because if you go too fast, you can end up with it not sewing properly. Because it's you're putting elastic through your machine, essentially. Yeah. So you don't want to go too fast. You yeah. don't want to overstretch the elastic or brisket uh, snapping. OK. So once you've done that, take your needle out and just leave a bit longer than you would normally. Right, so don't cut it, cut, cut your thread. Yeah, there we go. OK. So if we have a look at this, this is what you'll get. Oh, that's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I was that's only scary. worrying because I did, I'll be honest, I did one sleeve perfectly. I did halfway through the second sleeve, the machine decided it didn't want to do it anymore. Ah. Um, but I fixed it, it was all fine. Right. It, it, how, did you, how did you overcome that? It was getting caught inside on a little piece in the bobbin case. Ah. Uh, so I took the bobbin case out, I cleaned it all underneath, which isn't as scary as it looks. You just take the foot plate off, get some little cotton buds, and, uh, and just give it a nice little clean and get all yeah. the fluff out. I put back the it's little bit. It's important to do that anyway, isn't it? It is. It's easy just to keep going. And I'm a terrible artist. You just keep sewing and sewing and then eventually you start having problems. So it's a clean it out. Put it all back together and it was fine. Oh, great. Um, so I needed to get my screwdriver on it. But test it first. Yeah. Take your time with it. So this is what you get. Now what we're looking at here is the wrong side. So you can see the elastic running through it. If I flip it over, now I have used white cotton as I've said a few times now, so you can see the white cotton, but if I was using pink you wouldn't see that at all. We'll now sew down it, down the side seam, to make it a sleeve. And again, use a French seam, Okay. if you, if you wish. Oh, so that means that you would sew it right sides together and then wrong. Absolutely. Okay. But I'm just going to do... Oh no, wrong sides together than right. Wrong sides together than right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you it's the go opposite to what you would normally do. It goes against do, the instinct, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm not doing French seams today. Um, hey, Wendy. She says, I'm not a dressmaker, as you know, but I love this top so much that I'm going to make it. Go oh, for fab. it. Go for it. Yeah. Wendy oh. Orlando is literally one of the most adventurous, go for it people that you can meet. Um, she says, I will set myself a challenge to wear it on air. Oh, she says, I'm not sure good. when, but I will. How lovely to have another fantastic designer from down south, literally a few miles away from me. That's what I love, is that... Oh, is she from down there as well? She's from Brighton, yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't realise. Here we go. One centimetre seam allowance. Don't forget to adjust your stitch length back to uh, where it should be. Did I do a lock stitch? I can't remember. Have you changed your bobbin back to normal? I've changed the bobbin back, or I should get a gathered sleeve yeah. seam as well. That wouldn't be good. I'm wondering whether those yoga trousers that you gave me, Kat, they've got shearing elastic on the trouser leg, haven't they? They're all oh, at, like... at the ankle? No, all up the leg. Oh, it's quite really? peculiar, but it's really, it's really cool, isn't it? So they made like... a really long leg and then just gathered it down the side? Yeah. Mm. And the shearing elastic's a lot more delicate than regular elastic. If you were doing this with a regular elastic, it might look a bit thick and heavy, Yeah. Um, depending what size you get. That is another option. If you were a bit nervous about doing the shearing elastic, didn't want to put it through your machine, mm -hmm. and you could hand sew the shearing elastic and that might be a bit uh, okay. like, a bit tiresome, but you could do it that way. Yeah. Then you could get some, uh, say, quarter inch elastic and uh, like a, a, a light elastic and pop that in the sleeve. Or you could swap it out completely. You yeah. could do something else entirely, yeah, you don't need to do if, if, if you wish. sleeve. You could carry on the bow detail, maybe, and do that around the sleeves, do you think? Do the what, sorry? You know, the bow detail around the top. Oh, yes. You could you... do that around the sleeves. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that would work really well. I have seen blouses like that, yeah. where instead of a, a cuff, you have a extra long. Yeah. yeah. So we'll pull this. So we need to adjust it to your wrist. So you just pull up the threads, the elastic, 
Uh, so if I just grab the elastic. You stitch, if you're doing a Frenching, that should hold it in place. Um, if not, just, just tie it up. There we go. And you can just gather that up until it's comfortable. We have four rows of elastic, so it'll be a bit more robust than mine is. Here we go. It adds lovely detail to it, doesn't it? It does. It's nice and delicate, and I really love these kind of floaty sleeves. Yeah, yeah. And on men's wear as well, it's quite flattering, actually, yeah. to have that kind of bishop sleeve, lamb choppy kind of <laughs> feel to it. No, don't, why do you laugh? <laughs> bishop sleeve. No, lamb chop. <laughs> lamb chop sleeve. That's a sleeve, bishop sleeve. Yeah, I've heard of a bishop sleeve, but not a lamb chop sleeve. <laughs> well, anything that's kind of bulbous and flowy. If you Google it, there's massive charts about the different okay, names for these the thing. things. It's not a Mark Francis I'm sure I haven't though. just made up lamb chop sleeve. I'm sure that's a proper thing. I've made a, a shirt, which I've worn on here, which has got those kind of yeah. detail on it. And if your elastic's feeling, if you want to secure it, you can. I just tied the ends of mine together just to make sure they were not going to go anywhere. So, should we nail a sleeve in? What should we do? No, How I'm long not, we got? How long we got, we got Seven minutes! Seven minutes. Very precise. Okay. So there's a little gather to put round the neckline of the blouse. This is just a nice fun detail. So there are notches marked on the front. Let's check I put them in, which I did. That's good, oh, we've it? got a question from Susan. Do you pull the material straight for the other rows of shearing elastic? Yes, you do. You have to stretch it back out again for the other rows. Okay. Thank you for your question, Susan. So with the gathering, you want to lengthen your stitch length again, as we did with the shearing, but you're just doing it in regular cotton this time. Uh, so don't... Um, What's it bleeping at you for? Oh, I just turned. It's fine. It's, oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's... Oh! <laughs> um, don't back stitch and don't lock it. Just put a nice stitch in. It's called a leg of mutton sleeve, Maud said. Oh, well, that's, that's, I haven't heard of that one, but that's a good one, isn't it? Leg of mutton. <laughs> I'm sure. You're going to Google it later, aren't you? I am! A lamb chop sleeve. <laughs> I'm sure I've not made it up. If not, you heard it here first. Oh, thanks, Liz. Kat's just read me your message. So when you run these uh, gathering stitches, they do have a habit of gathering up a little bit anyway. But you want to gather this to nine centimetres, which it does. You could put another row of stitching in just for speed. I won't today. So just find one of them, one of the threads. Come on, separate out. Lots of people are saying it's the, the leg of... Um, Leg of mutton sleeve, but they like your adaptation to lamb chop. A lamb chop. chop. <laughs> Everybody loves a lamb chop, don't they? Especially with mash. In a nice restaurant overlooking some water. I'm not really a lamb chop kind of gal, if I'm honest. I don't think there's enough meat on there. You like a, you like a bit more meat to your yeah. bone, do you? Well, well, only since I've been pregnant. I haven't eaten red meat. I haven't eaten any meat for about four years. <laughs> And then only since I've been pregnant, I think it's the iron. I've been craving it. Have Hearing you been craving burger, funny foods? Like, oh, what? can I just have a little bite of it? What please? have you been craving? Um, have you been using soap or coal or anything? Nothing strange like that. <laughs> I haven't wanted to chew the bath mat or anything like some <laughs> people have said they've had. <laughs> have you wanted fish at 3 a.m. or anything? No, no, I'm actually a bit disappointed that all oh, my cravings have been rubbish. I've been addicted to citrus. I eat so many oranges and really? limes, like I'll eat a lime like it's an apple. I had a colleague at the bank used to do that. He'd sit there with a lemon and eat a lemon. Oh, yeah, that's a bit, probably a bit too tangy. Um, so what I've made here is a different tie. Now, I do yeah. have the proper elast the uh, bias binding which I made here. Now, I just cut around my metre stick, which is quite wide. Okay. But it does get, tell you to do either between about three and a half, five centimetres wide. Mine's okay. actually ended up a bit narrow, which made it a bit more fiddly to get on, yeah. to be honest. So a wider bias binding is better. You'll use that to put it around just as a normal bias binding. So sew it to the inside first, 
flip it round, do it on the outs top, stitch it to the outside, and then just seal your ends over, just tuck the ends in to make a nice tie. That's about a metre I cut, which will be plenty for that. Okay. Or if you want to submit more extravagant, you can have it longer if you wish. Right. But I've made a tie rather like my own. Your twilly. Rather like my twilly. In fact, it is the same pattern I've just used. Oh, okay. Only I haven't, normally I leave a little diddy hole in order to pull it through, but this time I haven't. I've left a hole that's actually a little bit wider than the, than the neckline. Okay. And so if we just find the centre back. Oh, I know what you're doing with this. You see, it's like you just treat it like a massive piece of bias binding and we'll put it around the neckline. Oh, so if you want a really lovely big um, bow yeah, at the front. Yeah, so like a built-in pussy bow. Yeah. Actually, one of the nicest things they did to the bank uniform not long before I left was uh, give the ladies these blouses that had built-in ties. I mean, there were other yeah. options as well, just like this. And the, uh, the lady herself, the uh, Jane. Yes. She has, so I, I had the a Sussex chat with Sussex seamstress, she likes this she idea. She has authorised this. So this is just a little hack. Susan says, thanks for the answer. Loving the show and the new patterns. Hopefully we'll be getting more in, Susan. Christine said, good morning. Hi, gorgeous Vicky and Mark. Oh, Mark, do you mean the puppet lamb chop? A puppet? I haven't heard of a puppet lamb chop. Someone said it's, the, it's a blast from the past. Sherry Lewis and lamb chop. I'm, I'm very old, though. <laughs> 44 on Tuesday he 44 is. on Tuesday. It's hideous, isn't it? Absolutely <laughs> hideous. The thing is, though, I you, you So, John, you're older than John Scott. He's only just celebrated his 40th, hasn't he? He did, didn't he? Last year. He yeah. looks terrible, though, doesn't he, for it? <laughs> <laughs> you're in trouble, If he's watching, you? he'll tell me off now. I know. But a message, we, a message we must have been at school Karen. together. Karen has messaged and said, good morning all. I made my own wedding dress in 1976. It was an Edwardian style oh. with a leg of mutton sleeve. There you go. Very I, nice. I, with I'm a lamb chop sleeve. I'm going to stick to calling it a lamb chop. I think I'm right. Oh, Alison Marion's daughter. Her surname is Mutton and Alison's just put, Becky's often called lamb chop. That's her nickname. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sewing this to the outside. And then I'll just, you could slip stitch this on the inside if you wish. Uh, let's just get, I'm just getting up to the gathers now. So you, you want to try and make sure your gathers, just with, as with the dress we did earlier as well, make sure they're even as possible. Sometimes it's difficult, but if you have the, um, the gather against the, the feed dogs. Yeah then that will help ease it in. And that's a little tip for putting sleeves in as well. Elizabeth got a tip for you with the shearing elastic, Mark. She says, hi, Vicky and Mark. Mark did, uh, did say that he hadn't used the, the shearing elastic like this often. Um, is he aware that if you give the elastic a good blast of steam after stitching it, it gathers up even more? Really? There you go, Elizabeth, thank you. She says, really relaxing that. demo for a Sunday morning. That's good. Good. That's good. Happy no, birthday for Tuesday. Lots of happy birthdays for you. Ah, oh, I can go out. We can have a nice meal. I was going to say, what are you doing? We can go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Whole day planned of events. Yeah, that's it. I, I hope so. I hope Clive's got his, his schedule planned and packed. <laughs> so there we go. You get the idea now. I've got time to the other side, actually. Yeah, absolutely. If you can see you're gathering stitches, which you can on this, then just unpick them, take them out. You won't need those. Let's pin the other side in. And then you have a nice built-in tie that you can uh, tie up. Of course, you can't take it off, but... Yeah, no, it's nice. If you do want to make a twilly, just while Mark's going around the other side, um, we do have these fabrics by the half metre. So this is the one that you used with the blush, and it actually mm. works really, really well, doesn't it? Well, that was a nice coincidence, I think. But yeah. uh, I saw the two, and I was lucky I had the two in front of me, so I mixed and matched. Yeah, they look great. Um, this is 100% cotton. Do you, um, do you think that this was slightly easier to work with than the viscose? It's a... What do they call it? It's a Marley Lawn cotton. So it's, right. it's like a like a cotton lawn, so it's very soft. Yeah. Uh, it's got a lovely, lovely feel to it. And that's just to, in the way that they actually make the fabric. 
£7.99 a half metre. It will be cut off the bolt for you. We also have it in the salmon corally pink. Oh, well, actually, no, I don't agree with you, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret just said, Mark is so lovely. He has such a sweet manner, doesn't he? I can't imagine him shouting at anybody. Shouting? Who says I shouted? <laughs> I can't imagine either. John Scott shouting at you. Oh, he always shouts at me. Can't imagine shouting at anybody. You know, he's, John Scott will shout at Mark. He's such a diva, isn't he? <laughs> We've got to have puppies in his dressing room. Oh, yeah. Blue yeah, sweets. Blue M&Ms, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Doves. Just £7.99 for the coral. One four five wide. We also have all the planes. I'll quickly whiz those by the half metre. Do you have any ride? Do you have any anything on your rider list, Mark? Just a warm kettle and the mug of Earl Grey. That's all I need. <laughs> Seven pounds ninety-nine for your ochre lilac. Seven ninety-nine a half meter. Even if you wanted to just add a half a meter to your basket for your binding, this would be lovely. Navy. Navy blue, this would be nice for, for workwear. Be very, very smart as well. Just £7.99. Well, people might be going back to the office soon. So I know. You never know. When will, you, when will you be going back? Are you going back to the music shop? I, I'm still been working. So oh, I've, have you? Yeah, yeah. But we've been able to carry on. Oh, good. Because it can't, we can't um, do it from home. Right. So... Oh, that's good. £7.99 for the blush, which is the one that Mark's been working with. Um, we've got a message from Nora. Nora? Uh, Norma, sorry. Hi, Norma. She says, you're talking about being 43. Uh, I have to absorb being 70 today. I wonder oh. how many miles of cotton I've sewn since I started at the age of 10. Oh, I wish I'd been sewing since I was oh. 10. Oh, amazing. Thank you so, so much for your message and happy birthday. Sending you lots of love. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, 70, you, no age, you amazing. Absolutely amazing. And please, you're still sewing. Uh, we've had a message She's from She's still younger Anne. than John Scott though, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. That, I hope that makes you feel better. You're definitely younger than John Scott. Uh, thought I was only 53, but it turns out I'm actually 57. <laughs> How depressing is that? <laughs> I don't feel that old, said Anne. My mum always says that. She never remembers how old she is. And I'm like, Mum, my mum's 57, I'm sure, but she'll always round it down to... I, I, I sometimes have to work it out. If yeah. people ask how old I am, I say, no, no, I know this one. Hang on a second. Then I have to think what's written on my prescription. <laughs> then I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. I've sewn that all the way around rather quickly. Take your time with it and do a nice job. But this is the effect you get. You'll sew that, you'll iron the seam up into there, and then you can either machine stitch it down or you can um, just slip stitch it. Then you get this nice tie. And it'd be exactly the same if you were doing the binding part, just smaller. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The, the, it's exactly the same process. Yeah. So you could. Fantastic. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Yeah. So you could have a nice bow. Shall I tie a bow? Are you watching me do a bow? Uh, it'd be easy on a mannequin, wouldn't it? How you do your twillers. Are you going to release a pattern for your twillers? I know you were talking about doing I'll, your own pattern. I'll probably do it with a, with something else. You know, as in like a, in a, yeah. in a bolt, as an extra, I think. There we go. Lovely. Oh, that looks gorgeous, doesn't and then it? You'll I, like have, I haven't sleeves, attached it, but there we go. With your sleeve as well. Fab. And, and like you said, you could easily have it as no sleeves with binding on the end. You can completely mm. personalise it. It's very versatile. And we spoke about putting gathers in at the waist as well, yeah. didn't we, to kind of gather it up. Brilliant. I can't believe how quick it's gone with you today. It's Smash, been so it's been lovely. It has, hasn't it? Let's do um, more. I'm so, yeah, definitely. We'll, um, well, I'll see you hopefully. Not next time. When am I next in? April the 18th, I think it is. Okay. I won't be here. I don't think I'll be Where back Where will then. you be? 
um, I'll be at home with a little baby. <laughs> Although John Scott, he keeps saying to me, because I keep saying, I don't, I'm not going to have too long off. I want to come in. I can bring the baby in here. It's fine. Elliot, yes, Elliot's the already offered um, babysitting. So, um, yeah, he said, Vic keeps thinking she's only having two weeks off. So maybe that will be my first show back, 18. You would be like the Fern Britain of yeah. Sewing Street, <laughs> won't you? Three days off and you'll be back. Oh, my word. Anyway, it's been so good to see you and love to Clive as well. And have a lovely birthday on Tuesday. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for bringing us all of the uh, amazing knowledge today. We've learnt loads, haven't we? And introducing us to the Sussex Seamstress, because that's been brilliant. Um, what did I say? The Sussex Seamstress. The the Sussex, this, I'm thinking of lamb chops and sausages now, my meat <laughs> cravings coming in. Uh, the Sussex Seamstress pattern is still available as it stands. Very, 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 very limited though. The dress completely sold out earlier. I wouldn't wait until the end of the day to grab it. We do have calico on today's show if you are a beginner. Um, I know you um, Kat's suggesting maybe if you are getting into dressmaking and you want calico, um, to make any of your twirls, have a look on the website. Um, there's loads of lovely messages coming in for you, Mark. Loved today. Oh, Thank you. I'm going to have a look now. Yes, read the messages. brilliant. Have a look on the website for all of your bundles, all of your half metre fabrics as well. There's been a huge selection. You've also got the shearing elastic and you've got the bias binding makers as well, all available on the website. Janice is coming back and we're going to stick with dressmaking. Jumpsuit, a little ch uh, child's jumpsuit and it's so adorable. We've got... Um, uh, quite a few patterns actually to show you in the next hour and some brilliant fabrics don't get anywhere we're coming back with Janice after this have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with sewing street and yarn lane you can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hello, welcome back, welcome back. I have no idea where today's gone. It's been such a lovely morning with you all, so thank you for your company this Sunday morning. Um, now, we did say that we're really excited for a day of dressmaking. Uh, Janice started out, we'll talk to her in a second about it, but she started out doing children's wear. Those of you that have watched her uh, advert that goes out in the ad breaks, um, then you'll know a little bit about her background, or those of you that have followed us for the last, well, I say, the year here but also sewing quarter you'll know Janice well so we have to get her on doing some children's um, dressmaking these are so adorable it's absolutely gorgeous I love this oh right this is from six months to three years it says um, it's great for little boys or little girls, absolutely gorgeous, depending on your fabric. Kat's already asked if we can upscale it for her size. Kat, you are known to be wear you are known for wearing children's clothes. She says, I nearly wore my shearing uh, elastic um, jumpsuit today, which was Rochelle's daughter's range, you know, Rochelle Humes in Marks and Spencer's. And it's, what age? So age, age 11, 10? 10, 11 or something. Um, this is from Alison Marion, who's watching. Uh, she said, my Becky lived in dungarees. Most of the time when she was little, I loved making them. She still loves them, but makes them herself now. Oh, I saw that picture on the left-hand side on Facebook the other day. I don't know whether it was on Mother's Day and it's so cute, so cute. Look at lovely little Becky. I love dungarees and jumpsuits. I still love them, absolutely do. Um, so this is just so cute. It's isn't it? And depending on your favourite fabrics as well, you could use this with lots of different fabrics. Um, and they're just really comfortable, aren't they, for, for little children to wear. You could do them with ties at the bottom. You can do them with an applique or a pocket on the front. I think Janice has done them with poppers on the shoulders, which are, are brilliant. Again, it's so easy to change, aren't they? Um, just eight pound fifty. You can see the the um, the little boys. I love these. Oh, little girls. They're so cute, though, aren't they? Depending on your fabrics, you can really show off some of your favourite fabrics. Just eight pounds fifty. So this is from six months to three years. Um, shall we do the fabrics and then we'll look at the other patterns? So the fabric that you can see here. I think this is brand new. You know. Or oh, was it launched on the birthday? It was launched, I think, on the birthday. It's never been in a project before, though. You are getting a metre and a half here, which is absolutely plenty to be able to do the largest size. I absolutely love it. Look, Teddy's on the go. Teddy's in the car. Teddy's with the, the, uh, the balloons. Oh, it's so cute, isn't it? And what Janice has done, she's fussy cut part of it as well to put as patch pockets on the back. I love it. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Really fun, bright colours. Even if you're not making this jumpsuit, we talked about this fabric actually in the first hour with, our, with the book that we launched. And Janice made some amazing bowl cosies. Um, you could do all sorts, storage boxes. You could do bedding or you could do home furnishing, cushions, reading cushions. You could even do blinds out of this for children's rooms. So it's a really great fabric. Really great fabric, lots of fun and lots of bright colours. So we also have Kat's favourite. This is the one that she wants her jumpsuit made out of, which is the pineapples. Now, this is a really light, lightweight denim. Um, it's great for the summer, great for kids wear. Lovely for, for any kind of dressmaking. It's also, has it got a slight stretch to it? It's got a slight stretch to it, I think. 
Um, it's 9.99 for a meter and a half. Is that right? No. Um, I think that might have been priced wrong, by the way. If you do want it for a metre and a half, it's only 9.99. Um, grab that. They will come pre-cut into metre and a half pieces, but if you are thinking for any other projects, they're gorgeous. And it does have that stretch to it, so great for this pattern. Now, we also have a bright sunshine, and this was the complementing colour that Janice used earlier on with the bowl cosy as the lining, but look, sunshine yellow, ready for spring, ready for gorgeous sunshine. Oh, I've had the most amazing, beautiful um, things from our viewers come through the post for, for my baby, and I've had the most gorgeous yellow romper suit. Oh, and it's so adorable. This would be amazing as the jumpsuit. And you could do like big daisies on it. You could embroider it. You can make it really special. We also have all of these by the half metre. So the sunshine yellow, just half a metre if you're thinking, I really liked the bowl cosies that Janice did earlier on for kids. Um, I think the lady, it was Lorraine, wasn't it? She says that she made them for ice cream bowls. So it isn't just hot soup or porridge. The bowl cosies are great for, for cold ice cream bowls. Just £3.99. Now we've also got Teddy's on the go. Teddy's on the go is also available by the half metre. And it's only 3 99 It's lovely quality cotton, I must say. It's quilting weight. If you are after four metres or if you want... Um, if, if, if I were you, if you do want more, more fabric, um, then absolutely go by this way by the half meter because the other bundle will be cut already into meter and a half pieces if you see what i mean um right now we also have finally by the half meter what price is this then what price is this i'm intrigued 3.49 it's such lovely quality and it has got a stretch to it it has got a stretch, so it will be really lovely in quality. Um, just 3.49, a half metre. That would be perfect for the jumpsuit. Absolutely perfect. Little sun hat to match, maybe. Little shirts, little shorts. Oh. <laughs> little sun hats. We do also have um, a couple of other patterns before we go over to Janice. So we've got... The little girl's dress, which one do you want to do? I remember um, last time Janice was here, it might have been the time before, she made the most adorable dress. You can see it behind her there. We'll have a closer look at it in a second. But um, look with the little cat on. So you've got your applique pieces for the, uh, the cat like this here, but there's lots of different styles. So your little girl's dress is from age um, I believe it's from age three to age eight. All of your size requirements are on the uh, second image on the website though, I believe. This picture should be your second image. But if you have got any questions about sizing, etc., let us know. Uh, it is gorgeous. And it says here, 17 pieces. So there's lots of different combinations of, of how you want to do it, whether you want to do it sleeveless, whether you want to do it as a little cap sleeve, as a longer sleeve. There's lots of options on there. Eight pounds, 49 and a half metre. Isn't it lovely, your simplicity pattern? And then finally, the pinafore dress this time. We had the gingham earlier on, didn't we? The oh, gingham, the green gingham yeah. would look really, really nice. Look lovely in your pineapple, it would look nice in your sunshine yellow. We've got lots of lovely pretty cottons on the website. So this time you're looking at, it says US ages 6 to 11. US ages 6 to 11. Um, but I'm sure, I, I, I think it's, I think it's, I don't know whether it is the same. It says on the graphics age 6 to 11, so I'm presuming. Um, I'm presuming they've done the, the, um, conversion for us but there you go you've got all of your sizes on the back if you do want to make the most of it of course it's, it's so difficult I think with children's clothes sometimes to know because I've got friends who are who have got um, my goddaughter she is six but she's still in little sm a lot smaller clothes or I mean every they're all different heights and different sizes. shapes and sizes so it's definitely worth going by your measurements 
just seven pounds and 99 pence for your pattern fab so janice right tell us about your sort of background in sewing when did you start <gasps> doing your because you started out making school, school. and then we when did it sort of change into dressmaking for children then I'm peering round the mannequin to see When you. I have the children's shop. Oh, okay. Because what happens, I used to be sitting so mate, the children. You see, no, I'm lying to you. When It was before then. It was about 20 years. No, it's even older than that because I hadn't got Amy. You're going back 28, 29 years. Right. I went to America. Yeah. And me and my cousin opened up Design of Minor Kids in America. <gasps> and we used to get all these clothes from New York and everywhere. Wow. And Joanne got me, she, because of my sewing, she got me sewing in the shop and making the clothes and we were selling them as well, as, right. you know. So I made this reversible suit. Right. And it was weird because when I came back to the UK and then I caught for Amy and all this, that, no, I never made this suit. And then when I re re reopened Design of Minor Kids in... 2000 and something mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of the year i started making these reversible suits and they've gone all over the world wow and they are lovely so i'm going to introduce the pattern to oh, here fantastic. and I've, I've, it's just one of them things i just don't have time for and is that again a, that's a, a, it's a, a reversible children's, children's suit so you oh, have no. four outfits in one because oh, it's a jacket yeah, you need and to bring trousers and it, and they're fantastic they're beautiful um so yeah so you're going back 30 years really when i started doing children's clothes and, and it's then, brilliant you know for anybody who's getting into dressmaking i think it's always a really good place to to start as well because one yeah. less fabric two less cumbersome of yeah. all of the fabric you're working with less darts and fastenings and zips it's and fiddly. things like that it can be a bit fiddly okay um and it's like if you have a go at making dolls clothes this because yeah. it's so tiny yeah they're very fiddly yeah you know what i mean so, so this is a good in between <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some things can be a bit fiddly, but apart from that, no, it, because at the end of the day, it's like if you make a top, mm -hmm. you might as well make a dress because what goes into a top goes into a dress. Do you know, do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it's, it's, it's a weird one, isn't it, with children's yeah. clothes, really? But um, the things you can make now for children. Oh, and there's such beautiful fabrics. Yes, yeah. and with my clothes in the shop, I always used to concentrate on boys because girls' clothes you can get anywhere. Yeah, but boys, boys you can't. it's more difficult, yeah. And I used to have more boys' clothes in my shop, so that, hence me really making that for the boys, because I thought, let's do a few more boys. Yeah, there's <laughs> Even so, though like I'm doing saying, the girls there's now. There's loads of pretty girls' clothes out there. Girls' clothes, clothes there, you there, can get boys, everywhere. Boys you struggle with. But these so, are unisex, yeah. aren't they? But they're unisex. They are absolutely so, adorable. But I made that for my granddaughter, um, going back years, and then... I got the pattern to, well, Poppy's probably eight now, and she was like three. Oh, but so that cute. was five years ago I first made that pattern. Yeah, you've got the and pattern at home. Yeah, yeah, and it's a lovely, lovely pattern. Brilliant. And right. with the right fabrics, it's so fabulous. So we're going to try and do the whole construction, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're going to try and do the whole construction this morning. Um, but I've done that one for the boys. Yeah. This one I did on the show last time for the girls with the different types. So this time, if we have time, I'm going to hopefully get to doing the gathers okay. on this one. So um, so it's a bit girly. Mm -hmm. So first of all, you have your pattern pieces, follow all your notches um, and do your tailor's tacks. I'm going to do a tailor's tack now to show you just in case you've never done one before. Um, this And the nice thing about this, there isn't a lot of notches to do. <laughs> yeah. So it's quite a nice project to begin with as well. Uh, for the beginner, it's easy, so um, not too much, com you know, it's not yeah. too complicated and you can run it up quite quick. So a tailor's tack again, I didn't explain it, you go in the ones, into the notch, into the notch, so you've got your little notch there, under it, pull out either side of it, so you go in one side and out the other, go back in just in front of where you went in in the first place and then just come up. Leave a loop, normally you can measure your finger to it so it's long enough. Cut into the loop and then what you do, I'll just pull that one out for now. When you actually take your pins out and open it up, 
or you've got to make sure you've got your mark in there. So all your notches so are transferred. All your notches are transferred. Open it out. Don't pull it straight away because what you're going to do, you want that notch to show both sides. Okay. So open it out and then just clip straight down the middle. Some of it might come out like it did then, but then you have got your notches the both sides. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's good to see because one's we down don't get a chance and to one's do up. Tax. And that's tailor's tax, and that's what your old tailors used to use. Yeah. And I still think they still use even there. So that's the start. We okay. had a question asking um, whether. If you're making it for a baby, could you adapt this for a baby that you put poppers underneath? Underneath, yeah, yeah. you can. You can, definitely. Oh, great. So, um, poppers, they're lovely, because um, now you can get them in all the different colours. Oh, yeah. So, things have really come on, and there's some great things out there. So, with your poppers, you can make them to match in all the colours. Would and, you need to change yeah. the seam allowance a bit, or do you need to change any of the patterns no, to be able to do no, it? No, no, it's just the same. Oh, but great. all you do with the underneath, you just wouldn't close it up. Okay. You know what I mean? You'd leave it open. Um, add a little bit of a seam allowance so that you can fold that back. But okay. then again, your seam allowance will be there anyway, your five eight. So, you should be alright just to do it as is. Okay. And fold it back and then do the poppers. Lovely. And just do a zigzag stitch down and then put your poppers in around it and there you go. Fab. You'll be able to do Thank it. you. Now you're using some interfacing. So using some interfacing, this is just to strengthen the shoulders where you're going to apply the press studs to. So you know the press studs, the snap fasteners, which I love these. And what I like about these is that when you're sewing with them, when you're sewing them on, they leave like a diamond oh. shape. Oh, they're nice and big poppers, aren't they? They're massive. And when I first did it, I thought I'm going to not like the way it shows on the outside. Because if you use a light fabric, uh, yeah. and if you can get it in on the camera there, you can see the star. I don't know if I oh, can get nice. it. See the star? We'll come in a bit closer and we can see so I can, yeah. that popper, when you're sewing it round... It makes a star. It makes a star. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Isn't that a lovely... And, of course, when I started sewing it first, I thought, oh, what's it going to be like on the outside? And then I saw it and I thought, what a lovely how touch. lovely, what a lovely yeah. touch. So, yeah. Oh, I knew, I knew that would fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and what date, can you remember when it was that you made the other dress? No, no. Some time ago. was it some time yeah. ago? We'll try and find it, it so we can ago. see uh, back on YouTube. So all I'm going to do now, on the actual pattern piece, it shows you where to put the placement for your interfacing. So I think it only gets you to do it on the, the one side of the one, but I've done it on all four sides. So I just want it to be a bit stronger. So cut it in, I'm just guesstimating it. So then what we're going to do is place it down on the shoulders, face down because it's shiny on the one side with the sticky and not so shiny on the other side. Side graphics for your interfacing, it's just your lightweight, soft So this is your um, lightweight Vaseline. interfacing. It was the 20th of December that you did the other dress. Was it the 20th of December? Yeah, just before Christmas. So if you do want Gosh. to watch it back on YouTube... Yeah, um, we have got the pattern today. It's all there. <laughs> so, so then what you have to do is right sides together, join your shoulder side seams. Okay. With a five eight C. Now okay. you'd think with children's patterns it would be a smaller um, yeah, seam, seam allowance, but it's not. It's not. It's five eight. Oh, that's good. So it does give you room for manoeuvre. <laughs> So just do five eighths on the side seams. Now use my scissors. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, just a quick stock update on the machine. I knew this would happen. It's not two gone. left. Two left. We only really just left. had a brand new stock yesterday. We had over <laughs> twenty yesterday. There's two left. Um, so if you have been waiting for the 560 to come back in, this is the one with the snips. Um, I don't know when we're going to be able to get any more. Um, Kat said she was told May that was when we were supposed to be getting them in. So um, 
I know we're desperately trying to get the 680 in, we're desperately trying to get other machines, but I think it's a worldwide problem. Janice, I don't think it's ju it's not just us. No. I think a lot of people, you said at the start of the show, loads of people have been getting into sewing, haven't they? Which is yeah. brilliant. It's like when you first when we first went into lockdown, everybody started doing the houses up. Yeah. And you couldn't get Good. paint. No. You couldn't get anything for your house. No. At all. So it was just it, it's locked down, that's done it. Right then, so all I'm going to do now is now before I pink and shear, I always press the seams open first. So because it's easier to do it before you pink and shear than afterwards. So I just press the seams open. Now with children's clothes, I use pink and shears. Yeah. When I do adult clothes, I use my eye overlocker. So. So why is that? <laughs> because with children's clothes, it's you want to be more quick. It's, you, oh, this is going to sound terrible. You take more. I think you take more care on your own clothes. Than <gasps> you do. Well, but do you I know suppose what I mean? they're probably moving around a lot more than. <laughs> and because you're doing things quick, yeah, and they grow children's out of them quicker, clothes, they? and they grow out of them quick. You spend less time on it. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but I must admit, if if you're selling them, <laughs> like I was in the shop, I'd use an overlocker. Yeah. But for projects at home. Yeah. And for your own grandchildren. I suppose it depends how they're wearing them as well. If you've got an overlocker, you might as well just yeah. do it because. It's so quick to be able to, to do it, and it means that the seams are going to be really, really strong. But it's good to know that if you don't have an overlocker, yeah. you can just use your pink shears. You can use your pink and shears. So, but to be honest, I never had an overlocker for years, and then um, I had one and I loved it. But of course, when I first had an overlocker, really, I suppose we just had a zigzag and we didn't have cutting and mm. things like that. So an overlocker was a decent piece of kit, mm. like, <laughs> so. Oh yeah, now we're so lucky that. But it now with all the stuff we have got now. Yeah, cover stitch machines and all sorts. Yeah. So what we've got now, we've got now the both bodices. So what you've got, this top, is actually lined with the actual fabric oh, as nice. well. So now what you have to do is attach the one to the other. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. You do turn one side out and then pop this in and then what you're going to do is right sides together, you're going to go round the shoulders, you're going to go round the neck, all the way round and attach it. So you start off with the side seams, make sure the side seams match, right sides together. Stick a pin in because I use wonder clips and uh, pins now. Yeah, I suppose the wonder clips are good when you're using all your bosels and the <laughs> thicker fabrics. That's it, but pins are good when you're joining seams and that. So, okay, so then. Do you still make clothes for your granddaughter then? She's eight now. No, I don't really see them now. Um, I don't really see the grandchildren. Right. They don't live that far, but we just don't get a chance to see them. And we thought, what's going on? Oh, yeah. It's um, it's a bit... I'm going to pin that wrong, wrong way side, I think. Um, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit awkward with what's going on. Of isn't course. It? Yeah, we so, can't. I'm just making sure. <laughs> I always get in a pickle when I'm doing these. Yeah, I'm letting you concentrate. That's it, you see, when I talk, I'm lethal. <laughs> so you've got them <laughs> inside out. Hang on a second, yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <clears throat> right, okay. It's that to that. So that's, that's it. Right, what have you got there? So you've right got... Then. No, it's right, it's right. It was the ne I put the front to the back and it should have been the back to the back. Okay. <laughs> so you it. keep your, your facing pieces out of the way? Yeah. So easy to put them to the wrong side. 
that's it. Okay. Okay, then we're going to put this in the middle. Right, so you you're matching the seam. Matching the seam. Okay, that's it. And then you just wonder clip it all the way around. Okay, I'm quiet, aren't I, today? <laughs> no. Concentrating, <laughs> concentrating. 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 We'll have a chat again in a minute. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So this is where wonder clips are good. Because as you as you're sewing them as well, sewing around it, you can you just it's quick, isn't it? It's and I quick. find that when I'm at the machine it's easier, it means you're not sewing over your pins when yeah. you put your clips in. Yeah, it's true. Easier to take out. A lot easier. Oh, everyone's loving the children's patterns today. Remember, we've got three available. Uh, we've got the dungarees that Janice is working on, but then there's also the two dress patterns, which are, again, so beautiful. They really, really are. So both of those are available on the website. With summer coming, and before you know it, summer will be here, won't it? And that'll be lovely for you having the baby in the summer. Oh, I know. It's, it's been such a, a perfect time of year. But Well, I say that. Yeah. I hope that it's, well, I do hope that it's warm for all of us, but yes. um, I don't know what it's like having a newborn in the summer. Trying to keep them cool. Keeping them cool. Yeah, just lots of fans. <laughs> lots of fans. Yeah. So, the baby will be fine. Flannel. <laughs> yeah, paddling pool. Paddling pool. It's true, it's, the paddling pool would be lovely. I didn't want to do this before I came into the studio because I wanted to show people the bodices and that, the linings. And no, it's it. good. It's good to show it there. Okay, then there. That's done. It's good to, right to prepare yourself before you go to the sewing machine with all of these pins or clips, isn't it? <laughs> it is actually good to do more pins than you, you sort of think. Well, if you go freehand, you can go freehand. Um, but sometimes you What do you mean freehand? Get, like just don't, hand don't sew it. And just, oh, no, just, just, do it. just wing it. Just wing it. <laughs> but with wonder clips, because they're so good. Oops. You can just do it. Right, so all we're going to do now is machine round. That's it. Hold on. I'll cut that in. Okay, now I think I'd better get that iron out of the way just in case I go and burn myself. That's it. Right, I'm just going to move that iron out of the way and now I'm going to machine. Fab. Right, <laughs> so all we're going to do now is machine all the way around. <coughs> Excuse me. The top part, leaving the bottom part free. Okay, so it's just stuck knowing where to start. So we'll start there. Perhaps I'll start then the neck. Okay, so again, five eight seams or one and a half centimetres. And away we go. Number three, that's fine. That's it. So with the curve as well, you just follow it round. Just be careful. Thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> she says, you've got lots of fans already, Vicky. Thank you. <laughs> You're the only fans I need, Elizabeth. Oh. That used to always be my running joke when I used to do my singing. Yeah. And I'd take like a fan with me. A fan as in a fan for on the stage if it was a warm venue. Of course you venue. did singing, didn't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, I know. They've all been postponed. Well, oh, everything's have been cancelled, hasn't it? Yeah. Such a shame for all these people getting mad. But I used to take my fan with me. Yeah. And it used to be my joke that I would take my biggest fan along with me everywhere. Oh. <laughs> no, that's... 
Yeah, I'd love to hear you sing. Have you got a film of it? Oh, yeah. Did Don't you sing it your wedding? Are you on Facebook? Did you sing, yeah, did you sing it your wedding? No. I thought that would be too far. Although I did, know, I tell a lie. Janice, I did. You did. I'm in an ABBA tribute show and yeah. my ABBA band were there. So really? it was probably about 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. And they all of a sudden said, it, come on, Vicky, get on the stage. And Go they on. all had prepared all the ABBA oh, um, stuff. So it was good. Aww. And I sing in a, a, a gospel choir. So in the church, really? I had the gospel choir singing. Oh. So I was like, oh, give me a microphone. I love this song. But um, <laughs> I didn't. You didn't. I thought that was a bit too far if I'm like walking down the aisle with my head mic singing. <laughs> if you were in America, you'd do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It was a very musical wedding, though, wasn't it, Kat? But no, John Scott shared a video of me on... Um, you're not on Facebook, are you, Janice? Yeah, I am. You yeah, are? Oh, yeah. I'll have to find you. John Scott shared a video of me singing the other day. Oh, really? I've got John, I think, on Facebook. Let's have a look. Probably... I don't get on it that often. My cousin got married in Whistler the other day. I'm... Pa I'm St. Patrick's, St. Patrick's Day, because oh, wow. he married an Irish girl, and they got they got married in Whistler. Oh wow! Because they live in Canada. So yeah, we locked down with the masks off. Oh gosh, oh, no. they're all doing lots of um, Zoom calls so people. Because Kat was supposed to be going to Australia for a wedding oh. in April. Are you going to be able to watch it online, Kat? Are, do they are they doing like a Zoom link for people to watch it in? They both work in TV, so they, they should. Yeah, they should do. Yeah, live stream it. That's good. Right, man. No, it'd be good to do that. You know. Okay, so what you do then? Uh, once you've done that, you trim it. You cut into the curves. Right, okay. You can't really I, see I can't, him. I know, I'm peering <laughs> round. I am here. So on the actual curves, you, you clip in to the stitching. To, so it, it gives it a bit of leeway and it will make let it curve easier. So every few snips you do, you do to the stitching, but you've got to make sure you don't cut into the stitching. Okay, so ah, okay. normally so you use, yeah. You're not cutting so, out little V's, you're just literally snipping. No, I'm just snipping in. Okay. Okay, so on both necks. Now, I, I did do it all the way around. I normally go all the way around, to be honest, doing this bit. Vicky, I watched your singing video. I love your singing. Fab show. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, there was um, there's a, a guy at Jewelry Maker as well called Michael Wolf, and we did loads of lockdown videos, virtual yes. like Zoom singing videos. So I do yeah, miss music. I heard yeah. John Scott saying the other day about going to watch different musicals and what's the first musical you want to go and watch when we can. And that one's on tonight, oh. isn't it? And oh yeah, the celebrities. The celebrities, because you know these celebrities, they did one not long ago, and I was surprised at how they can sing. Oh, Some well, of lots of them went to stage school, didn't well, they? They do, don't they? So yeah. it's it's amazing how they can sing. It's like with Amy, with her, some of her friends, where she is at Does Amy 15. sing? Uh, yeah. She does? Yeah. She's at drama school, but I yeah. don't know whether she's, if she's and doing they, musicals. Uh, she's not doing musical theatre, so. but I think it's some of it. I mean, the other day she was doing Shakespeare. Right, OK, so, so that's all. So what you do then, you turn this part right side yes. out. Yes. OK. Um, yes, yeah, so they, they cover all that, and she showed me this video. These lads singing, oh, they were singing this stuff from Malamis. Oh, oh no, don't! That oh, will make a, me sob. It was at the amazing. Moment. It was amazing. And these were students, and you thought, my word, you know, they were so clever. Yeah. So all we're doing, turning this right side out. Now, what I've done on this pattern as well, when I come to it, I haven't stuck to the way the legs are, so, on this one. Mm -hmm. So, now what we normally do, where did I put my poacher? You're looking for your pokey tool? Yeah, I've, I've, I 
took it back. I don't think I bought it. We've got one back there then. next to you. Uh-uh. You've got one. You've got one. <laughs> Which one's yours? Which is I your budget? This one. Chopstick. No, yeah. it's, is that your prim turny tool? It's a turning tool. I've just pinched it out of the uh, <laughs> green room. <room. laughs> oh, Baffa says, my sister in Australia watched my wedding six years ago. She even got oh. dressed up and had champagne popping when we said I do. Oh, that's lovely. So that's the good thing about us all having to adapt a bit with technology and doing Zoom and everything yeah. is that we all kind of know how to do it now. Yes, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Whereas before, like, I would just avoid it. It's like with me, with my meetings at work. It's like a lot with everything on, going on. They were on all Zoom. on Zoom and that. And Teams. Yeah. Teams is another one. Yeah. And I thought, you know, it's it's amazing how, um, we've how now we've become techie, tech, techies at our life. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was listening to Mark earlier and when he was on about being 40. I thought, oh, God, next year and I'm 60. <laughs> oh, you are not. I am. Yeah. <gasps> and I was thinking, <laughs> yeah, I had Amy when I was 30. Yeah. So there we go. So once we've done that, what you then have to do on the one side is press in the bottom see what we'd normally do is get all this pressed right leave me on the gate dungarees are just timeless aren't they i think oh everyone looks good in dungarees they do Any they? Age. little babies little toddlers little kids <laughs> that's when we start wearing dungarees yeah. isn't it from I love Being a baby. Now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like I say, I'd love to get to make more, but yeah. But I, I said something I should. Uh, well, you know, when you were at, we were talking about working from home, me saying about going back to work, and yeah. because of me being in charge of people, I didn't want to make it like that because they're my girls and we're a team, and and I, I thought I came across a bit. Nasty. No, I don't you know. didn't at all. And oh, don't be done. And because I was trying to think of how to say it, and I said, when I'm in, in charge of people, I, I didn't mean it like that. Because oh, no, we knew exactly what you meant. With a team. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're the leader of the team, and, and you if want watching, to be there and if for they're the watching, team. I'd be upset. <laughs> If I'd upset them, because I don't want to upset them. Oh, don't be silly. I don't <laughs> think you could upset anybody. Especially now we've got our new boss. Oh, you'll see our new boss. His name's... <laughs> his name's Remember, Demi. you're on the telly now. Oh, no. His name's Demi, sir. OK. And he's a partner in a company. Right. In the investment companies. OK. And he's an ex-footballer. Oh, is he? And he's, he knows all your David Beckhams and that. And he's, a, he's Armenian. Oh, he's so handsome. Is he? Oh, he's handsome. But he's married. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know that you're on the telly? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so he might be watching. I don't know. I hope not. Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, his name is. But and, and they bought us champagne, three bottles of <gasps> champagne and everything. Fantastic. But you only work down the road from here, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it's only Redditch. It's only in um, near, near Lakeside. Not for, up from the Morrisons, not too far. Right. Yeah, so, so there we, don't we go. Know what football team? Doncaster. Doncaster, and <laughs> So what you have to do then, on the one side, yeah. you have to turn in your seam allowance. Okay, and we press it. So I'm just, for quickness, I'm just going to, because what you're going to do then is attach this nice part to your trousers. We've got about 15 minutes, Janice. Oh, gosh. Do <laughs> I don't think so. Do Children's clothes, like I say, that is, this is like making a jumpsuit for the bigger person. It's the same. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but they're lovely. The one lady who used to come in the shop, I used to have to make a, a doll. For, she got an adult doll. She got, she got a doll. <laughs> And it was like an adult, and she got me to make the, the clothes for this yeah. adult doll. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> but you'd be surprised. Janice, that you... sounds so wrong. <laughs> but right. no, but you'd, you'd be surprised how many people have gone. <laughs> what kind of 
Adult. Adult. A proper doll. Yeah. No, no not... Not a wig? No, 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 no. No, no I wouldn't say that on here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's got an adult doll. <laughs> she's got like a tiny tears, but a big oh, doll. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, she, she, you know, I think some of them who can't have children, some people who can't have children or... Oh, I see. Um, ...have got a, a disability yeah. as they're older, they, they have these dolls. Oh, I and see. And I used to have to make chocolate. Children's clothes, clothes for, for this these doll. dolls. Yeah. I'm with you. No, it's amazing what things you get asked for. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It's like, yeah. Sorry to throw you. I know. See how I explain myself wrong? <laughs> I do, don't I? Now, because I'm in that time, I'm just going to go for the five eights now. Right, these are the okay. trousers, aren't these, they? Yeah, sorry, these are the trousers. Are you interface so, these or not? No. No, you don't interface these. No. You put front, one's front, one's back. Transfer your notches. Transfer your notches and you do the inside seam okay. of the one leg to the other. So the front to the back. Right. Or the back to the front. One, one leg to the other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not explaining myself very well today, people. Am I? So, okay, so five eights going down. Now, what I didn't like with this pattern is on the bottom, I'm going to gather round the, the bottom of the leg. The way the pattern does it, it's not enough gather. And it didn't come down. It didn't fold down right. See how it it, was that because of the there? fabric that was used? It could have been the fabric. Yeah. But to be it honest... It didn't drape as well. It as... didn't drape as well. Okay. And I did it and I thought, I don't like it. And I thought, dear, I need to, I want to show this frill because it's nice. It will be nice. Um, and yeah, I think you might be right, Vicky. I think it might, could have been the fabric. Because um, that's quite a, a, it's like quite, it's a quilting weight cotton, yeah. isn't it? So it could, it could be the fabric, but I wasn't happy. So, so I thought, I wasn't happy. So what I did, oops. I'll just finish this. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, I'm not going to use them pinking shears, they're not very sharp. So once you do that, you, you get your other leg. Then again, no, before I do that, I'd better do the, that the frill. The, yeah, we do the frill first. So you've got your frill. Now, what the pattern did, it got you to cut out two of each okay. separately, not on the fold. Uh, as two separate, and you, that was the one side. Well, what I've done, I've cut them both on the fold, okay, and I'm going to join them like so, so that you've got the front and you've got the back. Right, that's number 10, which is notch. So that number 10 is the front. So that's the front. Okay, so what I did, you just sew down either side, your five eighths. Okay. Do I like there's a few different ways of finishing the bottoms, actually. So well, this is it now. It's up to you how you do do the bottom. So you could do it like Elliot's just shown you, just with a straight bottom, or yep. you could do it with the, uh, the frill, or you could do it with the ties. Yes. No, I, I did like the, the ties are my favourite. Yeah. Um, cute. That's why I did that one. Yeah. Like the tie. Um, and my granddaughter, Poppy, she had the tie one. Um, but the tie one, I, I personally like. But again, it's, it's each to their own, isn't it? We've all got our own things that we like. So. Yeah, there's the tie one. They're lovely. They're lovely, aren't they? Right then, so, then what we do, you've done it as a circle. Just going to press that open. Press that open. And how they finish it, I don't think we're going to have time. Here, on the bottom, I did exactly the same what they showed. They got you to fold it over, five eighths, and then just do a zigzag stitch okay. all the way around the outside. Okay. okay. But I'm going to gather it. So that's and pretending has been done. Right. And then what we're going to do is gather it to fit onto the bottom 
of your of trousers. trousers. Now I did measure it in the break, so to, to do the gather, gathers, I'm going to do it all the way around. Do you do a couple of rows of stitching? Do a couple of rows. I'm just going to do it all the way around. You lengthen in your five. stitch? I've lengthened the stitch to number five. Okay. Okay. The one side I'm having open and the other side I'm having closed. I'm going to, you know, reverse stitch to knot it. And what I do, I always start on the quarter inch seam mm -hmm. and then I do normally my next row on the inside of that seam. Okay. Okay. But at the moment, normally I do this. So does that mean that it will all be within your seam allowance? Yes. Those gathering stitches. Because then once you've done the five eighths, um, you, 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 won't, you see. won't see the gathering stitches. And then it's up to you. Some people take them out and some people don't. Okay. Um, it's up to you whether you wish to take your gathering stitches out. So I'm there now. Now you don't need to cut your thread on this. In fact, you want to leave it longer, don't you? Yeah. So leave it long. <laughs> so then what you do, see on the one, on that side I've actually knotted it, so that can be shorter, but then on this side it's longer, okay, so then what I've done is gathered it, so you just pull the gathers, just to fit. I'm not going to have time to finish this. You're all right, you're all right, you're fine, Janice. You shame. keep going. But the sunshine yellow is absolutely lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's really so, beautiful. It's lovely. It's going to look so pretty. And I suppose with the bundles, you get so much fabric. You do, don't you? Yeah, you could do matching little scrunchies and all sorts, couldn't you? Well, the scrunchies are lovely. In yeah. Little girls yeah. who've got like long hair and so. Yeah. Or a little matching sun hat. The sun hats are gorgeous. So you can never have enough. You can never have enough. And they've got to be protected with sun. I remember the one time I was went to Greece with Amy and I covered her and I covered her in you know, all this blooming sun cream. And I used to go for factor fifty, even though she was little. Yeah. And the one big part I missed was the tops of her ears. Oh really? And, and they burnt. burnt. Oh, they did blister. Oh I Ooh. felt terrible. I felt a terrible mother. <laughs> But they, 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 was, they look so painful. Oh. It was such a shame. But look how pretty that's looking. Oh, yeah, it's lovely. Gather. Elizabeth says, I like the frill idea. Really like the it frill is, idea. It is. They're lovely, aren't they? But honestly, don't just do what the pattern says because it's not enough. It doesn't look as good. Oh, yeah, you can do. You and can the other one way you could do is, which I did think about, is box pleats. You know box pleats? Yeah, yeah, they'd look lovely. They'd look lovely as well. So now I'm just like you said, see. you spend a bit of time at home to make sure they're even and they fit the trouser yeah. leg, <laughs> and do two <laughs> rows. Do you do two rows of stitching just in case one snaps? Yeah. Okay, that's what it's all about. It is just in case one snaps. Right, and I've had that many a times. Yeah. <laughs> so right, and so so what you do then, you get your trouser button. These have all been pressed open, neatened off, etc. So then you get your where you've marked your front and you mark it in right sides together there. So and then you just do right sides together. Okay, go in and then you pin that all the way round making sure that it fits all right. the way around, okay? So then you end up with that, okay? Lovely. So then, what you do... These are so cute, they're literally like ABBA flares. They are so <laughs> lovely. I swear I've got a similar costume for yesterday. So then, you, what you have to do, you have one leg right side up, yeah. the other one inside, and you tuck the one inside the other. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And then you get your seams, and of course you've neatened them all up. Yeah. And the times I've done this wrong <laughs> over the years, <laughs> and I've ended up with <laughs> the legs really weird. Uh, yeah, right, that's what I always get worried about is the crotch the situation. Crotch, the crotch with, situation. Uh, Once you've done it about suits. 100 times, though, I still get it wrong, though. We still all get it wrong. So normally, again, you'd pin 
you see, but I'm not going to have time to well, do that. Well, I saw that. you say in your advert, your favourite thing is your stitch remover. Oh, yeah. So your quick and pick. It's there, yeah. Favourite tool? It is. I'm seeing my pack. Well, it's even the professionals it does need it. You've got yours always at hand, haven't you? Yeah, it's, it's, well, I kept forgetting it on the show, and I'm thinking, no, can't be without it. So I'm just going to... Elizabeth said, Janice, you look particularly lovely today. Oh, that's nice, Elizabeth. Thank Not you. Not lovely your top. It's gorgeous. Those sleeves are amazing. It's the top, isn't it? It's, um, yeah, that's <laughs> a few years. I've ordered some more clothes yesterday for Michelle. I thought, I need clothes badly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're so all missing back to the work. shops. I'm well, just not very good at online shopping. Well, the problem is with me, I have office stuff. Right. I mean, I've got an office skirt on to, on onto this because it's going to go with it. And I thought, oh, <coughs> and of course I can't really wear office clothes, office stuff. <laughs> you, you know you what want I'm saying. You, you want your telly clothes. I like clothes. more of me light, bright colours. That, <laughs> you know, that you don't really wear to work. But then again, they're getting better in workplaces now, aren't they? So, so all I'm doing now is machining down the crutch area. Now again, with children, I use the actual pinking shears because what I used to get in the shop was uh, parents saying about the children complaining about the overlocking stitch under the crutches. Ah, oh, okay, so pinking shears actually is Pinking better. shears are softer, right. because if you think of overlocking stitch, it's, yeah. women understand it, children don't. Right. So that's another reason I use pinking shears on children's clothes. It's only things you learn as you... Yeah, that's a good you tip. Know. Just while Janice is stitching round, we'll start to recap just so then we can see it come together at the end. So the pattern is the birder pattern, um, which is a what it's it's a really easy. It says very easy actually. So even yeah. for beginners, yeah. do you think Janice yeah. this would be great? See, you see, absolutely. Um, and so you can see options here that you've got the the frilly bottom, which we were talking about today. You've got the straight leg as well, and then you've also got the ties. Uh, gorgeous unisex patterns. All your pattern pieces and instructions are in there. Plus, shut down today's date to be able to uh, to watch back. The, uh, the demonstration on YouTube, that's £8.50. We also have a couple of other patterns. Um, so the one that Janice made back before Christmas, the 20th of, the 20th of December you said it was, didn't you, yeah. Elliot? 20th of December, this is what it looked like. Oh, it's so cute. I love the shape Lovely, of it. it? Uh, ages three to eight on that one. It's eight pounds and 49 pence. All of the measurements are on the back. And then finally, the other pattern, which is this one. Pinafore dresses for ages six to 11. Different options, different ways of finishing. The, uh, the, the front you can see here is slightly different. The buttons down the, down the center. All of your pattern pieces plus your instructions are in there. So $7.99, which is brilliant. All of the pineapple denim is completely sold out. The blue that you can see the dungarees made out of here is available in a bundle, which is a metre and a half for eleven forty nine. Just two bundles left, but we have got it available by the half metre as well. So if you are after more fabric, it's only three ninety nine and a half a metre. Uh, add multiple units to your order and it will be cut off the bolt for you. So if you're thinking for other projects, for bags, for cushions, for storage boxes, for other patterns, dressmaking patterns, this is perfect, just $3.99. And finally, we've got the Sunshine Yellow, which is the one that Janice is working with and seeing it come together is amazing, isn't it? It's such That's a lovely, it, bright it? splash of colour. Oh, there you go. That's that is looking it. lovely. It is, isn't it? Nice. But even if you do, even if you do the press studs and do them in a different colour to break up the yellow, yeah. or even do the frills in a different colour, Good idea. you can do anything. Yeah, well, you could do the top as a you contrasting colour, yeah. couldn't you? Play yeah. around with a bit of colour panelling. That's, that's the gathering. It's a shame I couldn't get it done. But no, it, but it, it does. That looks it looks really lovely. good. And that's really good to show the technique anyway to yeah. the, for us to know how to, to know do it. To do it. Absolutely. I love the bottoms of those. They're lovely, aren't they? But I did suddenly lie in bed and think box plates would look fab. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <they laughs> on would. the bottom as well. Oh, somebody's got to have a go at it and show us on Facebook. <laughs> us Send in a picture. Plates. 
Yeah. Love that. That's the sunshine yellow. That's eleven pound forty nine, which is a meter and a half in your bundle. Or you can also get it by the half meter, which is just three ninety nine a half meter. Be aware that this is your quilting weight cotton. Um, so as Janice said, actually have a think about how it is going to hang, for all, how it's going to hang. Um, Elizabeth says, it reminds me of a festival outfit I've seen on Janice's Facebook. <laughs> These jumps you do some brilliant jumpsuits, don't you? You must have made hundreds of jumpsuits, actually, Quite a few. Over the years. <laughs> Quite a few. Amazing. It is gorgeous. <laughs> is there anything else that you wanted to mention with it, Janice? Not really, no. I think that's it, really. But, um, no, it's, it's just gorgeous. The whole lot's just gorgeous, so... Make all three. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Make all three. Thank you so yeah, much. That's it's lovely. so lovely. I'm so pleased I finally had a show know, with you. I know. And next time, a baby will be two. <laughs> uh, I know, I know. <laughs> lovely to see you back. And you. um, you're, I think you're with I'm on John Easter next Sunday. time, Easter Sunday. Yeah, Easter Sunday, I'm on. So lovely. Good. We'll see so, you then. Yeah. Thank you so much. So Thank good. you. Okay. Um, all of the fabrics and patterns are on the website. Do make the most of it. We've also had a picture come in, in fact from Patricia just finished uh, then for my two-year-old granddaughter this is from Patricia oh they are lovely I love that fabric as well yes, isn't that lovely? is that it looks like Liberty or something doesn't it yeah. it looks very fancy Beautiful. look at the colour oh the colour's it's lovely. amazing oh and look matching scrunchie yeah making the scrunchies you can't oh I used to have great big bows in Amy's hair I used oh. to have scarves or, or yeah, she put, she put a picture on for Mother's Day, I think. Oh, name. did she? Yeah. Oh, I need to find you on Facebook. So. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find <laughs> yeah, you. Um, thank you ever so much. Okay. We'll see you soon. Lovely. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Okay. Um, right, coming up after the break, we were talking lots about adjuster forms earlier. Of course, if you are getting into dressmaking, uh, having a dress form is quite an essential, really. It depends on what sort of part of your dressmaking uh, journey you're on, but they're really great investments, so stay tuned for those. Plus, we're gonna be talking about the 560, uh, lots of great inspirational books. We've got overlockers, we've got more fabrics, we've got loads to still bring you, so don't get anywhere back after this. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi, I've been asked to do a little bit of an introduction about me, so here goes for Sewing Street. I'm Sally Ann Harrison. I'm based in the UK in Bristol. Um, I lived here all my life, apart from a short stint in North Carolina, where I lived um, for three years from 2000 to 2003. I specialise in patchwork and quilting. I am a complete patchwork and quilting addict. I love small piecing, I love wool applique, all forms of applique, um, and I also like making small little crafty projects. How did I get into sewing? Well, I've sewn all my life. I remember the first thing I ever made was um, like a little bikini top from one of my mother's old overalls when I was about nine. Um, I got married when I was about 20, 21 and started making curtains at that time. So I was a curtain maker for a long period of time. But it was in 2000 when I moved to the US that I really got into quilting big time. I discovered a local patchwork and quilting store. I took classes. Um, I made loads of quilts. I made some fantastic friends. Um, I met a great tutor called Michelle May. Um, and by the time I left, I was actually beginning to exhibit in 2003. So that's how I got into doing what I do. Tell us something unexpected about yourself. Well, one of the, the strange things about me is that I'm the world's worst knitter. Um, I can do most crafts. I crochet, I do punch needle, I do obviously patchwork and quilting and dressmaking. But knitting, mm -mm. I the pins go in all sorts of weird directions. I have to concentrate. If anybody you know, rings the doorbell, I can't stop mid-row. I am the world's worst knitter. Sewing tips to share with viewers. Um, it's got to be the beard trimmer trick. I mean, why use an unpicker when you can use a beard trimmer to take out the se seams that you've sewn 
incorrectly. It's just the best tip ever, I reckon. And a claim to fame. Probably my claim to fame based on my sewing career was that in 2017, I was invited to the Houston Quilt Festival, the International Quilt Festival, and it was there that I demonstrated some wool applique. It was a fantastic experience. And if anyone's debating going to the International Quilt Festival next year, go. It is absolutely fabulous. And that's a bit about me. Thank you very much for listening. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, welcome back to our Sunday Sewing Street show. It's lovely to have you coming in. Um, we've done lots of dressmaking today, but the last two days we've been celebrating International Quilting Day. We celebrated over two days. I think it was officially yesterday. Um, we've got the winner of yesterday's giveaway. So that creative grid ruler. Da -da 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 -da, drum, that's my drum roll. Um, drum roll, please, because Peggy Johnston, you are the winner of Saturday's giveaway. And all you did was bought something. How good was that? I did watch yesterday's show and I know how busy it was. So you are our lucky winner um, of that amazing creative grid ruler. It will be on its way to you. Now, speaking of busy yesterday, um, there were a lot of people who were very excited that we had the Elna 560 back in stock, including me, including Kat, including John and Hannah. Uh, John must have sent me a couple of messages yesterday saying, just so you know, the 560 is back in stock. I was like, I'm already on it, John. I was watching straight away from eight o'clock and heard about it. So I text Kat straight away. She says, I've already heard from Hayley. I've already heard from Hannah. We're, it was the talk of the town yesterday um, that the 560 was back because we didn't know this was happening. And this is how sporadic is it, it's happening at the moment. Um, people keep asking, when's the 680? When's the, the, the 580 or 720? When are we getting different machines back in? And honest answer is, we just don't know. We've got an amazing relationship with Alna and that's the reason that we can bring you um, the machines on a regular basis as we do. This year has been a bit different. Um, I know over the last few months in particular, we've been having to say, sorry, we haven't really got any machines available at the moment because the demand is huge. Now, um, so this is the 560. Now, the reason that I absolutely well, the reason I'm particularly excited about this machine is because I think that this is a fantastic, fantastic machine for an all-round sewer. For anybody who um, wants to upgrade their machine, maybe to the first computerised machine, or whether you're after a second machine, you've already got the 680, and you're after one that's a bit more portable, 
you'll still really, really enjoy sewing on this one. If you're used to those top spec machines, you'll realise, you'll actually recognise quite a few of the same and similar features and functions. So the size of it obviously is more compact. It's still going to be big enough to be able to conquer some of your dressmaking projects. You've seen Janice on it today. You've also seen her doing her big bag making project and the bozel that went through it like a dream, um, that went through the machine like a dream was amazing, wasn't it? So it's not only a portable machine, it's still a workhorse. It, and that's what you expect when you're buying a, an Elna brand is that you know you've got a great robust machine that's going to do the jobs at task. So dressmaking, bag making, quilting, um, whether you're doing toy making, soft furnishings, it will handle well. Uh, ask yourself if you are purchasing a new machine, a few questions. One, the brand. So Elna have been going for almost 80 years. Um, and they're very, very renowned. They're under the same umbrella as Janome. So I know though that Debbie Shaw, she'll always recommend Janome, Elna Machines, um, John Scott, lots of our guest designers all have known and loved Elna for, for years. So it is a brilliant brand. It comes with a two year warranty. They have a fantastic customer service team, which of course you'll be able to contact if you have any problems, but it does come with a great manual that helps you do all of your troubleshooting. My favourite thing about this series of um, machines is the array of stitches. So you have got these little stitch cards on the side there that you can easily access at any point of sewing to find out what stitch you want to do. So you've got a great range of utility stitches, you've got buttonholes, you've got applique stitches, you've got decorative, you've got quilting stitches, you've got some pictorial stitches in there as well. So a hundred stitches on this machine, which of course, depending on you know some of the stitches, you can change and override stitch width and stitch length to then have even more stitches. If we start by just looking at the front of the screen here, you can see how user friendly this is. So you can scan through all of the arrows, they go up in tens, and can you see it's automatically defaulting to its uh, appropriate stitch width and stitch length, which you can override um, on the ones that, that, you, that it allows. And also it's changing um, to tell me what foot to put on. So for example, if I'm at 10, I want to go to 14, it's the F foot, which I believe is the satin stitch foot, and it's, it's um, overriding to a stitch width of five and a stitch length of two. But again, I can override it. This goes up to a maximum of seven, and on this particular stitch, 2.5. But if I go back to the start, which I'm just gonna flick it on and off, which is my favorite way of just going back to the start, um, the maximum stitch length is five and maximum stitch width I think we went up to yeah it's a seven um, so you've got all of your stitch width and stitch length your uh, programming of which stitch you want you have also got a few speed dial options so you've got your st uh, straight stitch which you just go to it will automatically default to to the auto, uh, the recommended stitch width and stitch length you've got a zigzag there You've also got like an overcasting stitch and you've got a buttonhole as well. This also has the thread cutter. Not only does it have a thread cutter, it also has the memory to be able to cut your thread at the end of your stitch sequence. So if I click that, you can see that it's, it's appeared on the screen there that um, the scissors are, are there. We've done gathering in both Janice's and Mark's shows today. So if you want to take it off, if you're gathering and you need to leave your stitches longer, your, your threads longer at the end of your sequence, you can just take it off. But it does have that stitch, uh, that thread cutter memory built in as well. If you come across to the other side, you can see you've got the variable speed control. So it goes right down to tortoise. So you, if you are doing more intricate sewing, any sleeves, if you are uh, learning to sew or teaching children to sew, no matter how hard you put your presser foot down, it will just slow it right down. It doesn't need to be just because you're a beginner sewer though. It could be if you're getting to a corner and pivoting, you can slow it down whilst you're sewing. So then when you get on a bit of a roll, 
for a big long straight seam, you can ramp it up, ramp up the speed um, to the hair side of the slide. You've also got your scissor cutter, so you can automatically press that and it of course will, it will cut your threads for you, which one saves time but also does save you on thread. Your needle up down, very, very handy button to, to use, especially when you are pivoting or repositioning any of your fabric. So if you, you press it, then it will, of course, well, it's just lifted my needle, but bring it back down for you. You've then also got your locking stitch. So it will just do um, a few little stitches on the spot to create a knot. Or you can, of course, do your back stitch. Use it with or without a foot pedal with your start stop button you can see you've got your top loading bobbin and a thread cutter on the top it also has a free arm see this machine it's brilliant the 550 so the one below it doesn't have a uh, this is the first one this is the most affordable way to get that thread cutting button which is brilliant um, really really useful indeed if i spin it around you can see you can access the free arm so if you are bag making or dressmaking um, and want to sew in the round for a sleeve or a cuff or trouser leg or bag then that's very very handy indeed and in the storage compartment it does also open up to be able to um, keep all of the feet that come as standard so as standard you get your a foot which is the one that's already on you've got your f foot which is your satin stitch foot You've also got a zipper foot. It's, they're all labelled, so this one's E. Uh, so when you do get to the point of you know, putting a buttonhole uh, on or you've got your buttonhole foot, if you are putting your zip on, then you've got your E foot. This one looks to me like a blind hem foot. What's C? Cat, do you know? This one's your quarter of an inch foot. You've got the guard on the side. No, that's your blind ten foot. Blind ten foot's G. Um, it's just C. What's C? Is that an overcasting foot? I think it might be an overcasting foot. Uh, I'm just doing this by memory. Plus, you've then also got your buttonhole foot. It's an over edge foot. An over edge foot, that one is. So it's got like a little brush. I don't know whether it's sort of... Um, I don't know whether it, it's for doing little roll, almost like rolled hems. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. You'll know at home. Um, I've never used one of those feet. But these all come as standard, so you can really play around with it. These aren't ones that you have to have an, as an addition. These are all ones that come as standard. So the, the machine space itself is 170 millimetres. Have a look at this. These are all the technical features of the machine. Um, 170 millimetres. You've also got your free arm, as I said. You've got your LCD screen. Uh, you've also got a horizontal, fully ro a horizontal full rotary hook with transparent bobbin cover. You've got a built-in needle threader, which is brilliant. You're not going to have to be peering, trying to squint to get the uh, the needle through the the thread through the eye of the needle. Uh, you've also got your built-in needle threader, which is the real bonus. You've got the seven piece retractable feed dog system. You also have your built in white LED lights, which makes such a difference. Um, I didn't realize how poor the lighting was on my sewing machine until I started working with the Elners and they are beautifully lit. You've also got the extra high presser foot. I haven't mentioned that actually. If you, um, if you are a quilter or dressmaker and you're working with bulkier um, seams or if you're working with bulkier fabrics you obviously lift your, your presser foot as up as normal but then look at the extra height you've got so you've got that extra lever uh, that extra height in the lever to be able to lift your foot up even higher which is brilliant um, if we go back to the tech specs please oh that's the needle threader that's your automatic needle threader uh, you also have do, 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 do. your stitch reference chart stored at the right side of the machine you your start stop your reverse your auto lock stitch and you've also got your up down needle position so they're all of your tech specs of the alna 68560 uh, as i said it does have the uh, warranty for two years uh, included and that's through elna it will come directly from elna so if you bought anything else today it's under our one postage and packaging they're in Elna's warehouse with our name on it. There's only two left, two remaining now. So this will have gone by the end of today, I predict. Um, plus, 
you've got the split pay option. So of course, if you want to, you can just pay for it in one go, but why not make the most of the split pay option? It's 0% interest. So you just make three easy payments of 193 pounds, 193 pounds over three payments. Um, yeah, anything over 99 pounds is now eligible for split pay, including adjuster forms. Um, also, Oh, we know that we have a brilliant price. We have a brilliant price on this. We've got a great relationship with Alna. We haven't put the prices up during the pandemic because of the, the shortage of machines. We're still sticking to those prices. In fact, we're offering split payments as well to try and make it easier for everybody. Where we have found this machine elsewhere for over 600 pounds, 639 in fact. It's the same machine. Experience 560, there you go, 639. So it's great value as well. I mean, I must say for, for this sort of budget, I think it's a fantastic machine. It does uh, have a little handle at the top there as well. So it's nice and portable. Um, if you are packing this away, it comes with a hard case. If you're like me, sew on the dining room table or you don't have a designated sewing space and you need to put it away, it's lovely and portable and it comes with a really solid case so it will keep it all nice and dust, dust and lint free. I understand that five, £579 is still considered, but if you were waiting for this to come back into stock, don't wait any longer. Um, can I show you what it comes with as standard? Because as I say, it comes with the hard cover. It also comes with an extension table. You saw Mark doing his dressmaking and I said, does it make a difference having your extension table? He says, yeah, if, if you've got the space, put your extension table on, absolutely. It comes with Elna bobbins. You must make sure you're using the correct bobbins for the, the brand of your machine. Uh, it also comes with a foot controller. As I said, you can use it with or without a foot pedal. Hard case, instruction manual, lint brush, needles, power cable, screwdriver, seam ripper, spool caps, different size spool caps, depending on what spools you're using. And then all of the feet that we were talking about. So your standard A foot, your quarter of an inch foot, your zipper foot, satin stitch foot, over edge foot, automatic buttonhole foot, and a blind hem foot as well, all for 579 pounds. Now it literally came back into stock yesterday and there are two remaining. We saw a good quantity come back in yesterday and a lot of people who have been waiting for it made the most of it. Just to remind you, it's still under our post and packaging of three pounds 95, but it will come from Elna. So don't click special delivery on our website for this because it comes from Elna, so it, it is just in their standard delivery. They haven't got any delays at the moment. It's there in the warehouse ready to go. Um, they'll go into work tomorrow and it will have your name and your, your payment slip and it will be sent straight out to you, but it just might be at a different time to your sewing um, projects that you've bought today from Sewing Street. Under the same PMP though, how good's that? Now, yesterday, congratulations if you managed to get yours. Um, well done to everybody who's checked out this morning already. If you've got any questions about it, please do not hesitate to get involved. Uh, what I love, love, love about our show, one is that we've been able to stay open through the, uh, through the pandemic, and it means that we are your virtual shop, really. So if there's any questions that you can't ask all the time, now, now you, we're buying things online. So if you've got any questions, there's always someone going to be manning the Facebook page. So you can message on Facebook. You can email us here. We're here for the next few hours. Studio at sewingstreet.com. We come off air at one o'clock. Studio at sewingstreet.com. But we will have a, a check on the emails if there is any questions you've got. Or Facebook is always man, so uh, of course, Sewing Street TV. If you have a look on the Sewing Street fan page, it's Sewing Street fans on Facebook. If you've got any questions, I mean, our sewing community is amazing. There's so many people who will answer your questions as well. Or ask me on Facebook Live. Um, sewingstreet.com is our website. And of course, we've always got the customer service team, which are open at 24 hours a day, 0800 001 4433. I think I've covered everything, but if there's anything I've missed, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Um, okay. Calico, I mentioned it in the last hour. If you are, as we're talking dressmaking, if you are thinking of making a, a toile for anything, we've got some calico. Now, I believe this is the quilters pre shrunk. Yeah, um, so it's slightly lighter weight, but it's really, really lovely. And look, it's 249. It's pre shrunk. It's 249, a half metre. Whenever we get it in, it sells in the hundreds. It's going to be cut off the bolt for you. 
buy as much as you can. Great for linings, great for cushion backs, great for cushion fronts that you could do a plique on. It's super, super soft, uh, but also fab for dressmaking as well. Two pounds, 49 and a half meter. And look at how wide it is. I really like this for bears as well, for teddies. I think it looks lovely in teddies. In fact, what was it that we were making? Rosie Rabbit, our Dawn. Our oh, random Deb, sorry. Random Deb who was doing um, the Rosie Rabbit bears. These would look lovely in Rosie Rabbit. Two pounds, 49 and a half metre. We're talking about dressmaking, but think about loads of projects. Little drawstring bags, quilts, quilt fronts, quilt backs. It's a lot of fabric, isn't it, for 249? To get practising on sewing, to get children sewing as well. If you're thinking, right, I want to have a practice or I want somebody else to practise sewing, um, why not send them calico? or get children sewing with calico, so they're not gonna be dipping into your Liberty stash. If you wanna try something out, we talk about making a toile with dressmaking, why not make one in, 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 with bag making as well? Just to test how and see how you get on. It's great for lining of bags, really nice. Also, we did an embroidery show that was really popular um, last week, and we love a bit of hand sewing, especially at the moment. It's really important to, to remember to keep our bit of zen, our bit of calm. Sunday, I know that Kat and Jo, who were in um, during that show, they both ordered Sashko projects. Yeah, Jo's going to do some Sashko as well. And you could do some beautiful embroidery onto this. £2.49. Great thing with Calico is that you could dye it as well. Play around with dyeing fabrics. Play around with different colours, experimenting with dyeing it. Uh, just 2 49 loads of you have had those to your order. Um, cut off the bolt, especially for you, to whatever size you want. So if you are after five metres, have as much as you want, go for it. Okay. Ah, uh, the fabrics. Can we start with the cord? I love the cord. Cord dungarees. Oh yes, 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 yes. This is so classic. Um, cord is bang on trend at the moment. Whether you're having like a big sort of palazzo style pants, like big trousers, wide leg trousers, whether you're doing this as a jacket. I wore my, um, yesterday I was wearing my shacket, which is a shirt style jacket, an oversized shirt, and it was in cord. And it's so lovely, really, really on trend. For him or for her, actually. And I say that because I bought myself a shacket. I was Googling for ages and ages, found one I really liked, ordered it online. And then a parcel came. Kieran had also done an order and he'd bought a shacket virtually identical. And we hadn't even discussed it. So they're very, very on trend um, for him or for her. Oh, he's, he's well into his um, fashion. Cat's wearing cord trousers today. I'd love a pinafore. I'd love a pinafore. I think this is so lovely. You can't really see, but it's just quite a fine. I'll, I don't know whether I should call it a needle cord, but it is a really fine um, corduroy. It's, it's, it's nothing that's gonna be too scary to sew. For anybody who's making that transition from sewing cotton, just your quilting weight cottons or your lighter weight cottons, and you're going for more texture, don't worry about this. It's gonna really behave itself and it's not bulky. We've had a review for this fabric. Uh, the cotton corduroy fabric is versatile for dressmaking or toy making. Ah, it has a nice feel to it. I hadn't thought about that actually for toy making. That's interesting. I wonder what toys you can make with it. Re just remember, it does have a pile. It does have a nap. So just be aware when you're cutting out your pattern pieces to make sure, even though Nobody else will visually see it. You can tell, you can feel it the way. It's like, you know if you rub a cat the wrong way? Um, I don't think you'll physically be able to see a difference. That's the wrong way, but I can feel it. I can feel it. It does just have a, a pile, so just be aware of that when you're cutting it. Um, £3.99. That's lovely, isn't it? As to experiment, especially those of you that are experimenting with different fabrics, this one, um, this one will be re it, it will behave itself. Now we've also got a denim. We were talking about doing some uh, embroidery. How about embroidering onto this? This would be lovely. Barbara McClay, are you still watching? 
because you make jeans, don't you? I would love some summer jeans that are going to fit me this year. Uh, four pounds, 99 and a half metre. My friend, she had her baby, Cherry, she had a baby three months ago. She's in her jeans. She's back in her jeans. Oh, my word. Yeah, she has, yeah, just sprung back. She doesn't run, no. No, she doesn't run. No. Four pounds, 99 and a half metre. It's extra wide. It's your eight ounce medium. It's, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it a, a heavyweight denim at all. It's, it's lovely and floaty. In fact, this would be really nice for the, really, really nice for the jumpsuit as well. The little jumpsuit or jumpsuit for us cat. Pinafore, be lovely, really nice indeed. Also for, for soft furnishing, for bags and things like that or rag quilting. Um, okay, pardon, sorry. Oh, I've got some of this. I don't know what to do with it yet. Kat said to me to just make a scarf and I mean, it is, it barely frays, it barely frays. I still would probably do a hem of some sort or overlock the edge, but it's barely fraying. It's so soft. We've used it with Catherine, um, Catherine for a bag, and it was just this solid with like a, a, a prim strap that was already made. It was so easy and brilliant, and it looked really expensive. Now, it's not the same on both sides. It's a completely different look. So if you wanted to do like a waterfall jacket, we are in sync. That's exactly what I was thinking. This would be so lovely as a waterfall jacket. I love it, absolutely love it. For a shawl, a poncho. Can you see it's textured? It's really fleecy. It's so lovely. Sorry, let me just turn the iron off. I nearly burnt my foot then, there we go. Um, I know that we're going into spring, but you still need to layer up in this country, don't you? This would be a beautiful poncho. Beautiful poncho for in the evenings, around the fire or Oh, I love it. And do you know what else you could do? You could just buy a metre at this price point and you could have it as a blanket, lap blanket, or it's so soft, or even just to have it in the, in the car. Or My mum, she's got this one as well. She got some to have as a little blanket for Bella, for the dog. She has it on the, um, on the sofa, do you know, just so that Bella doesn't claw the sofa or anything. She's got this and it's so, so soft. No, no, I've got that. Uh, £8.99. We've got, there's a draft print one as well, which we love. And, um, and I've had that. I've washed it, Kat, and I've, um, I've, I'm, I'm going to just keep it for picnics, picnic blanket. I've had a message from Emma. Oh, Vicky, lovely to see you still here. And lovely Janice and sewing both clothes. Love to watch you, uh, love to watch all the shows. Have just bought the top and the dungarees from Emma. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm still here, just hanging on. I've got two more days, two more shows. But no, it's, um, they're getting nervous in the gallery. It does me good getting out the house, it really does. I'm actually more, I am actually more relaxed here than I am at home. Um, okay. Oh, I've got this one, cat. <gasps> She's picked out all my faves. Do you know what I love about this? And I wanted to make myself, and I haven't done it yet. Is anybody else like me that just hoards fabric and think, right, I know exactly. I've got this one as well. I've got this one. I want to make some lounge bottoms because look, it's fleecy. I want to make a hoodie and then I can make... Um, a little matching one as well, if I have a girl. Seven pounds, 49. Right, get me on that cover stitch or the overlock of, um, after the show, because it's so lovely. Now look, it's got stretch to it. It's also got lurex running through it, so it's got a bit of sparkle. Lounge wear is obviously really, really popular at the moment, but we still love a little bit of sparkle, don't we? I'm thinking you could do like, a, have you seen the, I think it's called So Magical Book that we do. Um, you could do a really lovely blanket. Cara Ackerman did a beautiful unicorn blanket with it, um, with, with some fleecy fabric, but it would go perfectly with this. Um, you could run something up on an overlocker really, really quickly in this. And it doesn't fray. It's not going to fray. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. We also have it in ochre. 
it's still glittery it's still glittery whether it be for children's wear or whether it be for for us i think actually i don't know whether clive worked with this once i've got a feeling clive's done something and he's he did he do angel wings on the back oh this is so nice isn't it look you've got that lovely lurex can i just say though it's not at all scratchy at all i wore a pair of socks yesterday that have got lurex running through it and they were really itchy and it was really annoying me so if i were to see this on the telly i'd go oh no it reminds me of those horrible socks that i've got whereas actually no this is super super soft it could not be any softer in fact on the part that's on your skin because it's fleeced it's completely fluffy and luxurious it's beautiful this is your jersey lurex fabric um, it's not going to affect your your machine at all having the lurex running through it if you've never sewn with it before absolutely give it a go seven pounds 99 just a lovely jumper dress would look really smart we need some, um, you know, nice comfy clothing. I've, let's face it, being a year in our pyjamas and our loungewear, it's going to feel a bit of shock to the system putting on your jeans and all of your, your, your stiff clothes. Whereas this, you're still going to feel really comfy. But yeah, it's got the sparkle. It's got the, uh, the comfort, which is brilliant. Just what we want. Now, we also have some inspirational books. Books for everybody. Books for everybody. So let's start with children's wear as we were talking about it in the last hour. Now this book is my absolute favourite. I think that this might be one of the most popular books. Um, this, this should be like my, my picks show, honestly. Kat's actually picked all these out for you, but I would have absolutely agreed. What I love about this is look at your price. It's $13.99 and you've got 20 different designs in here. 20 and look, includes all the patterns. All of your patterns and they're lovely quality patterns as well. They're really, really lovely. They're all different colours. Uh, they're really, really well labelled. Was it Adele that we did this show? I think it was me and Adele. We did a brilliant show. So all of your patterns are in there and there's a nice little packet to keep them in the back. It starts off by talking you through, showing you all of the different patterns that we have here. So there's trousers, there's blouses, there's shorts, there's a smock dress, there's a tiered dress, a blouse, look with a little bow on the back. It's so lovely. All unisex patterns, V-neck dress, Oh, I can't say. I think we originally got this in for Debbie Shaw for our birthday show. But it's such a beautiful book. And the price per project is actually crazy. It's 69 pence a project. If we sold a pattern at 69 pence, could you imagine? Pullover Parker, boy shirts. It goes through all your tools that you need. It's got really clear pictures and instructions, sewing machine tips, how uh, to make how to make a pattern uh, pattern a paper pattern with a seam allowance. So some of them it will even teach you how to make your own pattern um, about the fabrics. We were talking about uh, with Janice earlier on about how much easier it is to start with um, with children's projects, but you're still learning all the same sort of techniques. So this is for each dress or each garment. You've got your layout diagram for each one. You've then got pictures and instructions really lovely instructions for everyone and um, yeah I remember Adele telling me how gorgeous this book was to work from so please do make the most of that it's only 13 99 which is great isn't it absolutely brilliant okay so that's the children's book I know we don't get chance to do this very often but the last time that we were I was on with Mark Francis we did the most amazing dressing gown and it was from this book this is one that he actually again sourced for us um, you'll like this book you will like this book cat the gentleman's wardrobe vintage style projects for mod for a modern man so this is the uh, the dressing gown that we did and there's accessories in here as well there's accessories it isn't just uh, it isn't just garments, it's, um, it's brilliant. Um, hang on, I was going to say it was Alison Marin. Who was it that we did this with? 
It was definitely Mark, but I feel like I've seen it with someone else because you've got bow ties in here. This is all of your, of your gallery. Um, I think there's a bag project in here as well. The dressing gown was the one that we did. You've got slippers in here, how to make your slippers. A clearly explained, well photographed book with 14 projects to try. Something for, get, for beginners and for more experience. So it's one that you're going to grow with, isn't it, Helen? Thanks for your review. And you can see here, it will talk you through the pattern pieces, your fabric requirements, suggested fabrics, any notions, sewing notions you need, seam allowance, finished uh, measurements and any pattern notes. And look again how clear it is. This was one that Mark Francis said, honestly, make the most of it. You get such great tips, techniques, drawings all the way through your summer shirt. Look at how thorough they are. Your waistcoats, trousers. You can make a whole suit. Do you know somebody who's getting married or had their weddings postponed? Jackets. How amazing would it be to make the suit? I know um, Becky Alexandra Frost, she made, all, she made her wedding dress. She also made her bridesmaid's wedding dress, uh, dresses. I think she might have made her husband's or her fiance at the time. I think she might have made all of their outfits, all the groomsmen as well. She's busy, busy, busy. This is your night attire. So you can see your pajamas. You can imagine Mark, can't you? Everyone else in their loungewear, but Mark had the best uh, dressing gown. We were saying in William Morris, it would look incredible. He's, he's had this book for a long time and he's made loads of those dressing gowns. Great gifts for people as well, aren't they? And then look, you've also got a bag. It's not just clothes, all the accessories, wallet, bow tie, cravat, just needs a twilly, doesn't it? Flat cap, and then all of your techniques are at the back. $14.99, I can't recommend it enough. Plus you've got all of your patterns, which are really, really nice quality, actually. Really thick paper. Um, yeah, I knew uh, Baffa, she says I did. She says Anna had three months to do it. How on earth did you do that? How on earth did you do it? It doesn't surprise me, it doesn't surprise me. The amount of bags that Becky churns out on Facebook, the ones that I see, I'm like, how have you done that so quick? And the amazing embroidery designs that she's putting on them now, I just love them. Um, now, another one of my faves, surprise, surprise, is this one. Now, so Mark Francis, um, he was part of the Great British Sewing Bee 2020. And I mean, he was not just part of it, he was fantastic, we're so proud of him. Uh, but he has only been sewing for about three or four years. And he learned to sew with this lady here, Jules Fallon. She's a local lady to us. She's um, based in the Midlands. She's based in stratford upon avon And she runs the most amazing workshops. This is Jules. She runs amazing workshops. But, I mean, obviously at the moment we can't. But they, of course, to have her expertise and have her knowledge, you pay a lot of money for it, obviously. Um, quite rightly so to have all of her expertise so to have all of her expertise there in your living room in a book with photographs with lots of text demystifying every single dressmaking uh, challenge that you might have if you've got any of the older patterns don't get me wrong lots of the new independent companies are really really thorough and don't presume that you know anything and we'll talk you through with lots of video blogs and different things but lots of the older pat uh, uh, patterns they tend to just say now add this now add that and you think well i don't really know what that is or how to even start combating it so uh, jules goes through in detail so many different ways of finishing seams look she goes through your french seam curve seams they're all in different sections, plus you've got some lovely projects in there as well. So, this book I can't recommend enough. It's still at that crazy price, isn't it? So, this book is $15.99. My very, very first dressmaking show of Sewing Street, back last year, about a year ago now, we did our first show, I got to pick something that I was able to reduce in price as a special, and I have no idea why it's never been put back up. So make the most of it. It should, it should be $15.99 here. It's $11.99 today. Oh, just so you know, stock update, there's one five sixty left. Congratulations to everybody who got theirs yesterday. Well, it's everybody who's got theirs today. There is now one five sixty left. It's £579. 
It's also available today on split pay. Um, I really, really hope that means that you're able to get your machine today with that split payment option of £193 over three easy payments, 100 um, different stitches, lots of great features and functions, a thread cutter, needle threader. Uh, there's so many amazing features and lots of accessories, extension table, hardcover, all included. I'm here for another 20 minutes on Facebook if you've got any questions. Um, now, I love these. Can we do the one that I've got? I think this is very designer. I bought this fabric for a long maxi dress. I will make it this summer, I promise. On my maternity leave, I'm going to do lots of um, sewing, hopefully. Um, this would be really lovely. It reminds me of, it reminds me of Ted Baker. It reminds me of like, um, yeah, I always try and say it cleverly without giving away the designer, but it does remind me of Ted Baker. It also reminds me of All Saints. It just looks so expensive. I think this, you could really dress up or dress down and you could pick up some of these lovely colours that are in there. Um, now, the fabric itself is 98% viscose and it's got 2% spandex stretch which is what I like, just a little bit of stretch, but still looks just so beautiful. As a maxi dress, it would be beautiful, absolutely beautiful. For the um, top that we had today, actually, for the one that Mark did with the, the nice uh, lamb chop, pork chop sleeves, they'd look really nice with your elasticated um, bottom. They'd look really, really nice. Yeah, that would look perfect with this. If you managed to get the Suffolk um, seamstress pattern, if you didn't, there's still some of those available. Pardon? Sussex, what did I say? Suffolk. <laughs> Sussex seamstress. Um, there are still availability on those patterns from earlier. Then we also have the blue. <gasps> oh, that is nice. Do you know, if you've got an overlocker, just do a rolled hair on the edges, you've got a beautiful scarf there. You could wear this as a gorgeous scarf. Just roll hem it. Um, it's 100% viscose. It's super, super soft. This would be really, really lovely for the, um, the, the pattern that we were talking about just then as well, wouldn't it? The Sussex Seamstress. Just $7.99. That beautiful coral, the ochre, the blue, the light blue. Seven pounds and ninety nine pence a half meter. Right, so we've literally got fifteen minutes left. Now, we've been talking lots about dressmaking, and look, don't get me wrong. Depending on where your dressmaking journey is, if you're just starting dressmaking today and you've bought your first pattern, then maybe it isn't the day to be buying an adjuster form. But if you are progressing on your dressmaking journey, oh my word, please message in, please message in if you've got an adjuster form because they will make life so much easier for yourself. If you start adjusting, whether it be, um, whether it be amending uh, patterns or sorry, uh, amending garments that you've already got or whether it's making them from complete scratch. If you think, if you, as soon as you try it on and you're bending down and looking at it, you're altering it straight away. So we have got, two adjuster forms to show you today. We've got the red and we've got the blue. This is the super fit, your graphic is live for the super fit deluxe. It's an eight part body, an eight part body, which is brilliant for beginners and experienced sewers as well. So you can see on the adjuster form itself that it's got all of those dials at the bust area, at the waist, at the hips. It also spins around and you've got them on the side. I'm going to come into shot, sorry. I'm going to come and spin it round. I'm holding onto my microphone because I'm wearing this dress today and um, yeah, I haven't got a place to, to put it. So you've got all of your different dials which you can adjust to make it into whatever size you want. It also has the neck adjuster as well um, with the pin cushion on right at the top. So if you are making for other people, you can actually personally mould this to, well I say mould it, you can adjust it to their exact size. It doesn't need to be, um, it doesn't need to even be from making a garment from scratch. As I said, it could be for uh, adjusting or um, altering, alterations. Now the different sizes, 
We've got three different sizes in the Superfit, uh, which are small, medium and full figure. So we'll start with the bust of the small is 33 to 41. Uh, the small waist is 24 to 32. You've also got the hips 34 to 42. Your back length is 15 to 17 inches in length. And then also your height across the board is 72 inches. So you can obviously alter the, the size of it. It's actually a lot lighter than you think it is. And I love the red. I think the red looks particularly classy. and. A really really designer indeed the medium is 39 to 47 inches the waist is 29 to 37 the hips 40 to 48 the back length is 15 to 17 and again the same height in the medium as well then the full figure which is your main graphic at the moment they're all the same price they're all on split pay and they all come from adjuster form your bust is 45 to 53 waist 38 to 46 hips 47 to 55, back length 16 to 18, and the height is 72 inches. But you can completely adjust the height. If you're working on a hem, for example, you can really lower it down and you can put it onto a table. Um, it, it's really, really versatile. It is one of the most versatile dress forms, I think, on the market. One, because you can, of course, change all of the dials remember you also then have the option of padding out which I'm going to talk to John Scott after the show today and see whether he'll um, organize a padding out show for you because it's really informative um, but also it's one that you can pin it into so the fabric that's used um, you can of course pin into as well so if you want to pin your fabric on if you want to pin your patterns on if you want to pin um, your garment in place and do any adjustments some dress forms you can't do that you also have can you see how you've got the the slight overhang of the shoulder so your sleeves are going to fit and hang perfectly you don't have the slide cat that says um who might need the um who uh who the dress forms are for yeah who needs a sewing form? Because you might be at the point where you're thinking, right, do I, don't I? So this is from Adjuster Forms website and they're understanding who it is that might need a sewing form. So if you're involved in dressmaking or alterations to garments, you need a sewing form, it's saying. Understanding special requirements of sewers has helped Adjuster Form Group produce a range of products designed to suit beginners and experienced dressmakers alike. Constant research enables us to offer products with the features you have requested. A dress form will make the garment making and alterations easier, more satisfying and more rewarding than you ever thought possible. It's the only sure way of achieving a really professional look to garments, whether you're making clothes for yourself or for somebody else. Will a dress form make sewing easier? Now that's a bit of a funny question really because the sewing itself won't get any easier because it's you've got to sew it still yourself. Um, but how it will make your process of, of, of making, of dressmaking easier. Have a look at this. A dress form, especially one personalised to your body measurements, helps you check a garment fits, including placement of darts, neckline and buttonholes. It allows you to uh, accurately mark a hemline uh, to see whether a garment is hanging on the grain to ensure a fi uh, to in uh, blah, 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 to ensure the seams hang straight. Apart from these, more obvious benefits of dress form allow you to fit a paper pattern prior to cutting it from the pattern. It also allows you to view and fit the back of the garment, nearly impossible to do yourself. A dress form provides you with a canvas on which you can pin contrasting or coordinating fabrics, as well as giving you the ability to drape fabric to create your own garment designs. A dress form is a must for all garment sewers. Have a serious think about, um, about them and have a look elsewhere. There are lots of different dress forms on the market. We choose to bring you a Juster form because I do believe that they are probably one of the most versatile dress forms on the market. Um, also, if you are umming and ahhing on which size you're going to be or you're going to need, we also say, we always say, we go, recommend going with the size down as you can always pad out. You can't take away, but you can pad out. Uh, but you know when we were talking about pocket placement, someone was saying, how do I know where I put my pockets in the dress? 
and if you're doing pattern hacks this is going to be a great one to then put it on the mannequin work out exactly where it is that you need uh, darts to be sitting if you've modeled it to your body shape then it makes it so much easier um, so we also have the blue now the blue is slightly different because this is also the leg form so can you see the bottom picture there it's got the, 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 the under part of the, um, of the dress form, sort of in, the picture of what's going on inside there. So you've got an option of having your pole central or swinging to the left or to the right. For me, this is the one to go for because you've got options. Even if you don't make trousers already, even if, if you don't make trousers, if you don't make um jumpsuits it's just nice to be able to have that option isn't it um so you can see here it's slightly off to the right can you see you can also move it to the center you've got your uh, hem marker which you can then add your chalk to um at the bottom there difficult to show you in full on, on camera but the bottom of it has got a tripod as well which is really nice and lightweight easy to pack away so let's go through the leg form um, features so it's got the split waist to enable lengthening or shortening um, it's also got the wide supportive shoulders again so your sleeves are going to hang perfectly it's got your body adjusters 12 of them so all of those dials which you can also see the measurement on each one so you're not having to constantly use your tape measure it will tell you what measurement it's on you also have the easy dial neck adjuster. You also have your shaped hips, bottom and thighs for trousers and, uh, and pants fitting. You've also got your comprehensive um, calibration tapes, your offset columns to enable pants and trousers hang straight, height adjuster and your pin grip with basting attachment as well. So it's another one that you can pin into. They're the same price. Um, hence why I'd say, look, I, I love the red, absolutely love the red, and it depends on what you're, you're using it for, but why not have an option that you can put it to the side in case you're making trousers or jumpsuits or shorts or whatever you want to make. Um, have a serious think about them. If you've got any questions, get them in. I know that we've done a bit of a pit stop through them, but all of the adjust forms are on the website. There's less than 10. Can you see the sizes again, please, Kat? Just for the leg form, we haven't seen the sizes yet. Um, is it easy to lift and move over from the dress to trousers? It really, really is. I know that Kat's demonstrated it on air in the past. Um, there's a little screw, you just unscrew it, lift it off and put it onto the, um, onto the central part, um, Pauline. It is nice and easy, really nice and easy. You can see there's a screw at the top there, unscrew it, pick it up and it's really nice and lightweight and you can put it centrally if you prefer. Um, so the sizes, as we were saying, these come in A, B and C this time. So the bust is 33 to 41 in your A, your waist is 26 to 33, your hips is 36 to 44, your back length is 14 and a half to 16 and a half and the maximum height is 73 inches. Now B is the middle size, 39 to 47 on the bust, 32 to 40 on the waist, 41 to 49 on the hips, 15 to 17 on the back length, and 75, slightly taller on this one, uh, 75 inches is the maximum height. Uh, and then finally, the full figure, the C, option C is in inches 45 to 53 on the bust, 38 to 46, 47 to uh, 54 on the hips, back length 16, 80, uh, 16 to 18 inches, and then your maximum height is 75 inches. It's definitely worth just taking a quick screen grab on that, um, if I were you at home on your phone. Uh, if you've got any questions, go away, measure yourself, have a bit of research, do a bit of a look into it, but just be aware that we are now less than 10 on all of the adjuster forms. They will come a directly from a just form as far as I'm aware but it's still under our postage and packaging and it's under our split payment option which is brilliant absolutely brilliant 53 pounds 33 pence three interest free easy payments the blue is always the most popular so if you're in an ring 
because you've got the option to be able to move um, over to, to doing trousers or, or, or shorts or jumpsuits, um, it is always very popular and it's the same price, it's so good. If you're still wondering, maybe do I need one? Does anybody else have a dress form? Ask on the fan page because it, it is the proof in the pudding. There's so many people that get in touch with us and say how much they love their their um, their adjuster form. Christine's message saying, I took John Scott's advice on adjuster form and went with smaller than my actual size and then I can add wadding to create my own size and use it for other people too. Absolutely, I would definitely recommend Go for a smaller size. If you're umming and ahhing on which size to go for, go smaller because then you can always pad out. And like you say, Christine, good point. If you're making for other people, um, you can't take away, but you can always pad out using wadding and, and all sorts. We were talking about it earlier on with Mark Francis, actually. So we're hopefully going to be doing a show of padding out with John because that was great, wasn't it, Christine? Um, okay. Well done, everybody who's managed to get the 560 today. Well done to everybody who's managed to get an adjuster form today as well. We were meant to do overlockers this hour. Can I remind you, we've got a cover stitch machine on the website and we've got overlockers. So dressmakers, absolutely have a look through them and go back on YouTube, watch the show. The cover stitch show we did with George a whole hour talking about the Britannia cover stitch 4000. It was the 28th of January, as I know we're not going to have time to talk about it now, but there's a whole hour where George Franklin from Franklin's was going through how amazing this machine is. We were talking about loungewear today. That would be brilliant for all your active wear. For children's makes as well, brilliant for that, for finishing off all of your hems, all of your seams. Um, it's £349, which is a great price for a cover stitch machine. Now, tomorrow's show. Uh, who's here tomorrow? It's Monday tomorrow, so it's lovely Bex Reed. Rebecca Reed's going to be joining you with Sally Ann Harrison, bright and early tomorrow for a Dresden plate quilt. Nice. Then, second, um, we've got the second hour, the bird of the month. Every single week they have been really popular, so get them on pre order um, as soon as you can tomorrow morning. 10 o'clock, we've got Creative Grids, Diamond and Lone Star Ruler with Sally Ann Harrison. At 11 o'clock, we've got different tools. We've got patterns as well coming up. And at 12 o'clock, you have got Rebecca Reed, who will be taking you through macrame kits with Carrie Gardner. Oh, Kat's just, Kat's got a friend who she's, oh, we look very close. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Um, yeah, Kat, Kat said she's just bought, uh, she's just ordered off a friend uh, a macrame. You have to watch it, you can do it yourself tomorrow, Kat. There you go, you can do it. She says, I'm supporting a local business, a local friend who's very good at macrame, so she's going to do one for her bathroom. Um, I'm back with you on Thursday. Fingers and legs crossed. I'll be back with you on Thursday for my last two shows, Thursday, Friday. We've got the wonderful Kerry from Living in Loveliness. On Friday, I've got Jane Greenough, so I really want to see them all. And Catherine Wright, I want to see them on my last show. So thank you ever so much for your company today. Thank you so much to lovely Janice and Mark Francis. And don't forget have a look back through on the website anything on pre or anything from today's show will be listed on the web but you can use the postage and packaging across the whole board uh, enjoy rebecca reed tomorrow and i will see you all being well on thursday see you then